And that's, I think it's 50 pence, isn't it, to add to your order? 50 pence for a laminated copy. And again, um, you can print off your own as well. Um, great if you've got a laminator at home. But they, uh, if you add them to your order, then... Um, I haven't got a la I haven't got a laminator. Have you got a laminator? I bet a lot of you have actually. Um, but yes, um, so we would suggest having your authenticity card because obviously that proves the fact that it's genuine, authentic Tanzanite. Now the great news is as well you've got 40 carats. Yes, Phil. Now Phil. My producer has just told me 30 carats because he knows the price we're going to. You'd assume no more than 30 carats. I know they're 40 and it says there as well, but he was just testing me then, weren't you, Phil? <laughs> but to be honest, at the price we took these down to last night, and I've got a, a hunch that our lovely Phil will match the launch price for you. It is a 30 centimetre strand. Now, I've only been talking a few moments. I've got so many people with it within, in their baskets. Um, we are going to be into limited availability relatively quickly because we were all absolutely flabbergasted in the show yesterday on the late show when we launched these it was a clearance show last night and I think we accidentally went to a clearance price my goodness me so Dave Pinson don't worry you've got them Carol M Irene Glynis Angela Anonym East Lothian um, Hilma and Helena Jane Olga Anon Edwina Alice you can see how many people have checked out already um, Olga and Anon, you've multi had a multi-buy and I don't blame you, well done, you bought two of them and that is fantastic. If you think that's less than £60 and you've just got yourself 80 carats of Tanzanite when you've multi had a multi-buy there, so that's a great idea. Marilyn, you've just come in, Lynn, you've just come in, Fra that's 25 gone in the space of how long? A couple of minutes? Now, we only started with 75 so, for those of you quick at your maths, you know that that's a third of the stock gone already. Okay, a third gone in the space of a couple of minutes. It's fantastic, isn't it? But we are talking about Tanzanite. And as I said, when you, especially when you get it into indoor light, you'll see a much more of a violet tone. Now, Tamara, Mab, Isabel, Julie, Tanzin, a non in Warwickshire, Dawn, Susan, a non in Derbyshire. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And see, now there you go. Carol in Lanarkshire. Hello, lovely girl. Good afternoon to you, Carol. And Carol said, I got one of these last night and I've had to get, I've had to get one more. Well, that's what we thought. We, know, we knew they were really popular. And obviously, some people watch the late show, some people watch the morning show, some people watch the designer inspiration show. Um, and we do have a designer here, don't worry. We do have the gorgeous Laura Binding here. She is now ready to give you a little cheeky wave, aren't you, Laura? I am, yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. She's got, oh, she's got all her stuff out on the desk. She's ready for yeah. action, aren't you, Laura? Um, yeah, ready to go. <laughs> well, welcome, gorgeous girl. It's our first Thank pairing, you. isn't it? It is, yeah. I've got a sneaky feeling we're going to have a giggle today, Laura. Yeah. I yeah. can feel it, can't you? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> can't have heard that. That's what Laura does. She has a cracking giggle. Um, now, as I said, a lot of you are multi-buying. I'm guessing if all of you checked out, we may already... We are, we are getting to the point of being over-allocated, I think. So, um, Laura, uh, what do you think of this beautiful Tanzanite? Lovely girl. It's stunning, isn't it? It's it is rather. It's stunning. It's just beautiful. 40 carats, Laura. At that price, that's just amazing, isn't it? And again, you put a high-end finding with this minimum sterling silver, I would yeah. think, with Tanzanite, yeah. with your authenticity card, and your price of your jewellery goes straight up, doesn't it? Yeah, most definitely. And again, if you like to do your wire work, if you want to use a, a bit of tiny sterling silver wire, create a nice little ring, yep. just use a couple of them in the middle of the ring. Again, you're just going to get your money back straight away, aren't you? 100%. And do you know what? In over two, nearly two years of presenting, I have yet to meet a single solitary person that does not love Tanzanite. I've yet, we've all got our favourites. So some people like some gemstones, some people don't like others, and it's all about personal preference. I've genuinely never met a soul that doesn't like no. Tanzanite, ever. No. It's that really lovely shade of blue, isn't it, that it's I just gorgeous. think, you know, it goes with all skin types. Yep. It's just, it's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just a beautiful, perfect, perfect. shade, yeah. Absolutely perfect. Um, so, um, in fact, some of you are buying twos and threes. Okay, how many we d we're down to? I would imagine very limited, aren't we? Less than 20 available now. And I've all, I'm seeing I've probably got 20 in baskets. So, there you go. Do the maths. Unfortunately, you may, if you check out now, we might just be able to satisfy you. And we've got people that bought last night coming in and buying another one today. Why not? Okay. Right then. Now, I've got something that's coming up next that I think I can't, I know I'm not going to be able to say it without laughing. Because we are bringing you um, today, and I know for a fact that our lovely Laura Binding has been working with this, um, we've got friendly plastic as opposed to unfriendly. 
I take it we don't bring you unfriendly plastic, do we? Only friendly. Well, that's good. It's a friendly team here. It's a friendly community. We've got to bring you friendly plastic, haven't we? Um, so we've got some fantastic uh, designer inspiration pieces from our lovely Laura. We've got the heat gun as well that you've not... Um, oh, have I got one here? Oh, yes. Oh, he, it's like that, isn't it? It's like, here's one I made earlier. So we've got the heat gun coming up. Okay, wonderful, specific tool, and Laura will talk you through this because Laura was saying she's got a, a previous model of the heat gun. She said this surpasses it for many, many reasons, and, she, and apparently it's much quieter than previous uh, yeah. editions, isn't it? It's quieter and it's less. It doesn't blow out as much air, so it means that you can control your pieces. Less blowy. Less blowy. Less blowy, I think, was the technical term, and that, that might was, make yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might make you think. Well, that doesn't. Surely that's the point of it, but no, the point of it is the heat. You, if you start having something that's really, really blowy, every time you put your plastic or whatever down on the table, it's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, and again, you, you know, you don't just have to use it for friendly plastic. If you use it for shrink plastic or, or enamel or anything like that, then again, exactly that. As soon as you put the heat to it, it just blows everything everywhere. So to have yeah. it with that more control is going to make your life so much easier. Absolutely. Uh, this is, just to mention though as well, um, it is a specific jewellery maker tool. It is not <laughs> a hairdryer. Let us just make that very clear. You do not want to use it for that. Okay. Oh, we got a. Oh, is it my lovely? Uh, hello, Alan. Good morning, sir. Or oh, good afternoon, even. Um, good afternoon, ladies. Zena and Laura and all the gang. Can't wait for the giggles and deals, of course. Laugh out loud. Have a blast. Have a blast. You get it when we've just had the meeting. <laughs> like it, Alan. Hello, lovely. I work with Alan on Saturday night. He's great fun. So um, I think we've nearly gone on the Tanzanite. Last few. If you, it's going to be a sello. Okay, pretty much guaranteed. So uh, there you go. What are we doing next, sorry? I was trying to listen to him and I was too, too, too busy yakking to you all. Five strands of the gemstone that goes with everything. It, it literally goes with... Have I got... Oh, my goodness, man. Just make sure. One, two, three. Oh, it's, one's a double strand, I think, isn't it? Yes. Right, clear quartz. What a lovely five-strand selection. Oh, who put this together? Lovely. Who was it? Was it you, Phil? Lovely work, Phil. Oh, I love... Is this classed as a little seed bead, I guess, isn't it? Lovely to have a seed bead in with a collection as well on those five strands. Gosh, so we've got everything, haven't we? My goodness me, we've got... Gosh, well, how much is that in total carrot weight? Four, six, two, four, six... Oh, gosh, that's got to be over... I'm just trying to work that out quickly. That's over 700 carrots, I think. Goodness me. Well, they're adding it up, bless them. I hope they've got a calculator in there. It is Bank Holiday Monday, to be fair. I was going to say over 800, but I thought it was close. 805 carats there. Oh, have we given this to you as a challenge, Laura? You have, yes. Oh, OK. And it does go with everything, doesn't it, Laura? It does. It's gorgeous. And again, like you say, any coloured wires, any coloured stones, and it will reflect the colour of whatever you put it with as well. Exactly. The colour will bounce off of it. Exactly. Sort of t absorbs and takes yeah. on the colour, doesn't it, with the reflection. So it's got... Yeah. And it also makes the other, co other coloured gemstones really, really increase with their colour as yeah. well. It's fantastic. Genius gem. OK, so we've got 10 carats of the clear quartz plain rounds in the two mils. OK. And then we've got 230 carats of the centre drilled fancy slices, which I'm, is this one, isn't it? No, it's this one, isn't it? This one. Yep, just making sure I've got the right ones for you. So that's 230 carats. We've got 235 carats in the double 84. Well, it's a, it's a single strand, but it, it, it doubles up because it's 84 centimetres. But it is one strand at a huge length. And that's 235 carats. I've got 250 carats in the centre drilled polished medium nuggets. OK, so that's these ones. And then you've got these lovely... I love the wheels. I've fallen in love. In, the last, in, the in my first official week on Jewellery Maker, the wheels, I think, are brilliant. They really are fantastic. And again, that's a very healthy 30-centimetre 30 strand as well. So you've got every shape, you've got nuggets, all clears, you've got seed beads, you've got huge 84 centimetre strand of the small nuggets. We sh oh, we're going down this, this theme again, aren't we? Of it should be. Should be 1675. But it's a bank holiday Monday in the UK. So I hope you're all having a lovely day off in the UK, whatever you may be doing. How about we give you... F right. So... The usual rule on Jewellery Maker, best, naughtiest, lowest price we can go to per strand is $6.95. So let's say we're bringing you this strand here for $6.95. Yeah. 
It technically means we're bringing you the 84 strand for three pounds, and we throw you th those three strands in for nothing, for now. Nine ninety-five for eight hundred and five carrots. That's a fantastic opportunity to restock that stash of your clear quartz. Lots of lovely, lovely shapes. Now, I know we've only challenged with you, this with you, literally within the last hour, I think, haven't we, Laura? Uh, that's half hour. Half an hour. <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm yeah. over, I'm over, I'm over. Uh, yes. Now, have you got any idea yet what you're thinking of doing? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like not going to no. lie. No, not no. really. Um, I'm thinking I might do it. I know we've done it a lot this weekend, but I may do a little tree of life out of them. I might make a little pair of earrings out of the seed beads. I've never seen a tree of life. Oh, we did them on Saturday in the workshop and we, we had little potted trees in little, in little, tea, no. in little glass pots, yeah, and um, a tree of life. And I, we do a 3D version, so I might actually have, have a go at doing a 3D version. So just, again, I'm just slightly different. I'm mad, so can I say yes, please? Okay, I will do a 3D tree of life. Oh, I look, I, I am, I'm obsessed with trees. I think in another life I was a tree. <laughs> I really do. I did a car boot at the weekend, and all my my parents said, "Will you really do something?" And I was just staring at all the trees in the park. It's weird. Anyway, great. Well, there you go. <laughs> Tree of life. Sorry, I'm excited now. Um, Nine ninety-five. Belinda, Karen, Eleanor, Anon, Karen, Anon, Patricia, Anon. There's lots of Anons, aren't there? Uh, you've all got one. Mandy, Sue, Anon, Anon, Alison, Isabel, Lillian, you've just got one. Um, these are wonderful, aren't they? Plain wheels, polished nuggets, plain rounds, centre drilled slices, small nuggets. My goodness me, is there a strand we haven't got? Fantastic value for money. 805 carats in total. Woohoo! Oh, this is a lovely way to start, isn't it? Tanzanite and 805 carats of clear quartz. Whoopie do. Now, our striped agate and... Oh, there you go. That's why I was wondering where it was. Oh, OK. Now, agates, um, lovely and cooling. So if you go, go on holiday and it's a hot location, I mean, I've just been to India, 42 degrees. Pop an agate on your hand. Uh, I took some of the elasticated bracelets and I tell you, I tell you what, they are so cooling. They're wonderful. They're wonderful. Now, we're going to bring you some lovely um, sort of contrasting... Chartreuse were. Sounded very French then, didn't I? Chartreuse. Um, okay, we'll show you the wire as well, but just to let you know, it is 10 metres, 0.4. Okay, there we go. This is going to go beautifully, isn't it, with that gorgeous green stripe agate in the puffy coins again. So lovely, lovely contrasting wire. That's great 10 metres as well. Good length, 0.4, so really, really workable wire. And these lovely, can I just, I'm just going to pop the wire down, if you don't mind, just for a moment, because I want to try and show you the variety of patterns with agates. And every single one is individual and unique, the same as you and I are. Okay, but just to give you an idea, look, ev I mean, look at this. This is what you get with agate. You get, oh gosh, we're on 1090. Phenomenal, phenomenal patterns. Every single one is completely unique. You get different patterns, different hues as you go through this entire strand. Oh, he's only going to six. You didn't, I didn't, I thought 1090 was the price. That's with the wire. This has got to end in a five. Uh, 6 95 for this unique strand. Can I just count how many agates are on there, actually, if you wouldn't mind, if we've got time? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 6, 18. 18 of those beautiful, individual, gorgeous agates with, not to forget, your 0.4 beautiful sort of peridot lime green on the wire, isn't it? Uh, 0.4 gauge, 10 metres plus the green stripe and those uh, green stripe agates and those lovely puffy coins. Just to mention those coins as well, by the way, they are a good size. They're 20 mil rounds. They're lovely, lovely statement pieces, very fresh. And that lovely, you know, that, as I said, you know, it's nature. Nature, you think of the plethora, I love that word. I love that word. Um, the plethora of greens that are out there. It, and again, the great thing is, no matter what greens you use, they cannot clash their mother nature. It's just wonderful. Really, they'd go lovely with the clear quartz we've just bought you, wouldn't they? 
Really, really nice. Uh, Six ninety-five for the wire, my lovelies, and those green agates. So uh, good luck indeed. They're lovely. Right then, now, um, Laura, do you like a, do you like champagne? <laughs> Who doesn't like champagne? <laughs> well, Let's be, that's, that's a silly question. Like Does anybody not like champagne? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> but we're going to bring you champagne. Now, how many of these strands are? I'm just double checking. I've got them. Just making sure I've got the right ones. Yeah, sadly, Laura, I've not got any champagne with me. Oh, that's oh a yeah, shame. sorry. You were nearly excited uh, then, yeah, weren't I you? Yeah, I was actually. I'm disappointed <laughs> now. <laughs> sorry. Let down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I bought a cake. Oh, I'll bet that in my next one. Uh, so we've got this Shell Pearl Duo. Okay. So let me just show you these because they're two lovely. Um, uh, we've got the champagne shell pearls in the plain round. It's this gorgeous champagne tone, and they are whoppers. May I just mention? Have you? S they are 12 millimeters, and look how beautifully round they are. This is exactly what you want from a pearl. You want size. Well, you've got that 12 mil. They're fantastic. You want roundness. And you want smoothness. If you've got a little bit of cheeky uh, iridescence thrown in there and pearlescence, then fantastic. And that's it. Well, we've got the whole package, the whole suite of what you want to bring you a quality, beautiful pearl. And the champagne tone is really, really lovely. Really, really lovely. Yeah, beautiful beach wear, beautiful bridal wear. There's an awful lot of brides these days not going for the, for the absolute white, going for the really off-white tones, going for your ivory. So these are very, very complimentary indeed. Really, really beautiful. You then got coral. Lovely, lovely coral in the shell pearl rounds. Lo again, good size, 8 mil size. And these are lovely. If you alternated these, they would look beautiful, wouldn't they? So lovely champagne. Oh, these are fantastic. I'd love to see these alternated. They'd be really, really beautiful. We're going to a fantastic price tag for you. As we said, it's a bank, hol bank holiday Monday special here in the UK, isn't it? We're going to look after you, as we always do. And don't forget, you've got your uh, wonderful baseline price again at six ninety-five. Fantastic. Can I just mention as well, if you are new to Jewelry Maker, or even if you're a, um, you know, an experienced, avid, loyal watcher, thank you very much, especially for joining us on your bank holiday in the UK. It's wonderful. 30-day um, money-back guarantee. Unconditional, no questions, no quibbles, no nothing. One post and packaging of two ninety five. That's all day long. You can log in, log out, check in, check out. Do your heart's delight. One post and packaging. Okay, we would love to hear from you. We'd like to know what you're doing on your bank holiday Monday because I do think it's one of those days where sometimes jobs go out the window, don't they? I said when I left the build, my house today, I normally leave a list of jobs for the for the boy. Obviously today, I said, you know what? Bank holiday, do what you like. Do what you like. Um, so. Drop us a message if you'd like to speak to us and tell us what you're doing on your bank holiday Monday. Keep it clean. Um, text us on 60777 and uh, JM Studio. We'd love to hear from you. It does make our day when we have a chat with you, so thank you. And for those of you that have already messaged, thank you so much. Now, a lot of you have got these in your baskets already. Good 12 of you. I'm just having a little look. Your little list comes up up there. That's why I always look up. And I'm thinking, oh, what are you doing? Well, you're getting them. So you're basically, again, getting one strand free of charge, in our opinion, because it's one strand, six ninety five best, naughtiest price. That alone, if you don't mind me saying, for the champagne pearls, is a knockout, knockout price, isn't it? Six ninety five, And they are 12 mil rounds. If you ever get a pearl at 12 mil, you think how many years this has taken to grow. And pearls are synonymous with value. They've always been recognised as a high-quality gemstone throughout the centuries. They are superb. Absolutely gorgeous. Taking years to grow those. In a beautiful mollusk. They're fantastic. Right, shall we bring you... Gorgeous. Is it all these strands? Wow. Now, can I just mention, we've got two double strands. Can I also mention, this is one of those rare few gemstones where you cannot treat it. It's completely natural. Every time you see Iolite, just, you've got to look for a good cut and facet, obviously, and a good amount of colour, and that's what your cut will bring you. But uh, completely natural. Iolite is wonderful. 
I was saying yesterday as well, uh, the Vikings, this is such a beautiful, bright blue. The Vikings, and I said, I've got a Viking hat at home in the garage. I, I should have brought it if I'd known I've got eye light today. I will bring it in. Because the Vikings used to use this gemstone to guide their ships back into port. I mean, this has got real historic attachment um, eye light. And it's this beautiful blue, as you can see, People really often mistake this for sapphire. So if you'd like the sapphire look without the price tag, Iolite is a wonderful, wonderful substitute for sapphire. It is known as the water sapphire, hence the whole story of the Vikings there that I was just telling you as well. But these are lovely. These are your two double strands. Five hundred and five carats of Iolite. Any time you want a rich blue that is saturated in colour. And saturated is basically how deep and rich the colour is. So any time you talk about colour, you're talking about hue, you're talking about tone, and you're talking about saturation. This is glorious. And again, it's a lovely pleochroic gemstone. It would actually go really lovely with the tanzanite. You could, you could actually, tanzanite and highlight, now that's a nice idea. So if you have just popped on, uh, just managed to get yourself a, a, a tanzanite in your basket. We've got a few available, a handful, have we? Uh, yep, there it is, 40 carats of tanzanite. We went to 27.95, we got a handful left. They were on last night, we sold up nearly 100, and you've been, uh, we had about 75 or so left this morning and they've nearly all gone. So. They would go lovely with the eye light. Just take that away so I don't confuse the issue, obviously, just to make sure. Um, 125 carats of the small nuggets, and they graduate from 2x1 to 8x1 in an 84 centimetre strand. And then in the other 82 centimetre strand, because they are roughly 6x4 mil, you've got 200 carats. And then you've got the medium nuggets as well. In fact, I'm going to hold these two particular strands up just to give you an idea. That's a jolly good length of Iolite, is it not? We're going under £10. <laughs> I love this channel. I have, I've had a few people, because it's my first week on the channel, I've had a few people this morning ask me how you look, how you, get, how you enjoying it, and I said, I, 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 I love it. I went home last night, I had a celebratory gin and tonic, and I said it after a weekend on Jury Mag, and I went to bed beaming. I did. I did, Laura. It was lovely. It was lovely. Uh, yeah, um, so 505 carats. Have you worked with Iolite, Laura? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I love Iolite because I Do just, you? again, it's got something about it. It's just, if you look at it, it's just so, it is a bit mystical to me. I, do you know that's exactly what I think? You think of all the stories and the myths and legends and everything about all the life yeah. on the ocean. And I think because there's so much life and depth below the ocean, I, that's how I feel about an Iolite. Yeah. I think it's like it's alive. Yeah, it's just got that inside, it's like a, something inside it. It's yeah, just mystical. Yeah, yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah, it is. Well, there you go. That's our lovely Laura Binding absolutely agreeing with me. That's good. Um, 9.95, all three strands. I've got a sneaky feeling they're going to go even naughtier. We can see that arrow dropping, can't we? That's it, they've done it. 6.95. Again, that's your minimum price for one strand. Oh, what a lovely way to kick off the show. Goodness me, six ninety five. that's 505 carats. Now, as we've just said, this is one of those gemstones, when you get it home and you isolate just one of these lovely nuggets, just one, have a look into it. They are the most intoxicating gemstone. They really are utterly, utterly fascinating. Can you see, look? The beautiful pleochroism in every single... I mean, look at that. All your blues and beautiful tones of the ocean in one nugget there. They're fabulous. Now, Cheryl, Karen, Anon, Audrey, Tina, Anon, here you come. You've managed to check them out. You can't believe that we've managed to bring you three strands, two of them double strands, for the baseline price of six Ninety-five. Now, all of you, whether you've got them in your baskets, Yvonne, Mab, Andrea, Renon, Carol, Joanna, lots of anonymous buyers all over the country. Um, good luck, good luck, good luck. That's your bank holiday. Oh, Gillian, you've just managed to get one, and Carol, well done. All five. They're wonderful. What a carrot weight as well. We will move on to one more strand, but oh, I could just stand. I could stand and look at Iolite all for the next four hours. I could. It's and it's a heck of a stash of Iolite as well. 
Now, we've got one, well, two more strands in one go to show you now. Here we go. Phil's doing you a fantastic price again. He's just told me in my ear what we're going to. Okay. It's not, it's limited, is it? Yeah. Okay, now this is very limited if you'd like to get these. Um, you've got these lovely, lovely little, oh, and they're completely natural as well. Okay, so um, we've got this beautiful peach, Mother of Pearl. I love Mother of Pearl. They're lovely. And those beautiful little um, flowers. And they're like a, they're a five petal look. One, two, three, four, five petal. And what's lovely, it doesn't matter whether they flip over, look, they're beautiful on each side, so it doesn't matter. And they sit, they really do hug the neckline. And they make lovely little charm bracelets or elasticated bracelets or beautiful little drop earrings. Really, really pretty and feminine. We've then got amethyst. Natural. Okay. Okay, so beautiful. I'm just double checking there, um, making sure it is natural because it doesn't say on my screen. But 31 centimetre strand of these lovely plain ovals. And they've got a graduated cut, so they're completely natural. We've got incredible 50 carats in the lovely amethyst. So let me just, I like to show you the strand so that we can show you. Oh, they look lovely when they're wrapped together, don't they? So five by four to ten by six on this 31 centimetre strand. And look at the lovely sparkle, luster, beautifully bouncing off the mother of pearl. And mother of pearl, again, I think the great thing with mother of pearl is that it, it's ageless. Any age, do you agree, Laura? Any age can wear Mother of Pearl, can't they? Yeah, definitely. And like you say, it goes across generations, doesn't 100%. it? So it's something that you know you can make and wear and give pass down as well. Absolutely. Yeah, it is classed as a, almost a, a legacy yeah. piece, isn't it, with Mother of Pearl? Uh, do you know, I have got Mother of Pearl. You're quite right. I'm just thinking. I've got Mother of Pearl from my nan, and I've got Mother of Pearl from my mum as well. So absolutely. Okay, um, we're going to bring you both strands for just incredibly six. 95 again that's a buy one that's a get one free and if you are getting your children into um these are really cute aren't they into jewelry making we said this would be a great lovely lovely happy floral design with your five petal strand of mother of pearl but again as laura and i were saying then completely ageless will just transcend generations it really really will um so it's a one strand price but you're not getting one strand are you You'll be getting two beautiful strands, and they are fantastic quality, let me just add as well. Your amethyst is lovely. It's got a beautiful, beautiful pastel purple. And as we know with our amethyst, don't we, it, it's got so many enthralling tones. You can get uh, lavenders, you can get greens, you can get pinks, you can get pastels, you can get chocolate box purples. I mean, it's just phenomenal, the gemstone. And as we said, 50% of amethysts out there, I like to make, mention this every time I bring you amethyst, and I'm sorry if you think I'm repeating myself, but I think it's so important, because 50% of the amethysts out there are not real. So that's one in two out there that you'll see will not be real. But 100% of the amethysts that you get from Jewelry Maker will be guaranteed completely genuine, because we independently lab test every single gemstone. Now, as you can see, in great big capitals there, low stock okay so we don't have many left do we Phil not many at all so Kenneth and Carolyn and all you are non buyers that oh Edith you've just got in there and none in Yorkshire you bought two and why not when it's buy one get one free you've got a multi buy haven't you um, so limited 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 all of you that have got them in, I'm just gonna look there all of you got them in your baskets um, if you do manage to get them checked out then that's fantastic okay my love half an hour of the show gone already and we've had tanzanite quartz agate we've we've got gosh goodness me we've had the iolite we've had everything haven't we amethyst we've had pearls my goodness me what have we not had to kick start the show um, okay then we are now going to our design inspiration for you am i going straight across to our lovely laura Oh, it's now, oh, we, we're back up working now. We've got all that. It, it all went a bit, it, we had a bit of a gremlin, a bank holiday Monday gremlin, but we're working again. So please join us. I'm going to be walking over in a moment to our lovely Laura Binding. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to favourite 
part of the show, designer inspiration. Now, I'll be walking over to our lovely Laura in a heartbeat. So brace yourself, Laura. That's all I'm saying, brace yourself. But, but what we are going to do in the meantime is introduce you to, I must say, the most beautiful kit. I am, you know when you're like that, you're like, oh, where do I start? It's just divine. I'll tell you what I'll start with. I will start with the wires, if that's okay. We'll get the wires um, and, and get those done for you because I've got the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful array of flowers and oh gosh I'm just I'm in smitten okay so we've got one two three four five different wires okay all silver colored I think they are aren't they yep silver plated I do apologize oh silver plated very important copper wires and the great thing is we've got such an array of sizes for you we have got uh, 15 uh, sorry yeah 15 meters of 0.25 and then 10 meters in every other every other one. So 15 meters in the point too far. We've got 50. Uh, sorry, 10 meters. Let me start that again. Breathe, Zena. Right. It's because I'm getting excited. Right. In one wire of point two five, you will get 15 meters. In all the rest, you'll get 10 meters. Okay. And let's work our way through what sizes you've got. You have got point four. You've got point six. You've got point eight. And you've got one millimeter so 10 meters in all of those 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 and 15 meters of the 0.25 okay we have then got um i think this is hilarious i love the fact that it's called friendly plastic you wouldn't want to be an unfriendly plastic would you you really wouldn't so we've got friendly plastic here on jewelry maker so friendly plastic it's hilarious there's your colors I'm trying to show you there okay so you've got you've got the black okay you've got the beautiful um, turquoise in the center and you've got the silver and they're all the same they're 18 by 3 uh, sorry 18 by three and a half centimeter every one of them so you've got the black the silver and the beautiful turquoise okay friendly are you friendly yes Yes, we're friendly. Yes, they're friendly. Um, okay, so that's good. Uh, we've got this beautiful strand. Yeah, sorry about that. I couldn't help myself. Okay, so we've got this lovely, lovely strand of cultured pearl nuggets as well, my lovelies. Gorgeous set. Can't wait to see what you've done with this. They're completely, completely natural. So white cultured pearls, they uh, graduate between 6x7 and 9x6. Lovely pearl nuggets. They're so pretty, aren't they? Going to give a lovely element of design, and you wait till you see what we've added to the kit. The most beautiful shells. Three different... Sh um, I'm going to have to pick some of these up, actually. I'll pick them up with my fingers, and we'll try tweezers, because it would be quite amusing. Um, okay, so let me show you each one of these. We're going to go for one of the bigger ones first. Okay, so we've got five of these. Look at the detail in that carving natural beautiful white shell five petaled flower and lovely lovely intricate carving there really pretty five of those then we've got five of these roses oh can you imagine for i tell you what sheila davis would be having a field day wouldn't she wouldn't she just with the bridal jewelry five stunning they're classed as your five petal flower actually no they're not are they they are your roses aren't they they're lovely one, two, three, four, five of those. And then um, we've got ten of these. Now, this is going to be fun, trying to get these in tweezers. This may have to be my... Oh, no, she's done it. She's done it. Do a quick camera shot, though. Five petal flowers, and you've got ten of these. They're ten mil. Again, lovely, lovely carvings on them as well. Lovely detail. Really pretty. So, just to recap them, five of the big flowers, um, of the five petal flowers, five of the roses, ten of the cute ten mil flowers there, five different types of wire gauge, three lots of different friendly plastic, and your beautiful, beautiful cultured pearl nuggets as well. Now, we're going to give you what the price you should be paying, which is 52.40. But again, we're not. We are interested in the what you should be paying because then you know what you what you what you actually um, save. But we're interested in what you're going to pay, aren't we? Now, just a little heads up for you. We, we are quite limited on this kit, aren't we? So, um, we've got 
about 49 of these, I think it is. So I'm sure those of you that watch regularly will know that's quite a limited availability. Just something to mention as well. And we've got 10 in baskets already in that short time of me introducing the kit to you. Can I just mention, oh, and Gillian, you got two, don't worry. Um, Gillian thought, I'm not missing out, I'm having two. Um, Joy got one, Kathleen got one, and Anon got one, and a lot of you got them in the baskets. Can I just mention as well, uh, there's your lovely uh, culture pearls. Um, when we go across to Laura, our wonderful, there's your flowers as well, L wonderful Laura binding. I've seen what she's created already. Okay, so I've got a sneaky feeling. Oh, she's lining it up. She's getting it all ready, aren't you, Laura? Yeah. I she is. Up there. Was... Oh, I did think, I did think. <laughs> I did think. She going to I was playing she's... about with I that. I thought you weren't going to show us then, Laura. <laughs> I thought she's keeping them to herself. She likes them that much. Um, right then, are we taking some more money off this? Are we doing it now? Okay, a bank holiday Monday treat here in the UK. We are going to crush the price to 34.95. I must say, I mean our strands are fantastic value for money. Our kits are something else, aren't they? My goodness, can I go over now? I can't wait any longer. Can I go? Dee 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 dee. Because you gave me the mesh to play about with. I was working on working with the mesh and I was just focusing on Oh, you were just that. transfixed, weren't you, yeah. Laura? <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm going to give you a kiss. Be careful, there's wires down there. Oh, okay, thank you. That's, yes, <laughs> health we've and got safety warning. Oh, goodness, and this I was going to say, we've got everything. You've got a melting pot. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I was going to say witch's cavern, but that doesn't sound right, no. does it? No. no. It's Sorry, like Laura. a little um, scientist, don't you? You feel like a little... Yeah. Sort of, yeah. I thought like there's going to be a Bunsen burner in a minute. I'm going to put my safety goggles on. <laughs> right, okay. Please, 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 can you talk us through? Can I just say as well, how much did we take off that kit? Over £17, wasn't it? Seventeen pounds and forty-five. We took off the should-be price. You know, it's a beautiful kit. It's, it's a lovely, really stunning it? kit. Um, you know, you've got the friendly plastic in there, but you've also just got that beautiful shell pearls with the pearls with the silver wire. Just flowers. Everything you want. Yeah, the flowers. Have you enjoyed gorgeous. working with? Them? I have. Yeah, I've still got four of the the larger flowers left. Oh great! So you so made could, all this yeah. jewelry, and you've got some kit left over. Yeah, and I've got loads of wire left over as well. Right, so we have, should we have a little look before you tell us what you're going to recreate for us here in the studio, Laura? I'll let you talk, talk us through them. Okay, well there's a couple that are just simple with the friendly plastic and just kept it sort of like, you know, just experimenting, mixing with the wire and with the, the plastic as well. Um, and then there's some that, you know, just set the actual flowers into it, yep. um, like a bangle with a focal piece as part of the bangle. I love that. Yeah. And I it, love the bangle. And you're able to um, still, you can still pierce the friendly plastic with the head pin so you can still use oh, okay. the drill hole um, and I've been able to do that with the flower pendant and the bracelet where I've actually been able to um, make sure it stays where it's meant to and then I'm able to use those wires to create the bales and things like exactly. that. So it's really all sort of you know, it's all but part is it, of one. Is it helpful having all the different gauges of wire? Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely, because you've got the point 0.8 and the point 0.25, which are a perfect combination. You've got the point um, 0.4 and the one mil, again, a perfect combination. You've got the point 0.6, which I've used for the gizmo section. So there's nothing you're missing no, wire-wise? there's nothing wise. you're missing at okay, all. Okay, fantastic. I love that. It's quite Art Deco, that yeah, one, almost, isn't it? It is, and that's just simply cut pieces of plastic so that they stick to each other, and then pop again, pop in a head piercing with a head pin, and using that head pin, that, that, you know, we've got these lovely head pins that have got different shapes on them and yeah, stars flowers and, and hearts, hearts and stars so and all you can sorts, use any of them. Yeah, and then just using that to, to create the, the link, really. And can I just ask, have you worked with the friendly plastic very often, or is it no? Quite this new is like my you? second time. Gosh, is it? Yeah. So I mean, I still got a lot to learn, and I, you know, we, you know, as everybody has starting out in new mediums, but it's really fun to experiment with. I mean, that's just like a little piece of scrap plastic that I had that I just put a piece of the blue over yeah. and then wire wrapped into a statement kind of ring. And so. look how dramatic that is and let's just say, I mean I appreciate you're obviously very experienced Laura but however this is only Laura's second time working yeah. with, with, with friendly plastics, that's incredible. That, I mean that's what I'm hoping to show that you know even if it's something that you're not used to working with or it's a bit intimidating, as long as you're willing to give it a go, give it a go. and every time you sit down and play with it you're going to be able to create and discover more and more and more about the product, you know it's, a, it's just fun, it's just great fun. And, and, and that's the thing as well. I think when we've got kits like this with that much in them with all those wires the gems the pearls the, the flowers the the my goodness me the friendly plastics when you've got a kit like that if you as you say if you've never worked with a medium before and you no. fancy giving it a try yeah. it at these prices you can afford to give it yeah. a go can't you most definitely I mean I've got I know I've got the burner here some people have these some people don't they're not in production anymore but you can also use like a little camper pot oh, um, yeah. or you can just use the hot um, 
the, the heat gun. The heat gun. Um, I've, I've actually got mine here just because I wanted to play about with it. I didn't want to be noisy with the dryer. With the dryer. Oh, bless you. I didn't, want to be, <laughs> I didn't want to be noisy with the, the, um, heat, the, gun. the heat gun. The so heat I gun. thought if I just get the hot water out, then I can still okay. have a little bit of a play about about disturbing yeah. you. Thank so you. That's that was the very only kind of you. Um, but yeah, no, so, you know, and even if, you know, you're a bit scared of friendly plastic. The kit without the friendly plastic is just beautiful. Yeah, exactly. So you could separate them. Exactly. Of course. Yeah, you don't have to use the friendly plastic no. if you don't. If you decide that you don't fancy it. We don't have to use it together. So you know. So are we going to? Are we going to make something? We are. We're going to have a go at just making the wire wrapped kind of pendant on the end with the gizmo section. Okay. Because it's just a bit of a cross. Um, you know, it's kind of. So that's this one. Yeah, that one yep, there. Okay. So, so you know, you're able to create your own. Um, your own kind of cabochons and effect yeah. and then get that sort of 3D effect and just make something a little bit more different, a bit more unique that's going to make you stand out a little bit. Exactly. So I mean this is a statement piece without question because it's just so... I, I'm, I'm transfixed with it, I am Laura, I think it's lovely. But I mean you can, I mean we had um, we had those stamps on earlier this morning, didn't yep. we? Was it K? Yeah, I think yeah, so, yeah. And, you know, they would, you can stamp into the friendly plastic as well. So, you know, there's a lot more you can do with it. There's a lot of scope. Fantastic, lovely. Okay. So, I've been lucky enough to be given a little sneak of what we're going to have uh, later on. So, I'm going to use some slightly different coloured friendly plastic. Wonderful, okay. So, we have got some more so coming up. We have up. got yep. some more coming up. So, what I'm going to do is that you choose, um, if you choose three... Can I? Yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to just cut some little sections off of those and create the okay. first part. I'm going to have that one, I'm going to have that one, and I'm going to have that one. Okay, cool. There you go. Thank right. you. So I'm just going to move oh, these. Like, oh, it's, ooh. <laughs> what did you want me to mention again, sorry? Oh, that'd be a good idea. Yes, because we've got those. We've got these. We can pop them on screen. Yeah, so we can yeah, have a look. So people, if they decide they want them, they can just have yes, those. So definitely. we'll pop those on screen for you. The friendly plastics. Um, the collection of... Um, eight strips in various colours. So there you go, coming <laughs> up. But one of them is a really, really cool kind of rainbow I, colour. I chose um, that one. It's really different and it, you know, you could just make a simple cuff. You could just reheat this and form it. You can't, or you can't, oh, you could, just not it. But That's you, lovely. And this will change when you heat it, it'll become more vibrant. But, um, oh, does it? Yeah, the, the colour just changes when it gets heated. Ah. So, you know, it just becomes more intense. Oh, OK. Um, so that on its own would make a really nice cuff. I love a cuff nice. You know, and yeah. you can wrap it around it, uh, something like a jar or something, you know. Um, so they do come with these little labels on the back. And all I'd say is a little tip, just because I learned the hard way, take them off before, before you start doing them. anything. Because um, they're OK if you're just doing a simple project, but... If you're putting it in with water, what happens is obviously the sticky label kind of dissolves in the yeah. water and then it gets involved in the plastic. So just take that second, just pop it into some water if you need to. But if you can get into the habit, because otherwise, you'll, you'll, if you forget, you just tip. pick it up and then you'll just end up, you know. Yeah. So I'm just going to use the other one, but just try to make sure do you, you want take. Do you try and get those off while you're using the other two? Should I try and do that point? I have put it in the water. I'll be for your you. assistant. You'll be my assistant. Okay. Oh, we've got a message coming as well. Okay, I'm confused. The packaging says silver coloured wire, but the presenter always says silver plated. Could you please? It is definitely silver plated. Absolutely. Yeah. Sorry if we've confused you there. Could you confirm which it is? Yes, we can, my lovely. Thank you so much for your, for your question, but it's silver plated 100%. Okay, so I mean, I'm just using my tin snips, but household scissors, scissors, oh, really? leather cut, leather okay. scissors, anything like that. Okay. As long as you've just got a sharp pair of scissors. Um, scissors are quite rare in my house. You put them down, they just seem to disappear. They so, do, don't they? Yeah. They're like the socks in the yeah. washing machine. Just and we like that. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm using my snips, which you can also use as well. But you need something nice and sharp, okay? Okay. And what I'm going to do is just cut these into some angles. Can I just mention the eight strips in various colours that we've got coming up later in the show as well is for all wood of them. Now, obviously, as you can see there, includes the colours that our lovely Laura's working with now, and they're going to be just $14.95 for all eight of them, OK? Cool. They're lovely colours as well. I've got the, I've got the, I've got the tag you. off for you there, lovely girl. Thank you. So what I'm doing is just cutting at some different angles. Some sections. And you're not measuring, you're just literally cutting a yeah. few off to your well, heart's you know delight. I'm not a measurer. Okay, okay, right. I'm not a measurer. Does that mean you can't bake? I don't bake. There you go. I you have to cook, measure to yeah. bake, don't you? Yeah, I just mm. go for a phase of baking mm. when I just have my daughter, but that's gone. Okay, right. So, <laughs> you know, so they're, they're, they're bought cakes today, then, are they, Laura? Yes, they're bought yes, cakes. Okay, uh, to be fair, I've been down here overnight, so I couldn't yes, have baked we'll let you it off. if I'd have wanted yeah, to. Yeah, we'll let you off. Um, right, so another little tip as well. Because what I'm hoping to do is, I know that I appreciate some of you who have already worked with friendly plastic, but to try and 
um, approach it from a beginner's view as well because obviously in effect that's what I am. I'm me. So little tips that I've discovered along the way that obviously the, um, Liz Welsh is the expert in this. <laughs> Get her DVDs. Any, op, any problems, ask her, she'll answer any questions. So I will always say, you know, she is the queen. She's who we've all Fantastic. learned from. So Everybody's got their, their forte, haven't yes, they? Yeah, yes, and she's just amazing with it. She's been working with this product for about 20 years, I think. So Do we ask her why it's called Friendly Plastic? You could ask her. I'm going to ask that. I'm you should ask to know. her. She's got, yeah, she's on Facebook. Just I'm going say, to ask why her. Why is it called Friendly Plastic? I want to know. Um, okay, so you've got the heat pad. Mm -hmm. um, okay, the large heat pad. And what I've done is I've actually cut some sections off of my large heat pad, okay? And the reason is because when you start heating this, um, the, the plastic, what you need to be able to do is lift it because it's going to stick to okay. it yep. until it's cooled. So if you use it on a large one, then you're kind of stuck because you have to yep. work around it. That's a good point. Whereas if you've got little sections, you can do a couple of little projects and you know that you can heat them and then you can just remove it. Yep. You could, if you're putting it in hot water, you can pop it straight into the hot water. Okay. Or if you, and then if you want to cool it in the cold water to help it set quicker. Okay. Yep. Again, you can then lift it and put it straight in. Yep. Absolutely. So you're not restricted no. by that great big piece of. Yeah. Okay. So you know, it's a bit annoying. I've done it where I've forgotten, and it is a bit frustrating. Okay. So I am just going to show you how to do it using the heat gun. And we have got a heat gun coming up later as well, so don't worry. And what I'm done is I've just placed in a couple of them together in different, however you want them to lay, really. Okay. So I'm also quite a messy worker, as you can see. But what you want is them all to be kind of touching. Okay. Well, they are friendly plastics, they aren't are, they? Yeah. So, yeah. They're friendly to each other. Yeah, there you go. Perhaps that's the reason why. That's it, that's the one. Yeah. So, okay, just however you want it to go, okay? So, just try and get it to touch. Okay. There we go. You're just creating any shape you want there. Yeah. Okay. So, again, just see what I mean about how that moves? Oh, I've got you. Oh, oh. see? That's because that's on the fast setting, so that's what you don't want to, that's what you're trying to avoid. Okay. I'm just going to reposition them. So do it on the lower setting, do I think we've just setting. established. It's quite quiet, isn't it? It is quite quiet. It's okay once it starts to go tacky. We can just, smell the heat, can't yeah. you? Yeah. It's just whilst you're waiting for it to go tacky, it can yeah. move. Okay, and um, I'm going to be using a cocktail stick. We do have um, a little tool called a, a, it's called a thriller, I think. It's like a little wooden tool, it's very cool. Um, but I think the dog ate mine. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds a bit painful. The dog eats everything <laughs> of mine at the moment. I'm surprised the dog's still alive, to be honest. <laughs> it's, not, it's definitely not in my good books. Um, <laughs> can you see what I mean about how the colour yes, starting to I can. brighten? Yes, I can. Can you and see so that on just camera? I do around. hope so. Can you see how Gosh, it's yeah. starting to shine? You can see that. You can see it's melting oh, You can there. see it, yeah. Um, and what you'll see is it doesn't take long. It does take longer when you're doing it like this yeah. than if you just pop it in the water. It's only seconds still as well, but though, it's isn't not it? that long at all now. And what I want is I do want to get this quite soft. Yep. Okay, so okay. I'll stop for two seconds and show you it's how I can quiet. see. If I can bend this like this, I know it's getting quite nice oh, and it's soft. stuck to it as well already. Yeah, yeah, it will stick to it. But obviously, if I hadn't done it on a small piece, I wouldn't You'd be, be able to do it. You'd be trying to do it the whole, yeah. So I'm just going to make it a little bit more because what I'm going to do is just use my tool to sort of drag the colours around with each other. Okay. Do you want me to hold that down for you? That will be no, fine now. Okay, okay. Now it's stuck, I can heat it up a bit quicker. Oh, yeah, so that's you know, on the higher setting, once it's stuck, and then it's not all going to blow everywhere. Yeah, no, okay, it's, it's got you. stuck. So I just really want it really quite um, quite sticky, really, because I want to be able to drag my toothpick through it. I'm and it does go really intense in colour, doesn't it? You're absolutely right. Yeah. Gosh. I'm going to turn this off just for now, just because okay. it didn't really need it to be there, but I just wanted okay. to do that whilst it was quiet. So I'm going to take my toothpick, cocktail stick, whatever it's called, um, and I'm just going to run these oh into my. each other. So wow! So if I just pick that up for you to see, can you see how cool that looks? All right, and then again you can just kind of create some really cool swirly patterns. Now, um, if you're using tools really, you should oil it with a little bit of olive oil or a bit okay. of um, this, uh, you know, like a butter product, like, you know, just something. Yeah. okay, or a rapeseed right. oil or something yeah, like something that. Yeah, something like that, and it would just help stop it sticking, but you can see how you can create anything you want to look at. Yeah. It should still be sticky enough. But you can see now where you needed it so sticky. It's starting oh, you to get have warm. to keep going, don't you? Yeah, you have to keep going. How do I get out just, now? Just put just, it. Right. Oh. There you go, little curl. Oh. Now, if that happens, it's fine. If you heat it again, we'll it'll just again. settle back down, yeah. All right. Yeah. So that was brilliant. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. And you can just see how that changes. And then that pattern will stick. I've not right. just spoiled that by raising that up a bit. No, 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 because no, I'm going to be putting okay. a cabochon-y kind of bit onto it, but then you can just reheat it and bring oh. it back down like that, see? 
That's wonderful. So when you're when you're saying when, to get the, to pick out, you just kind of pull it away from the edge, so you just kind of can go. Like oh, I've got you. All right. Okay. And again, it's starting to get a little bit um, set now. That's yeah. the only reason. You can actually feel as, as you're working through. Yeah. It starts to just, be, as you say, set a little it bit sets, more. Yeah. yeah. So because I can still bend it, yeah. but it's just set. So I'm yeah. going to just pop that into there. Oh, straight into the cold. That's straight cold water. Cold. Just yeah. straight cold straight water. Straight cold water. Okay. It should really be colder and it will set quicker, but it's. Um, it's obviously it's quite warm in here, so I'm just going to pop that over yeah. there. So then what I'm going to want to do I'm now? I'm your helper, Laura. You're my helper. You're a very good helper. So I'm just going to cut. Some yes, your glamorous assistant. <laughs> <laughs> very glamorous. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a couple more pieces again. Okay. So I want to make a kind of bead now. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to just do the same again. Okay. I tend to call it with quite triangular type I shapes think that, because of the shape of the actual friendly plastic as well anyway, I yeah. think. Um, I just wanted those edges on this, yep. but see how that's just come off now and that's now set? Yep, straight away you can see it, can't you? Yeah, but I mean that on its own makes a really cool kind of art deco yeah, pendant. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I like the fact that it's got these little holes in it for me. I'm able to then um, use my wire to anchor through that, yep. okay? okay. Um, so, all right, so we've got a couple of pieces. So again, and, and again, look up there. I mean, eight strips in various colours, fourteen ninety five. You can really afford to have a go, can't you? Yeah, and I mean, you can see how much I kind of made, and I've still got a teeny tiny bit left out of the three strips that I yep. had, and so I've made one, two, three, four, five, six actual friendly pieces. And that only came pieces. with three pieces, didn't yeah. it? Can I just show this one as well, Laura? Do you mind yeah, just very quickly? Yeah, carry on. you doing? Just, 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 just nipping with these. Look, so we've got another six here, all different colours. Beautiful blues and greens. There's a sort of multicolor effect here. Gorgeous sort of floral design as well. There are six strips of friendly plastic here. LOGC92 is your code, and we're going to bring you all five, all six of them. Sorry, for 9.95. So that is so many different colors and shapes and patterns and just gorgeous. So I just thought I'd show you a few alternatives there as well. Okay. All right, sorry about that, Laura. I just no, it's fine. Why are you doing that? I'm people just... are really enjoying this. Then yeah. It's nice to give them all the different colours. Well, I'm just doing the quiet version of heating it. So this is your melting pot that yeah. you've got already. Yeah. This I is mean, instead of having the heating gun. Yeah. Um, you know, the heating pot, I mean, that mine goes between about 82 to 104. But what you need is your water to be hot enough. You put your finger in and hold it in for about a second. Okay. You don't want it to be Can too... I yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not too. Yeah. You, you can put your finger in, but I wouldn't want to keep my hand in there. Mm -hmm. um, and then that that will just help. Again, there is um I can't remember the exact setting for it. I think it's between forty and sixty. If you get the DVD or ask Liz, she will tell you the proper boiling okay. temperature. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It always right, okay. does say on a DVD, and I'm sure if you go on YouTube, I'm sure it's on one of her shows as well. Gosh, that did that so quickly. So you can see how quick that's done. Um, it's cooled down a little bit because I turned it off for two seconds, but I've just quickly reheated it. But we haven't got these melting pots anyway, no, no, so no. you would need the, no. the heating good, yeah. wouldn't you? But okay. I do appreciate some people do have these from when okay, they did jewel enamel, um, or you can just get a cooker, like a, a little pot, and just yep. keep it on that. Yep. I'm just doing this purely because I'm trying to do it quickly and quietly. And also, we're trying to think of everybody that's whatever everybody's yeah. got. You've got to cater to everybody, haven't we? Yeah. So, yep. so now what I want to do is, so I've got that movement, and it's all stuck together. I'm just going. I'm going to peel this off, so it's got a bit of movement to it still. It's still okay. quite flexible. Yep. Because I want to form this into a kind of a little bead. Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm just going to, I want to fold over the black really. But I'm quite happy to have a bit of the black showing. Yeah. I'm just going to just fold it oh, in. Oh my goodness me. And just kind of roll it around. It's just how you make a little bead as well. It needs a little bit too warm. It could do with brilliant. being a tiny little bit cooler, but you could, um, a little bit warmer again. But I could just pop that again. I would just pop that there so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Just to warm it up enough for me to be able to manipulate it into the shape I want, okay? Okay. So, so you can reheat it again? Yeah, yeah. It's not, right, okay, that's a good tip it, as well. Reheat it, and I just want to try and, I'm just going to sort of re squidge it now into a shape that I'm happy that's going to be a bit cabochon y kind of shape. Gosh, now, it will pick up your fingerprint, so it, you've got to try and be a bit sort of careful with that. Yeah. Um, if I take the gun. Sorry, lovely. It's all right. Again, try and remember to just pop it on there. Again, on a lower setting again, yeah. Yeah, or higher. It, doesn't, it just shines it up a little bit and yep. it kind of takes a little bit of your fingerprints away. You just really don't want to handle it too much, really. Yep, okay. All right, now what we want to do is place that onto this. Mm -hmm. So when you put friendly plastic onto friendly plastic, you need both pieces to be hot or tacky and then it will stick permanently. Okay. So you need to warm up where you're going to put this 
uh, this onto this and warm this bit up as well. So okay. we need to warm both sections up, okay? Yep. So, oh, it's quite cool on that it side, It is, actually. I just, yeah, I did it. <laughs> quite like that, that side. Collie, you got that much collie, you don't know which side to pop no. down, do you? So I'm just going to actually, I'm going to use that side because that's pretty cool. Okay. So now I've got to decide whereabouts on here. So again, look at it. How am I going to have this? How's this going to be? Bearing in mind that we are actually going to set a bale into it. Okay. I'm actually going to create the bale out of wire completely. Wow. So you need to think of how do you want this to sit. So, oh, so you've got to envisage it. So yeah, just so yeah. you've got to sort okay. of think how's this going to go with my bale on as well. That's mm -hmm. going to be quite cool like that. Or it could even be like set like that. All right, so there's yep. no sort of wrong or right. So I'm going to just pop it there, I think. Okay, again, I'm just warming this up. Okay. To make it tacky. You can see it's glowing a little bit. Yeah, it's absolutely, 100%. And then, again, I'm just going to make that. It doesn't have to be hot. It just needs to be tacky. Yeah. And then you're able to just pop that on. Obviously, heat the side you want to put down. Yes. Okay. And then you can still manipulate it a little bit. Now, I've slightly distorted this, but that's fine. Just for you to get an idea. Okay. And I wanted this to be raised because then I'm able to frame that with my wire. Okay. And then that wire is going to be able to sit all the way around there. Um, oops, that's gone a bit soft now. So that's one thing you've got to be careful of. Yeah. And also be aware of keeping other bits of plastic by where you're working with so the heat. So they don't join on. Because it will still absolutely. melt. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, again, I could just pop that back in there so it can set. Oh, just a quick question, Laura, from Jean in Hampshire. Hi, Laura. Can I use the F colour stove to melt the plastic from Jean? Two kisses. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. As long as it... It's not, but it's basically, this is just water in this pan. Um, so as long as it can keep your water in a constant temperature, then and it not should deviate. Be, yes, it needs to be kept at a constant temperature. So if you know that you can put it in and you can set that temperature and it can maintain it, then you'll be fine. Okay. Um, and that's the best answer that I can give to that, okay. really. And I, I hope, hope that, that helps. helps. Jean. Yeah, hope that helps. Lovely. All right. Oh, we've got one more message as well, sweetie. Sorry, I feel like I that's keep right, stopping you in mid flow. Right. Uh, thank you for all the wonderful bargains. I've got my two favourite people and crew on today. Love, Jean. What a Aww. lovely message. Thank you. Oh, that's sweet. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, Jean. And Sharon's come in. Hello, Laura and Zena. Nice to see Zena on Jewelry Maker again. A breath of fresh air. Oh, aren't they Aww. lovely to us? That's nice. Aww. Everyone's ha having a happy bank oh, holiday. Thank you, Thank you, Sharon. Aww. And uh, one more for Laura. Oh, this is about your DVD, Laura. Oh, okay. Oh. Hi, Laura. I have the Infinity Pendant DVD. It's fab, but my cabochons do not contain drill holes. So how do I get around this? Please, love, Marie. Um, oh, it's a tricky one. Um, okay, look, I'll, I'll tell you a secret that Ooh. I don't know if I can say. I just say watch this space in the next month. That's all I can really say. There's not much you can do if it's got a caption because it's got to be set differently. Um, and that DVD does include putting the wire through the drill hole and using that as stability. Um, you know, the other thing you can do is just create a frame back in, place it on, and then kind of just capture it in with the weaves. It's just playing about with it. Maybe watch the DVD, learn the weaves, and then try and play about with the wires and create your own kind of thing. It's the only okay, thing I can say because it is based around the drilled stone, I'm afraid. Okay. And we have got one of your DVDs coming up later, I oh, think. Oh, have you? I think we have. Okay. It, it is the pendant one, isn't it? Yes, right, okay. Oh, I would have bought okay. my pieces. Oh, okay. There you go. Right, okay. So, basically, there it is, and it's set now, and you can see that that's stuck yep. nice and... Um, I mean, it's not the neatest, obviously, because I've been doing this in a bit of a Yeah, but you raced through on air, aren't you? So. Um, but I am really impressed with this. This is really cool. That's um, really cool. It is. Very psychedelic, almost, it isn't is, it? It is, but, like contained yeah it's like a muted um so yeah that's your shape now you can cut and trim it if you're thinking if that's a bit too pointy and these aren't sharp no. although they look quite sharp they're not mm -hmm. okay so now what i want to do is set about getting my frame so i will turn this off now because i think we're done with the plastic shall i gently move that out your road yeah i just want I? It, I don't want you to get burnt or hurt basically well, the chances are with me being as clumsy as i am it's likely to happen water okay <laughs> yeah just pop it there and I'll okay. clear it in a minute. It's just, I only, like, literally, like I said, it was because it meant that I can, sorry. Can I just bring this on, just as we're yeah. having a very simple break, just to show you, because we're talking about this um, this heat gun. This is actually, I think, I'm assuming it's a white one. Uh, yeah. And it's a heated craft tool. Well, that kind of says what it does on the tin, doesn't it? So the little uh, sort of purpley one that our lovely Laura was working with, and as she heated up the uh, friendly plastic, and it does say that it's used to melt embossing powders, gentle yeah. airflow, keeps your, um, obviously, you draw in place and quick dry inks and glues and paints and obviously friendly plastics as well and we're going to bring this to you the Cody WA 
RQ98. And you can order this today with us, um, 17.95. Now that's an essential tool, I would think, yes, in this. Yes, definitely. I mean, if you wanted to get out, I can show you the difference in it. But from um, my knowledge, is yeah, look, it's, it's up to you. Because um, it's actually very small. It's this smaller. one, isn't it? it's brilliant. And it does actually say on it that it's not a hairdryer. Oh, um, because it's actually a lot hotter than a hairdryer, so it's quite. Oh no, oh, this, this is cute, cute isn't cute. it? Look. Oh. Female. Yes, caution, <laughs> not a hairdryer. This is not a, intended for craft use only. So this is a specific tool. So yeah. what, just quickly, the differences, the one that you've just had. Do you want to plug it in and we can just Shall show Shall I plug it, it in? Are we allowed to do that? Are we allowed to do that quickly? Sorry, just stabbed you with my nose. We've got time. We've got to be really quick. Like super quick. Super quick, super quick. Okay. I am here, I'm just plugging it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, it's because it's got a plug cover on it. Are you, and can I just say, they're brilliant to take on holiday for your hair straightener from drying. They're brilliant. Anyway, just thought I'd mention it. So I've just put Oh, that. my... No, that is proper quiet. So, hear how quiet that is, and it's And a that's lot, on, everybody. So that it's a lot on. more contained. So what I'm going to do is just quickly see how hot it can get, because I want to stick these two bits together. And that's so much quieter. That is unbelievable, isn't it? And there you go. It's less blowy. That is genius, look. You couldn't hear that, could you? Goodness me. That's that well cute, nice. that is. There you go. And look, that's perfect. Bang, that was exactly it. exactly what I needed it to do. And you've just literally heated it up and that's just stuck to it straight away. Yeah. And it to my finger as well. 17.95 for the, for the, um, the heated crackle. Yeah, it's definitely that's much better. Uh, well, I say it's not much better. It's, it's just better for what you want. Well, things it for. improve as as, yeah. the, as design moves on, doesn't it? I think if you're going to invest in one, then that's definitely one to invest in. Um, and like I say, if you do use your, your embossing powders or anything, <laughs> I'm giggling because these two in the gallery they've been ever so cheeky. They've been ever so cheeky in my ear. They are. But we'll let them off. It's Bank Holiday Monday in the UK. We'll let them <laughs> off. Okay, so what I'm going to do, now you've got two choices with this, what gauges of wire combinations you use. So you've got your 0 0.5, uh, 0.4, sorry, and your 1mm, mm -hmm. which are a really ideal combination, but it's going to create quite a thicker, heavier yeah. kind of um, look and be a little bit trickier to work with. Now, because I know I want to take advantage of the fact that I've got these holes, I want to be able to mould my frame around the sides of this, which okay. is why I went for that sort of more raised effect. Um, and I want to be able to use these holes. So I'm actually going to choose my 0.8 and 0.25 combination for this. Okay. Because it gives me a bit more flexibility. Okay. All right. But it's great because there's five different gauges in this yes, kit, aren't there? Yes, there's a bit of yeah. something for everybody. Absolutely. Um, and the reason that I chose this, as I said, is that reason. But um, the 0.25 is going to not pull against the 0.8. Okay. If you were to use a 0.4, the 0.4 will pull the 0.8 a little bit, which means that you end up with slightly wobbly kind of weaving. So if you've got your 0.25 and your 0.8, it's going to just be a better combination. So it could almost tend to almost work against one another if you don't. Yeah, yeah I've because got, yeah. one's not quite strong enough to hold against the other one because it's a little bit too strong. Okay. But if you go down the gauges, it's perfect. It's fascinating, isn't it? It is. It's um, fascinating. So I'm going to cut three pieces of wire off, okay? You can okay. do whatever you want. I mean, do I go for three? Oh, I don't think I went for four on that one. It doesn't really matter. Go for three or four. I'm going to go for four. Okay. I change mine every time I do these things. That's a great thing. They just keep experimenting, yeah. don't you? Everyone's going to look different. Can you imagine if you had a craftsman full of these in different oh, colourways? It's yeah. going to look amazing. Absolutely. And you're basically cutting. They're all the same length, roughly, that you're roughly, cutting. Yeah. Okay. So I've got, and again, I've got probably about just half a metre-ish. Okay. Um, it's it, an arm's length almost, isn't it? Yeah, it was up to yeah, my elbow. Up to, up to the crease in your elbow. Yeah. But I mean, it, this is, I'm probably overestimating, mm -hmm. but what I want is enough wire to be able to go all the way around my sort of cabochon section create yep. my bail but also just to decorate around a little bit okay. now I've got this so I could bring the wires down if I wanted to yeah this one's quite large so I could even I'm not going to but I could do a section of weaving and just weave it all the way around and really wow. make the whole piece completely individual gosh okay so what I'm going to do now is take my point too fast so I'm just going to move this out of the way okay I let them actually tidying up I just can't, do you want me to tidy anything? Are you all right? I'm clearing it so you can see what I'm doing. I feel doing. like you're having to do all the work. Well, you it's are. Right. Well, I am. It's fine. I'm used to it. I'm just standing watching. You just stand watching. That's fine. Um, it's all right. Becky normally drinks her coffee and it's a little snack. So. <laughs> he doesn't surprise <laughs> me. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got my 0.25, 0.25 now. 0.25 now. What I'm going to do is keep this on the reel. It is a springy wire. And a lot of the time people get nervous about using the 0.25 because it is such a fine wire. But... Um, 
I do a wire weaving workshop and I, had, I actually ran it on Friday and we used the 0.25 and, and the 0.4 and so many people would prefer to use the 0.25 for the weaving. Once they'd work with it. Because it's a lot easier. It's just about managing and controlling it, okay? So take a little bit of the wire. Hi, Phil. I just said hi, Phil. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> he was making a noise. He was dropping the heat gun plug. He was trying ever so hard to be quiet, wasn't he? Was, he was, yeah. He tried. But we've just shown him up. Yeah. Sorry, Phil. <laughs> Um, okay, so I've, I've got probably about a metre, but what I'm doing is I'm not cutting it from the reel because I want to try and work as much from the reel as I can. Okay. So I've just popped the plastic back on. Is that so you don't run out? No, it's, well, it's because I don't want to keep joining wire in because every time you join wire in, you get little edges that are going to then okay. have to be sort of set down, which you can do. Um, and the other reason is because the type of weave we're going to start off with, um, you don't really, you want, it's not one that's easy to add in and out of because if you're adding wire in and out, it's best to do it on a singular wire. Okay. Um, people who weave, that should make sense too. So basically, okay. if you're doing a weave where you're wrapping around one wire at any point, it's okay because you can cut there and then rejoin in there. But if you're going up in pairs of twos, then there's no um, place to sort of okay. wrap that wire around. So you, okay. So you want a single wire to work with. Yeah, it okay. also controls it. The longer it is and cut, the more springy it's going to yeah. go. And the more likely it is to kink like this. Yeah which is a big favourite of it. And it will do that even though it's on the reel. It will still do this. If you see it do that, you probably won't see it. If I pull that tight, you'll feel it. Because what will happen is that will happen and you won't notice. But I always put my fingers down my wire and I can feel, straight away I can feel that bump. Yeah, absolutely. And then I can just simply go back and just gently unfold it. Okay. And, and put it taut again. Yep. Yeah, okay. That could then be a weak spot, so be aware of that. Oh, it's okay. just because obviously you bent it and bent it, especially if you haven't realised and you've pulled it quite tight. So as long as you control it nicely, you'll be absolutely fine. Just okay. be aware of those little Be respectful little of it, basically. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Respect the wire. Respect it. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> I felt like some kind of rapper then. <laughs> I can't rap. <laughs> no, I not can't rap. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my first piece of wire up. So what we do okay. is um, I kind of build the wires up. So I'll start with one. So I'm not going to pick four wires up and try and work it straight away because that's going to become fiddly. Okay. Um, to be able to do anything like this, you want to make it as easy for as yourself. As simple as possible. Yeah. yeah, as soon as you start complicating it, you get put off. Yeah. And so get flustered, I would imagine. Yeah. And as you say, don't persevere with it then. Yes, because you yeah. think, oh, yeah. no, I'm not, that's not for me, and you put yeah. it down. And it's, it can always be something as simple as you've just got about it the wrong way. Yeah, absolutely. So we pick it up one by one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start so that my end of my wire is here, and then I'm able to move my weave down towards the, body, the centre of the wire. Uh, now, if you're left-handed, just go from this end. The only difference is make sure that your tail is on the inside so that your your weaving wire is mm -hmm. on on the outside and you can then move your wire in okay all right yeah. yep um so i'm going to start off with my first one a little tiny tail and it's going to be a bit tricky for you to see because it is um a 0.25 so it is very fine so we're going to go one two three four I'm just anchoring that wire on in a tiny little coil it's going to be tricky for you to see um but you can just about can see, just it see it yeah yeah so i'm going to take my second wire mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of label these wires, one, two, three, and four. Okay. I think I've got an escapee, I call it. So what I'm going to do is, because it's going to be four, I'm going to kick the ends of these two down, okay? Yeah. And then when I put my next two on, I'll kick them up. So oh, okay. I can, so you can distinguish between them. Yes. Okay, and also okay. I've got a nice little gap that I can work towards. I mm -hmm. can get my wire through. Mm -hmm. So my wire is facing me, okay? Yep. So I'm going to wrap both those wires twice, just because I feel like, actually, I'm going to go for free. Again, you can do this one, two, three, it doesn't matter how many sets you do. So I'm Somebody's then... just giving you a nickname, by the way, Laura. Oh dear. Can I just tell you, our lovely Karen and Grace have said, Laura, you are the wire whisperer. Aww. It's hypnotic watching you work. You're, <laughs> you are fab. Oh, thank you. The wire, like whisperer. the wire whisperer. We like that. We yeah, like that. That sounds a little it's bit lovely. more. Yeah. We like You like that? Yeah, don't you? I do. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry, but that yeah, was that brilliant. Was cool. Genius. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so what I've done is I've got the wire facing away from me now. Mm -hmm. So we've got one and two here. I'm going to bring the wire in between one and two towards me mm -hmm. again. I'm going to take my third wire, kick that wire up. up. Up, as you said, yep. Now I'm going to wrap two and three together mm -hmm. three times. So whatever number of wraps you decide to do, will be the number of wraps that you do for all of them. Okay. So I've decided to do three, so all of these will be done in threes. Okay. All right. 
So then again, I'm going to bring my wire in between two and three mm -hmm. back towards me. And then I'm going to place my fourth wire on. Kick it up again. Kick it up again. Now what you'll notice is I'm keeping all these wires sitting on top of each other, okay? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So then again, wrapping around now uh, three and four twice. But what I'm going to do from the, f uh, sorry, three times, yeah. So I've wrapped it twice. Mm -hmm. Now from the front, if I wrap that wire across, there's three. Yeah. What I'm going to do is bring it in between mm -hmm. two and three again, back to the front. So from the back, it's only going to look like two, but yep. from the front, I can see three wraps. Yeah, I've got you. Okay. Yep. So I'm then going to bring the wire back down. So if I turn it around, hopefully you'll be able to see. So my wire is now. So I'm kind of just going up and down in pairs, really. We're just going to wrap. So I've got the wire facing the here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to wrap two and three three times. Now I'm doing this in reverse. So you can see yep. three wraps. Yep. Then I'm going to bring it in between mm -hmm. two and three. Back so it's facing you. Mm -hmm. And wrap down and wrap so one and two. You've got to keep an eye. It's a bit of attention to detail. You've got to keep an eye on what you're doing. Yeah, you? so it's yeah. three from the front. Mm -hmm. And then I bring it back into the middle. And then I'm going to go back up. So it's round once. Twice. And again, it's three, three from the front, again, yep. and then you just keep that pattern going. So it's once, twice, and then into that middle. So you're almost doing like two and a half. You're yeah. wrapping around both twice, yep. then bringing it into the middle for that final wrap. Stop, check it, scoot them up to make sure your pattern's as keep you want it to. Keep pushing them back up again to yeah, keep them tight. Yep. Um, okay. Take your flat nose pliers if you've got some. Mm -hmm. Always handy. Always handy, and just gently go over it. And then that will highlight if you've made any kind of mistakes, you can kind of straighten it. And I'm just going over the little sections and making it nice and straight. Nice and tidy Can as you well. see the yeah, pattern picking up? Beautiful. It's like little mini triangles. It is, isn't it? Yeah. And then you would, and because obviously I was doing that backwards, but if I was doing this, sat, you know, stood here, I'd go one, two, three. Because I'm using a 0.25 wire, I, I can, it literally stops itself. Yeah. I'm not pulling at it really tight. And if you look at how I'm holding it, I've literally got my hand, my thumb and my finger holding it. My hand is just supporting just, it. Yeah, absolutely. So what happens is, if you if you're holding it really, really tight, yep. the heat of your hand will transfer into your wire. And all if I hold these all really, really tight like oh, this, that's a fair point. Yeah. These are straight away going to start getting all soft, hot, and they're starting to get a misshape. Okay. And that will reflect in your weave. So don't and, transfer the heat of your yeah. palm of your hand onto the wire. Yeah. Okay. And also, if you're sat like this and you're all scrunched up with your shoulders like this. Become you know, uncomfortable as well, it's going to become uncomfortable. Yeah. You're going to get strain in your arms and yeah, in your shoulders. Absolutely. So I'm literally, I've got my shoulders relaxed. I've got my hands relaxed. I'm literally holding it there, yeah. and they're that's, not even touching your hand. They're not even almost, touching. No. This is my finger and my thumb. So it's just little tips like that that hopefully will make it a bit easier for you. So I'm just going to do a little tiny section. What I'm going to want to do is I'm going to work for one half of this. I want one half of it to be done in okay, this week. Yeah, so I've got you. I'm okay. just going to sit and do this a second. Okay. Sit, can I that. can I bring these in then while you're yeah. doing that then, Laura? You because these it. are brilliant. Yeah. Let me show you these because these you can just very quickly. I can ask these can work with your with your friendly plastics. Eyes oh, up. That's Here's what I was one doing. we made earlier with them, by the way. That's what I was impressed in. <laughs> Laura, <laughs> I did nothing with it at all. But this is with the friendly plastic. These are classed as laser meshes okay and they're all different colors so let me just show you these that's that's one that Laura made earlier okay let me show you each of these gorgeous colors all three colors they're all six mil rounds I'm just gonna look at the details for you uh, you've got the lovely um, you've got the black in the middle you've got the iridescent here and you've got the gorgeous copper the copper oh I'm hoping you can see these oh there we go look they're lovely aren't they Really smashing. So these laser mesh, laser mesh trio. That's quite a mouthful, that is, Laura, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad you're saying it. And that, you, and you were raving about these when you walked in this morning, I, weren't you? Yeah, because again, it's something I've always wanted to try, and I do actually have them in my little bag of stuff. Down. I've got like a friendly plastic bag. Yeah. <laughs> very elegant, you know, very classy me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> it's been in there, and I keep meaning to try and um, have a go with it, but I've always been doing projects. So yep. if it's not as part of your project, you can't use it. So when I found out that they were there, I was like, you right, thought, I'm going to have a and that's yeah. the great thing when you've got your stash there's things you haven't used or never tried or whatever and again that's the great thing with the kits if it's things you've never used before the friendly plastics and meshes it's a great opportunity to suddenly think I'll give that a go today and especially when we've got the lovely Laura here and we've got our DVDs and our tutorials it's just a great way especially on Bank Holiday Monday it's that day when you it is time for yourself to enjoy isn't it 
Um, okay, let's pop the price in for all three of them. Okay, we're going to take this to $9.95. I'm going to give you the price before the boys have popped it in there for you. Um, very low stock. How many available? Oh, we've only got 35. Mm, right, okay, that's a very limited stop, so apologies for that, but your iridescence, your black and your copper, okay, so just to show you those, and uh, Laura's really enjoyed working with those, and just to show you, that's yeah. what she created earlier. If you turn it around, it's reversible. And she's reversed it as well, look. That's what I quickly glued together with the um, heat gun a minute ago. Ah, so you basically used the heat gun that we brought you earlier, mm -hmm. okay, plus the laser mesh sheets. That are approximately um, they're they're six six mil rounds I think aren't they? Six, yeah, and they're six by three inch. Okay, so and oh we got a message. I love it. I always get excited when we get a message coming in. Um, hello, Rani in Essex. Hello, my lovely. Uh, thank you, Zena and Laura. Really enjoying the show. Oh, that's good news. And especially as I'm learning so much from Fab <laughs> Laura and one of my favourite presenters is presenting. Oh. Aww. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, isn't that lovely? That's lovely. They're learning like nothing it. from me, though. <laughs> so it's all aura, 100%. <laughs> I'm just standing here. At, well, yeah, that's what you're here for, isn't it? Yeah, you know, but yeah but you're, you're helping me tidy. You're being really helpful. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I'm good at tidying, Laura. Oh, I like good. talking. Come I'm, one of, I'm one of those people that loves tidy. I've got to be a bit of OCD. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm a tidy freak. You need to come around mine. Yeah. Yeah. Cans round the right way, everything. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you maybe not come around my net. You'd have a freak out. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, get me out. I can't cope with this. So, <laughs> so you're very speedy at this, aren't you? Yeah. How long did it take you to get really proficient at it? It's just practice. Um, I am quite a fast worker anyway. Yeah. Um, but I think, you know, I had Sammy popped into my workshop on Saturday and she said that she's, um, she, she does these ring, snake ring pendants. Um, where yeah. she nets a cabochon and does a ring. Um, she said they used to take her, you know, around about three hours to do, but she can do them in like 40 minutes now because Gosh. she's just so used to doing them. Practice makes perfect, perfect isn't it? Perfect. Absolutely. Um, you know, and it's again, it's about finding your comfort and finding about how you can sit and do it comfortably, you know, holding it comfortably. Um, because, it, like I said, I notice, you know, obviously I teach quite a lot up here, um, and I notice I see people sitting like this, and they really take their time to get the wire around, and really sort of, don't, you, you just don't need to yeah. just relax, yeah. and it's just about getting, I think, confidence. And the thing is, as well, you want it to be enjoyable, so it's got to yes. be comfortable. Yes. Because if you're getting shoulder right and you're hunched yes. and everything else, that's not really very productive, is it? So no. no, and it's going to make it uncomfortable, and again, it's one of the reasons that people will start it and then put it down and go, it's not for me, and it's not because of that, it's just because you just need to find that comfort. It, really yeah. yeah all right right and you got through that I can see why you're working from the reel as well you yes. actually got through that very quickly yes yeah and then I can just take that plastic cover off let a little bit more wire off and pop that back on again pop it back on it's okay. controlled yeah um, and what I'm doing is I need to move this weave down very slightly mm -hmm. so to do that I'm going to these are my base wires so if I say base wires and weaving wires the base wires are the, the one uh, point eight sorry and the, the weaving wire is the Point two five. Point two five. Yep. So rather than trying to sort of move your weave down like this, I mean I can move it down because my yep. tension is quite nice on this. Yep. But sometimes you can't. But what you'll find is that might give you resistance. But if you hold your weave and then just gently pull your base ah, wires, no, that's, that's a good tip. Going to control it better. Okay. Little tip is to put little loops in the other side of your wires because mm -hmm. you know if you have got your tension a little bit tight, which does happen, you pull your wire because it's stuck. Yeah. You pull it and then just the wire will just yeah. shoot straight yeah. out. So put a little loop on the other end of these wires and that will then enable. If it does, it's going to stop. Yeah. And, okay. then, and then you won't have wasted all of it there trying to feed it back through, <laughs> yeah. which I have done um, several times. I have a feeling you may have done that at one or two. See, I, I do all of these. <laughs> things for you guys so that you don't have to go through it's it. so selfless, Laura. I know. <laughs> um, you make these mistakes on I do, purpose, don't I do. you? Just you know, for I think, benefit. I think, how can I do this wrong? <laughs> just so that you don't. Um, so yeah, you just keep doing this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it up against it now. Okay. Um, I'm just, what I'm doing is, because it was in the middle of a weave, I just want to bring it back down to the bottom. Okay. 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 So now I'm going to look at it and think, right, so I don't want it to go right into the middle. But I want wires that are going to be able to be my bale. So I've okay. got, this is more than enough for my bale. This is probably about seven inches or so. Okay. It doesn't matter. What you want is enough wire. Well, when you weave a bale, you weave it flat. And it's only about an inch and a half anyway. Okay. You know, preference. But I like mine to be quite large so I can put a gizmo coil through it or, mm. you know, the Zari rope that we've got, Kimihimo. Um, so that's going to allow me to do the bale and to decorate. 
So this means that these wires here can be used to do the other pieces. So I'm just going to place it against now and I can see that that's around about halfway. Oh my goodness me, that looks brilliant. Can you just see how Oh that's my goodness uh, because me. Because that's domed, it, it makes it stand out oh, then. Right? Yeah. Okay. And hides all the edges of that cabochon that you made as well out yeah. of the friendly plastic. Can I just mention, with regard to the kit that we mentioned earlier, with all those beautiful, the, the, the five different types of wires, and the, half the stock has gone already, so one of your kits are going really, really yeah. well, Laura. And it had... Um, and yes, can I just mention, actually, I'm just going to read those for you. Anon Gale, Sarah Megan, Anon Eleanor Link, Isabel Kimberley, Anon in Greater London, Mab Alison, Emma Angela Dawn. People are multi-buying these kits of Laura's. So again... I would suggest you try and get them out of your basket so that they're on the way home to you. Two ninety five, obviously. You've got your thirty day money back guarantee. We've taken over seventeen pounds off the should be price down to thirty four ninety five. You've got the um, the wires. You've got the lovely um, roses, the petals, the um, cultured pearls, mm. the three types of friendly plastic. It's a fantastic kit for thirty four ninety five. Okay. Sorry, look. That's okay. So, because my weaving wire is going to be at the top mm -hmm. and I want to continue my weaving from the bottom, I'm just going to wrap around the first wire a couple of times. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to cut that wire off. So, this is one that I was saying that you need to be able to wrap. Whenever you wrap your wire on, if you anchor the wire on, mm -hmm. you need to anchor the wire back off of a single wire. Okay, I've got All you. Right? I couldn't have just left it going around two wires because it's more at risk of picking up. Okay. But because it's wrapped around this one wire, okay. I can then just gently crimp that little edge yep. with your pliers and then that's, that's nice and smooth. So then you just pop it around here. Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. And then it's just playing about, really. That's okay. fantastic, Laura. So you just pop it around and then I'm just going to start to play. So I'm going to take sort of say one of the, the top wire here yep. and then just spiral it around. Now what I can do with this bottom wire here is start to secure it by going through. Oh, through the hole that's already ready that made, hole. yeah, okay. Okay, which is part of the reason I wanted to do it like that. Yep. And now I can start to anchor. Yep. So then I can bring it back up through another little Any hole. Any one of the holes, can't you? There's no, there's there's no, no, you don't have to, you just choose which one you want. Yep. Okay. And then so this is what I was saying. And then you can kind of mirror the lines if you want. I actually mm. mirrored some of the markings I'd made on that one with the silver wire because yeah. I wanted it to look like it was yeah. you know, entwined, yeah. really. Okay. All right. And I love the fact that you can just choose what you want to do. There's no set no. routine or what you... Ha you know, it's absolutely yeah, your it's choice, completely isn't it? up to you. So when you get to that point there, you've got that one there, you might want to get rid of it now. The good news about this is you can, once you, if you reheat this gently, mm -hmm. um, do a With little spiral. Again. Yeah, you can yeah. kind of, it will stick, the wire will stick into it. Okay. So if I was done with that wire, say. So make it a bit more flush as well, more comfortable to wear. Yeah, so yeah. what I'm going to do is just cut it, create a very small little loop. Yep. And then I could, so that's no sharp Lovely. edges. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And then I could just make sure it's sitting nice and close. And then I would just literally heat that gently. With a gun again. And yeah. that would just stick then. And then that okay. means that it's less likely to pick up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then with these wires here, I'll just quickly show you the weave, mm -hmm. um, just so that you can see it. But it's a very popular weave. We all do it. Again, taking your wire, and I'm going to wrap five times around this wire. So I've got yep. one, two, three. Yep. So five times. Yep. Four, five. And then I'm just going to bring it behind this middle one, mm -hmm. back in between two and three, mm -hmm. and then around the third wire Okay. five times. Mm -hmm. Can I just ask why have we gone from three to five? Just because I felt like it. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> That's not me, saying. didn't it? Because I felt There's like no, it. No, no, I'm the designer, I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> it, the, with this type of weave, you can go from going around one and a half okay. um, to two, to three, to four, to five, ten, any number Please you yourself, want. Basically. But the more that you do, the, cr the less that you do, the more it's going to go t -t 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 -t, like little, yes. really fine. Yep. And the, the more that you do, so if you do five or ten, it's going to give more of a more diamondy okay. effect in the weave. More of a blocky design, almost. Yeah, yeah. there's a more okay. more um, obvious effect. Okay. Um, and that's simply the only reason. And it's up to you how you're feeling at the time, what kind of look you want to go for. Okay. I am using a 0.25 wire, so even doing a 0.25 with a five on each side it's still going to not be too too yeah. much okay we've got a few questions coming for you as well by Go the way Laura, we've got a few questions for laura no no <laughs> no they're in, a, they're in a world of their own in there have you got some questions for laura yes they're, they're listening now <laughs> 
Uh, right then, just very quickly, Laura then. Hi, Zena and Laura and all at JM. Hello, Angelique. Beautiful name. Nice. Fantastic show as always. Love your work, Laura. Can you tell me how tight to wrap the wire, love, Angelique? A little kiss for you, Laura. Ah, okay, well, when you're wrapping it, it's literally, the tension is just... What I'm doing is, like, so if I'm doing this one now, I'm literally, it's going around once, and I'm just with my hand very gently pulling it so it stops naturally. And then I'll go around again, just, and I'll just use my finger just to guide it. And it's I'll literally, gentle, really, it's very gentle, it? yeah. there's not a lot, as long as it's sitting nice and tight around the wire. Mm -hmm. um, and what you don't want is to, because if you pull it really tight, if I was doing this every time, notice how I'm pulling, you can't see it too clearly, but it starts to pull these wires, yeah. which is when you start to get the distortions. Yes, absolutely. Um, and there's absolutely no reason for you to do that, really. You just keep it nice and relaxed. And again, you can see my contact's very minimal. I'm holding it to support mm. it, and I'm actually, that is enough. And can I just say, that is a very a valid point there for Angelique there. What, while, yeah. As I'm watching it, it just fits, seems very relaxing, very relaxing yeah. in everything you're doing. There's nothing, as you say, there's no necessity to keep no. really tight and all that. I just, no. everything's relaxed about you. Yeah, so. it's just literally, and I'm just going one, two, and just every time just gently knocking that to sit nice and tight. Okay, so I hope that one. answers the question, Angelique. Okay. Oh, should I pop in with these findings while Laura's just busy away just doing that? Is, have I got time for that, Laura? Yeah, Is that yeah, all right, yeah, lovely girl? On, yeah. Okay, so we've got some fantastic findings. We know you love your findings. Always essential, as we know, don't we? Uh, we've got, we, uh, Laura was talking earlier about all the lovely designs of, of head pins that we've got. Well, here we go. You've got some really, really lovely head pins here. Lovely, pretty um, st uh, star design. So that's the one design for you. Lovely little, um, lovely little stars, five pointed stars there. That's what they are, clusters. I'm, I'm just describing. Yeah, star head pins. There you go. Got a hundred of those. These are all silver-plated copper. Okay, they're five mil, aren't they? We've got some lovely eye pins. Oh, I'm learning. Or I've only been on jewelry maker a week. I can mm -hmm. spot an eye pin already. That's something. I've said up. Everybody's at home. Saying, well, I hope you can. <laughs> <laughs> I should hope so, woman. So lovely eye pins, silver-plated copper um, wire again. So as you can see there. Or should I twist that one around? So you can actually see the eye pin there. There you go. There you go. Lovely eye pin. Uh, and we've got how many of those? Do, 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 100 again. Um, and then on the, uh, then we've got these ones here. So all silver plated on your coppers. All oh, these are pretty as well. Just ra rounds, aren't they? Lovely plain rounds. Okay. Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? And that's quite simple sometimes yeah. if you wanted to do that pendant there just to have that plain round. Yep. You could almost make it look like little, um, you know, little bolts yeah so you could place them and actually just place them into it because cut them short and stab them in exactly. sometimes you need that simplicity yeah. don't you yeah like that okay effect. absolutely so how many of these have we got 100 of those again well, that's funny enough 100 of each of their pins there for you uh, eye pins head pins uh, we've got 200 crimp covers okay so can you see in those all right so I tilt the box up for you okay so you've got 200 of those silver plated copper again my lovelies and they're five by four mil and then we've got the plain tubes, and there's 200 of, I think there's, is it, two, I've got that right, yep, 200 of these in here as well. These are your, uh, uh, clusters your plain tubes, these are genius. Three by two mil, 200 pieces. So we're talking two, four, five, six, seven hundred pieces of findings in this setting, in this set, for under 20 pounds, 19.75. Uh, you have no idea how long it took me and Laura to place those <laughs> together like that this morning, do they? No. That line up there, that took us ages, didn't it, Laura? It did, yeah, yeah. We were really... We were there yeah, forever, weren't we? Were. we? Yeah. I'll tell you. Um, so, yes, uh, and we're not staying at that price tag, don't forget. We're taking it to 14 95 So we're basically giving you £5 there and popping it back in your back pocket, aren't we? So uh, there you go. So sorry about that, no, Laura. Fine. Well, just give just everybody the opportunity they can, but there you go, my lovely girl. But you can see, and what you'll see is I didn't put my plastic back on this. You didn't, did so you? I didn't see spot how that. it's kind of gone all... Yeah, and this is what, scare, this is what can sort of um, scare people a little bit when okay. they see this. Um, this isn't ideal, but what you can do is just gently take the time to just kind of un... Ravel it. There's a little twist That's there. That's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah, but now I've then got to waste time and effect going back, yep. all because I didn't put the plastic back on it. So, so that just proves straight away what a little yeah. tangly mess. And as you said, that weakens it slightly yes. to kink it and re-straighten it out. So yep. try and remember, pop your plastic cover back on your reel. Um, so I, basically, you can see just there the weave that I've done, and yeah. it's just um, gorgeous. Yeah, it's just a three. So basically, it's a standard weave, and it's kind of gone over and under this middle wire here, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and it just gives a different effect, gives a flash of wire going through. And then when your wires get back to um, to the top, um, you can just play about. I mean, I've, what I've done is I've just taken. Um, 
see that there so you can see the weave but you get to see the colors come through still yeah absolutely okay and then what I've done is I just show you the back so I took one of the wires from up here out of this set and just brought it down across the back yep through one of the little gaps yep to give a little splash here so with these now what you would do is carry that weave up to there yep use a couple of them to create a bail which you would do with any of these weaves that you've mm -hmm. chosen variations yep. and fold it and it's just play about with those Goodness wires wrap me. them around and and see how you want them to go don't be afraid to cut them don't feel you've got all these wires where i need to use them yep. you don't, you don't. Um, and like i say gently heat the back after if you want just to set that in so that makes it more flush as well yeah that is, and i love the way you've created the bail with the weave that is yeah. lovely yeah, yeah that's, really nice um, that's four wires and so you get four wires to go up straight together yeah and the weave that we've just done you just basically go over and under the middle two okay. over to the other yep. side so it's exactly the same but you just got another wire to dodge wow really. fantastic well there you go well that is wonderful i think we're going to give you a little break now and go <laughs> to a break and give you a little bit of a chance to rest but thank <laughs> you so so much um laura will be back with some more designer inspiration in about half an hour is it about half an hour or so wow. about 25 minutes or so <laughs> so we'll give you a little break to oh, get on to the next set but that was fascinating thank you so Good. much brilliant and uh, we'll see you the other side of the break <laughs> Download the Jewelry Maker app today. You can watch our Jewelry Maker shows live, view all the details of the item that is currently on air, as well as browsing all the items from today's show. You can also minimize the video or switch to use as a companion app. Get the Jewelry Maker app today and boost your viewing experience. a question that you need answering well did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewelry professional in our call center trained by the GIA you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help we don't just sell gemstones we know gemstones that's why when you buy from us you're buying with confidence buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewelry professionals We here at Jewelry Maker know how popular our 10 strand mystery packs have been, so we're bringing them back. You can get your hands on these completely random lucky dips for just £25. This works out to just £2.50 per strand, but be warned, it's while stocks last. Add this to your order and you won't be disappointed. Just ask for this code whilst on the phone to our call centre on 0800 644 655 or simply type the code into our website and add to your basket. Jewelry Maker, giving you the best deals on genuine gemstones. Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome to our Designer Inspiration Show with myself Zena Broadbent and our fantastically talented Laura Binding over there, gorgeous girl. Oh, we just had a lovely hour with Laura. Aren't we lovely? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. We've got another hour coming up with her in a bit. Uh, right then, let's just recap on what we brought you earlier. Now, we did talk about that I launched these on the Late Show last night. 40 carats of tanzanite. A few of you have come in from last night as well and bought an extra one. Uh, now, we sold a hundred of these. There are 20, we only started with 75, uh, up to a hundred, sorry. We only started with 75 of these this morning, uh, this afternoon, and we're down to how many? 
less than 20 and we've got over 20 in baskets but you've not yet checked out so we're just giving you a little gentle reminder so that you don't miss out on four zero 40 carats of tanzanite so stunning tanzanite in a beautiful graduated cut from two by ones to four by three mils 30 centimeters and as you can see there wonderful cotton facet work which is what we want on our tanzanite you've got those beautiful violet blue tones and as we said much more violet when you get them in indoor in indoor light and it's just one of the most highly sought after gemstones it's made its way into now the big five always used to be the big four didn't it with your rubies your diamonds your emeralds and your sapphires but tanzanite is now has made its way in there and bearing in mind this was launched um, realistically in the um, gosh now when was this launch I'm just trying to think um, oh bless him I was thinking year wise Phil <laughs> he said half eight last night <laughs> oh I love you Phil I do love you um, it was yes sorry discovered in 1967 launched in 1969 so we've only even known about this gemstone for just over 40 years that's tickled me that does Phil um, so um, no other gemstone on the modern day market has had such an impact as this gemstone and as we said you think about rarity we love our diamonds every 1000 diamonds you see you will only ever see one of these that's how rare this is and it's a wonderful you make a tanzanite piece of jewelry um, and again or a tanzanite droplet earrings tanzanite ring bracelet pendant you name it you pop your really high-end uh, findings on there as well and you can really 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 make some fantastic profit margin off this 30 centimeter strand um, I've got a lovely message coming apparently uh, from Maxine JM Sh hi Zina you look really lovely today Oh, thank you. What's um, what fun with your designer today? Your US? Oh, it's Maxine in Tennessee. Hello, lovely girl. Mm, you are lovely. She's gorgeous, and that's very sweet of you. Thank you, lovely girl. Oh, I am touched. You are lovely. Okay, so as we said, there's so many of you. I'm just having a little look. How many of you got? Have we got everybody with their no. There's 30 now in baskets, and we've got less than 20. Oh, that's a bit of a worry okay so that's not a great sort of um yes that's not a great position to be in is it so we've got over 30 of you got them in the basket and we've got less than 20 available and the only reason i've just reiterated this to you is because i really would hate for you to miss out okay so uh for those of you that managed to get it checked out then well done and for those of you that don't commiserations because uh there we go okay so now we've talked about the fact that we've got our gorgeous laura binding in the studio uh and this gorgeous the infinity pendant dvd i'm taking this is with you laura yes it is so this a wonderful i've got this i've got this at home yet actually i've not watched it yet have you i might watch this later okay. you may have just inspired me laura oh that's good so and somebody was mentioning that customer mentioned earlier that they've got this pe uh, dvd yes now um so it's the infinity pendant I'm just we're just having a little look what you get on there uh, basically our lovely Laura gives you an introduction she teaches you about adding the gemstone about wire weaving about how to tidy the wires up when you finish balancing and finishing and a little few cheeky inside trader hints and tips don't you Laura yeah um, okay now when we first launched this DVD do you know how many were, do you know how many went just up to a thousand Laura wow I didn't know that oh wouldn't it be great if you, do we have like a silver disc and a <laughs> platinum disc and everything on jewelry maker for the designers we'll have to come up with that won't we <laughs> uh, now these I've got a I've been given I'm very lucky as a presenter a stash of these DVDs at home to work my way through to um, to I get myself nice and um, uh, proficient on everything and I tell you what they are wonderful they're relaxed um, the great thing when you've got a DVD while you're trying to learn as well as opposed to where we've only got an hour in the studio today to go through the designer inspiration uh, moments the great thing is if you've got your DVD play you can just pause these as you're making your way through the design you can just pop them on pause sort of make make, make sure you've got sort of au fait with the, the, the first bit so for example adding the gemstone and then as you're working your way through your wire weaving it's your, if it's your first time you can just pause the DVD uh, Laura won't mind if we just put you on pause will you Laura no you carry on don't mind do you lovely no, yeah, just a few. I'm sure my boyfriend would love a pause button with me, but uh, doesn't get one. Anyway, so you can just pause it and just work your way through the design. Now that I mean, four ninety five. We all know the cost of DVDs, don't we? This entire DVD. Um, do we know how roughly how long they are? They are about an hour, aren't they? So you're getting an hour's worth for four ninety five. 
they are wonderful wonderful value um, look they are a joy to watch they're very relaxing okay so uh, we haven't got any footage on this one for you but look at this this is, and you've seen some of the pendants if you've been watching today with our lovely Laura that she's been creating well the, the, the wire work as well it's just stunning so if you'd love to see our lovely Laura binding in action for a mere shockable 4 that's that's incredible I must say and you learn a whole new technique <coughs> yeah that one we've done slightly different to our um, normal DVDs so um, it is an hour of one project whereas okay. a lot of the time on our DVDs we tend to do you know a couple of projects or five or six different projects but um, you know I asked people on Facebook whether they would want a DVD with a couple of intricate pieces okay. or just one full project from start to finish you know Very no interruptions okay. yeah. so it's just start to finish and that's it you can go from one you know um, I talk you through how to um, create your own variations whereas if I'll I chose to put my wires here, but you don't have to. You could do this or this. So you know, there's so it's a real of, learning. Yeah, it's DVD. Hope, yeah, it's kind of like it's like a design inspiration, but a real full-on. Yeah. No interruptions. Yes. Yeah straight to finish so we just hopefully want to do a different format so hopefully it's but uh, I like that because you've got you've gone and you've basically done a customer focus there you've yeah. asked customers what they'd like they've given you the feedback and we've done exactly what you've asked for so there you go that's how it should yeah. be because we are here to facilitate you learning uh, new medium so to speak and to create this uh, wonderful I take it this infinity pendant is just sensational and a whole hour's worth of really detailed teaching information there for you okay 4.95 now we've got a real treat for you now i love this idea we oh we're we going to go to the oh okay right they're, 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 okay we're going to go to a little uh, we're, we're going to show you what we're going to bring you next uh, without me talking to you about it and then i'll tell you a bit more detail after this we here at jewelry maker know how popular our 10 strand mystery packs have been so we're bringing them back you can get your hands on these completely random lucky dips for just 25 pounds this works out to just £2.50 per strand, but be warned, it's while stocks last. Add this to your order and you won't be disappointed. Just ask for this code whilst on the phone to our call centre on 0800 644 655 or simply type the code into our website and add to your basket. Jewelry Maker, giving you the best deals on genuine gemstones. Hello, hello, hello. Well, there you go. Um, this is fantastic, isn't it? So this is a 10 mystery gemstone strands, this is. Um, okay, now, I'm going to give you a little... Now, basically, I can give you an example of the kind of strands you're going to get, but every single one will be different. So it's like a... It, well, it is a mystery pack, isn't it? It's like a, it's like a lucky dip, isn't it? That's what I like. And now, I know a lot of you do tend to, therefore, um, multi-buy on these because you like to see just how much the packs differ. I would do that, I've got to be honest. Um, and this just gives you some idea here of some of the strands. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll pop a few on my hand if you want me to, wanted me to, but just to give you an idea of the variation. Um, okay, now, last time we bought you this mystery strand pack, you absolutely loved it. And how many went? 300, I'm not surprised. And I love the fact that something could surprise you because sometimes we get set in our ways, don't we? We work with certain gemstones when we're creating jewellery, we've all got our favourites, and you, sometimes you can get stuck, it's like when you're buying clothes, you get stuck on one type of item. But when people buy you something, or, or you know, something like that, you need something you wouldn't normally do. And the great thing with, a ten, with this mystery 10-strand um, pack is that something may just surprise you. And then you find something that you love working with. You never thought you'd purchase yourself. Now, this is just three of the strands, just to give you an idea. Okay, but, I mean, again, look what you could be getting. Thrown into the mix. Beautiful neon pink shell. You could get some um, lovely, lovely smoky quartz. And so the list goes on. You could get some lovely clear quartz. You could get some lovely rose quartz. Now that's just to give you some idea, we've got different shapes, we've got different sizes, you've got different colours, 10 mystery gemstone strands for £25. Now there's another example of different gemstones, it, it really is a lucky dip opportunity. It's a great way to replenish your, replenish your stash as well. Have you ever done this Laura? Or Oh, do you like these? I'm a sucker for anything that's mystery. I'm like, oh, okay. I love anything that's a surprise. It is. I like that, yeah. though. Because otherwise, you're just setting your ways all the time, aren't you? And you keep possibly yeah. doing the same thing. And it's just nice to be surprised. And then you get to work with something you've never worked with. Yeah, and it's quite nice if there's something that you wouldn't normally buy um, to sort of 
be put outside your comfort zone as exactly. well you know and people get set, set into what they like yeah they forget that if you're making to sell or gift you know everybody has different tastes so Absolutely. you know I might not wear something that's pink but I know that I've got lots of girly friends that would love pink yeah so I know I, I have to have pink in my stash because I know that there are people that love that color so it's exactly. quite nice and it it just adds it to your stash without you realizing yeah and that's the thing yeah sometimes you end up buying what you like mm. and if you're making jewelry for, for other people that's the whole point you've got to buy things that necessarily you may not like that's the idea I love and Debbie 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 um, yesterday Debbie Bulford was making with some fabric sheets some jewelry she said it was way out of her comfort zone she'd never worked with it before doesn't really like creating chunky jewelry and she really enjoyed herself yesterday and she surprised herself so there you go you know our seasoned as I said our lovely Laura Laura, uh, Laura there talking about the fact that you can absolutely just surprise yourself 10 strands so let's just work that out that's £2.50 a strand £2.50 per strand and you get a bit of a mystery so it's lovely isn't it so there you go thank you Laura oh that's 25 pounds two pounds 50 a strand and bear in mind I only showed you one two three four five six seven there's another three in the pack there and they all differ again don't forget if you'd like to see just how much they do differ then you've got your 30-day money-back guarantee haven't you and if it doesn't suit you the strand pack send it back okay right then now I don't I don't have we seen these I don't think we've ever seen these as a set before have we I'm a, oh, I'll tell you what, I could just bring that. Should I bring that over? Instead of moving them all over in... Um, in um, now, there's, let me just double-check here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the lovely suede and that totals 35 metres. So for those of you that are quick, I'm just turning that round so you can actually... Oh, that's better, actually, isn't it? You can see you can see them all then, can't you? Let me move that round. There you go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if there are 35 metres, who's quick enough to work out how many that is per reel? That'll be five metres each. There you go. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay. And haven't you got some lovely, lovely, lovely colours? You've got your baby pinks. You've got your beautiful... I'm just trying to look at all the lovely colours. We've got our lovely oranges. We've got our lovely limes. We've got our lovely... Oh, gosh, there's a lovely beige at the back here as well. Beautiful beige. You've got your lovely hot pinks. Uh, we've done your lime greens. We've got your lovely oranges. Um, and that's a turquoise, isn't it? Yeah, really lovely turquoise. So uh, really, really pretty. Now they're suedettes and they are fantastic. And you get all seven of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, suedette cord, fantastic. Um, is suedette cord, I've not worked with suedette cord. Is it brilliant to work with? Right, I'm, I'm, I love that. It's very easy to work with, but I'm not very imaginative, a bit like Debbie when it comes to something. Okay. I'm not very good with materials, but for me, that is ideal for hanging my pendants on. Okay. So I would be buying that yep. because I would be thinking, well, you know, for example, the piece that we were doing with that hot pink oh, in, that look lovely, and the colours, wouldn't it? If you were to place that on, you know, a contrasting, uh, the turquoise might just really pop against it. Yep. So for me, I see it for that, but you know, there's so much potential if you do do the power cords or yep. if you do anything like that, you can, you can certainly knot it and yep. do so And we've got all the cord it. ending findings yes. and everything like that anyway yeah. to give it a really professional finish if you don't want to just knot it off and yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. So. Um, um, we're going to bring you 35 metres in total. That's a lot, isn't it? We are dropping that should be price, my lovelies, to a phenomenal under £15 for you. We're not staying at 20.65, are we? There we go. He's just he's just testing me, making sure I'm keeping awake. <laughs> 14.95. Now that equates to how much per metre? 43 pence per metre. Now, Michelle in Suffolk has just said, at £20.65, that's 0.59 pence per metre, and that is awesome. But you know, have you seen what we've just done, Michelle? We've just taken that down to 43... Was it 43 pence, wasn't it? 43 pence, Michelle. Oh, isn't that lovely? You've just spent all that time working it out. We've dropped the price even more, Michelle. 43 pence per metre. That We've just taken 16 pence off that price for you, my darling. Lovely, lovely suede at 35 metres in those various colours. You've got your baby pinks, you've got your hot pinks, you've got your lime greens, you've got your oranges, you've got your beige, you've got your turquoise. Now, Susan, Rhea, Carol, Danielle, Belinda, Candy, Lorna, you've all got one, don't worry. Eleanor, Pauline, lots of anonymous buyers. Rubina, you've just got one as well. Are we okay, availability, or are we we're limited? So, we're, we're, okay, so we're borderline here. Mm, okay, so n not that 
big amount of, of, of quantity. It's a bank holiday Monday, so we are very, very, very busy indeed. And that's really sweet because it's your quality personal time. So we're very grateful to you, to you tuning in and uh, uh, sending us your messages as well. Oh, now, could you kumahimo with this? Yes. You can, can't you? Yes, you could kumahimo. Um, you know, you could do your macrame with it. Yeah. You can do pretty much anything with it. Um, you know, I'm just not very good with any of yeah. those. Um, so I think that even if you don't do a lot of that material, that, that that medium, there's still scope for it just simply as it is. Yep. But you could really go to town with it. You could. Yep. You, um, I think Gemma did some finger knitting the other day. Oh, I, don't oh know. I saw that. Yeah, with, with I, the, yeah, I think with Ali as with well. Ali, yeah, yeah, I didn't see it. I saw bits of it. So you know, I'm not sure if you could or couldn't. But I'm sure that any of that kind of technique can be incorporated into that. Yeah. But the great thing is, again, as I thank you, Laura. But the thing is, as, as our lovely Laura was saying, is there as well. If there's something you're you're not sure of, you're not used to working with, these are the great opportunities when we bundle together. Because not only have you got an abundance of colour, you've got a huge amount at um, five metres per reel. So you can really afford to play with them, get used to them, see if they surprise you. You can use them just obviously as a standard one of, the, one of your bracelets where you knot them or you put the uh, cord endings on there and make your easy pendant with some of those fantastic colours with the um, with the friendly plastics that our lovely Laura was working with earlier. And then it's just 14.95, equating to 43 pence per metre. Okay, I'll leave those with you, my lovely. So thanks for texting in there, Michelle. Uh, right, I've got some pliers and some uh, some findings as well. So let me show you the. Um, I'm sure our lovely Laura is going to want to pop in and have a little chat about these because they are brilliant. And you know what it, we know what we're going to say. If you're going to create jewelry yourself, you do need the specific tools. You need the really high quality tools that we bring you here from Jewelry Maker to get a really professional finish. Okay, so we're going to bring you these really cute crimping pliers. They are our deluxe model, I just must mention as well. And um, if I'm not mistaken on these lovely crimping pliers, Laura, they're perfect for um, forming a very smooth crimp. And I think that's the point, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so they take your crimp from being a flat to being like a round shape, yep. or almost like a round tube again, almost like it's, crimp, it's original state, but yep. it's actually crimped. So it's done its job, but it looks pretty as well. So it makes, consistent. It, makes it consistent and looks nice. It's easier to pop a, cr a cover, excuse me, a cover, cover over, over yep. because obviously it's it's going to just go nicely inside that cover rather than okay. sort of having a fight around the sharp edges. Um, there's not sharp edges if you don't, but you know yeah, what I mean, because yeah, like, yeah. it's I know square. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it just again, it helps give that more professional finish. Exactly. Uh, oh, did I mention as well, um, this does come with rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. I hope you can see in that little bag there, crimp beads. So we've got some ready-made crimp beads already. They're 2 by 2 mil. They are 50, that you got 50 of them. Um, and as our lovely Laura just said, these, these um, crimping pliers will help to eliminate any, any of the sharp edge crimps. Um, that if you you would if you if you used co uh, just conventional pliers, you're likely to get some sharp edges. You won't get that with these. Okay, your price is fantastic. Spe if you get the specific tool for the specific job, you're going to get a professional fish, uh, finish. They are cushion gripped on the handle for added comfort and safety for you as well to help get you you know to help stop you getting those cramps and that repetitive you know cramp feeling they are sort of uh, cushioned they're lovely and soft they're they're fantastic they're deluxe we're going for the baseline price that we can bring you on air six ninety five now that would be a great price just for the uh, for the pliers but we've also thrown in 52 by 2 mil rose gold plated sterling silver crimp beads as well six 95. That's a fantastic deal, isn't it, Laura? Well, you'd pay that for the pliers, wouldn't you? Just, you? Yeah. yeah. Um, and if you've got the sterling, um, you know, you've got that rose gold um, sterling silver, that's not something you might want to cover up. Exactly. So you could create an illusion type necklace, but actually put crimps on to stop your beads. Yeah. And then get that flash of the rose gold colour, but Lovely. because you've finished them nicely with the pliers, yep. you don't, you know, it looks as part of the design. Exactly. Yeah. And as you say, you wouldn't need to cover them up then either, would no. you? Fantastic. And that's the beauty of these tools. And these are essential um, um, essential uh, tools for, you, for your kit, especially when it comes to crimping. Uh, and it, as we said, eliminates those sharp edges if you were to use conventional pliers. So they are wonderful. And at six ninety five, it's almost a no-brainer, isn't it? Um, so they are deluxe. They're fantastic. Plus, don't forget your uh, rose gold plated 925 sterling silver crimp beads. And you get 50 of those as well thrown in. 
okay um right then uh we're going to just bring you um these lovely one are they oh all of these fantastic um are they open in the amatrine okay let me show you these or can i just say your play of color from these opals um is fantastic oh it's your pink amethyst isn't it sorry can i just say when when you when I bring you opals normally on my sister on our sister channel, um, if you see oranges or reds, that is one of the rarer colours. Violets, I hardly ever see in opals. I am looking at these studio studio lights. Don't forget, they don't do this a, a favour at all on opal. But I tell you now, and please make the most of your 30-day money-back guarantee. Your violets. Oh, I hope you can see these. Your violets in this strand are phenomenal. Can you see them? Look. To get violets to this degree, all the way down, look, look at these. This is a phenomenal strand. Gorgeous white opal with the rare violets in abundance. And over here we've got your wonderful rare oranges as well. Again, studio lights, they're not doing you a favour, but get them home, you'll enjoy them. It's a big 84 centimetre strand as well. Now, I haven't got all strands here, have I? Sorry, you do get all of them, don't you? I just assumed you'd get the two for the price that I think we're going to go to. Sorry, you get four. Um, knockout, it's the opal strand, it's just fantastic. Uh, violets and orange, two of the rarer colours. You've got your lovely pink amethyst. It's a whop, every one of these strands is above 80 centimetres. We've got 190 carats of rare pink amethyst. Every strand over 80 centimetres. The green, oh, I love a green aventurine. I think it's so whimsical, so mythical almost. It's just dreamy. And it's a whopping great big. It's the biggest carat weight strand of the four. It's 280 carats. They graduated three by five to 10 by five. That's an incredible variation on size. And it's, an, it's the biggest, of, well, this and the citrine are the biggest two strands at 86 centimetres. We've only got 30 available. This is a last of stock, okay? Citrine, 200 carats, again, um, graduated three by five to 13 by 16. Gosh, that's even bigger growing, uh, growth in size there for you. 7.95, that's four strands. Usually one strand, 6.95, best price. You're going to get opal, gosh, fantastic. Pink amethyst and your green aventurine and your citrine and we're loving our citrine at the moment aren't we okay we're going to just 7.95 and as we said these opals alone if i could get across to you the wonderful wonderful rare violets in this strand that we're getting um then my goodness me you would appreciate 7.95 just for the opal strand you really truthfully would okay Good looking, and don't they go great? The yellows, the whites, the pinks of the amethyst, and the beautiful yellow citrines as well. Now, already you, you, you're multi buying Pauline, Sheila, Stephanie, Belinda, Dawn, Karen, Lindsay, Mita, Melody, Joan, Denise, Anand, Sandra. You've all got one well done. We're not surprised, half the stock has gone already. So, if all of you have got them in your baskets, and in Essex, Inver, Clyde, Margaret, Anne Marie, Ronnie, Sarah, Denise, Mab, Mandy, Anand, Carol, Sandra. I would urge checking out pretty quickly. It's very busy on this bank holiday Monday, uh, bank holiday Monday here in the UK. That's a lot of carrot weight, isn't it? So good luck, really, really good luck. Good luck indeed. Okay, so there we go. Wonderful. Right, we're going to pop up over and give you a little, a uh, little quick break there. So just grab yourselves a little cheeky drink if you need one. Uh, we've got a fantastic cut, uh, kick coming up after the break, and another wonderful. Uh, we're going to have about an hour with our lovely Laura again, aren't we? the best part of an hour with our lovely Laura as well to demonstrate what you can do with the kit that we're bringing to you so if you'd like to join us we'd love you to we'll see you the other side of the break owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewelry then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers you can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details the certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the genuine gemstone company
Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel, Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. Did you know that every individual gemstone in our Gems of Distinction collection goes through a seven-stage intricate process to get from the rough to a beautiful bead? I've really enjoyed today. I've been on the resin course with Fiona Potter, something I've never tried before and was wary of having a go because it seemed a bit sort of chemically and science, you know. But today, yeah, definitely. And I'm confident that I can do it at home now. Join the jewellery making fun with this fantastic In The Mix DVD. This DVD includes four different techniques with four different guest designers. Debbie Bulford shows us how to create elegant polymer clay pendants. Laura Binding is here to show us a beautiful wire wrapped ring. Mark Smith with his fantastic macrame earrings using beading thread and gemstones. And finally, Liz Welch with jewel enamel pendants. You'll be surprised just how many different ways there are to make new and exciting pieces of jewellery. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you will receive 20% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and Jewelry Maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Come and join guest designer Laura Binding on our intermediate wirework course. The aim of the course is to enhance your wirework skills and take your designs to the next level. You will learn more advanced weaving and binding techniques which you can incorporate into your jewellery. The full course includes a selection of gauges of wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, a copy of the Wirework Tutorial DVD Edition 3, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and chance to meet the presenters, and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £79.95. To book your place, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker bringing out the designer in you. Good afternoon, everybody. I've decided to get both. Good afternoon. <laughs> uh, welcome to our Designer Inspiration Show on this Bank Holiday Monday. He I keep saying here in the UK, because obviously we've got our lovely uh, guests from around the world. Not necessarily Bank Holiday for you, but it is here in the UK. So I hope you're having a lovely, lovely, relaxing day, doing exactly what you like to do, which is hopefully watching Jewelry Maker, of course. Otherwise, I'm chatting to myself. Um, designer Inspiration. Well, our guest designer today, um, she, a royalty, is our lovely Laura Binding. Hello. Hi, Gord. Hello. You liked that introduction, didn't yeah. you? That was like, oh, oh. Can we have the royal wave, Laura? Yeah. No, I'm rubbish at it. No. <laughs> Oh, I think you quite are. I think you got it then. <laughs> so that lovely Laura will be doing some more uh, fantastic designer inspiration with our lovely Laura in a moment. But shall I talk you through the kit that she's going to be working with? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Um, this is classed as because obviously Laura's fantastic at her, her lovely wire work. So we're going to bring you, and I'm very interested in this because I'm going to be starting with wire work as well. So I'm new to jewellery maker, so thank you uh, for letting me join your wonderful world. And this is wire work for beginners. So if you're not used to working with wire, uh, wire, then this is a great kit for you. I'll talk you through, obviously, the strands that we've got, first of all, because we've got a 90 carats of these are gorgeous. Let me just pop those against my hand, because when you see them against the skin tone, they are wonderful, and they're the, one of the most reflective gemstones. They are phenomenal. We are bringing you 90 carats of bronze-coated pyrite. Now, in the last few late shows, we've brought you a, 
a, a plethora of colours of the coated pyrite and you've been lapping it up. You've absolutely adored it. Uh, so we've, brought, we've popped a 90 carat strand of bronze coated pyrite for you. We've then got these fantastic, if I just pop that down and pick this one up for you, the wonderful red jasper. Fabulous, fabulous red jasper, which are going to go beautiful with the cabochons that we've got, along with the pyrite as well, of course. That's why we spend a lot of time putting these kits together, actually, and bundling these pieces together. There's a lot of thought goes into this for you. So 40 carats, they're four mil rounds on the, on the red jasper. Now, I'm going, can I do the wire and then finish with the cabs, if that's okay? If that's okay. Now, we have got this... Um, We've got three different sizes, which we always think is important, as our lovely Laura was agreeing earlier, to have all the different sizes is fantastic. They are all copper-coloured uh, copper wire. They are all 10 metres, so you get 30 metres in total. You've got uh, the 0.4. You've got the... I'm reading them as well. You've got the 1 mil. I'm just, it's quite heavy, the 1 mil, isn't it? Yeah, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and you've got the 1 mil. So you've got three of the fantastic uh, variations of the wire gauge. Uh, so that's 30 metres in total, and these bad boys, two, oh gosh, guaranteed, two, I'm going to hold a couple up just to show you the variation, guaranteed four, sorry, 250 carats of ember jasper, now these are lovely, it does look a bit like mookite actually, doesn't it, I'm just holding these up just to give you the different sizes, now you may not get four, you may get three, you may get five, but every single one of these will be absolutely unique. Okay, and they are beautiful. Have you ever seen Ember Jasper before? Isn't it fantastic? And what a kit. I have to say, this kit is phenomenal. The, kit, the, the price that you'll pay for this kit, just the price and the kit, in my opinion, do not go together. But they are today. Now, 35.20 is a great price already. It's not the price that we're staying at. We are going to bring this kit to $22.95. Let's, the lowest price on this kit that we've ever seen, is it? Oh, the lowest price on a kit at all. Well, there you go. I did say we were going to go naughty, didn't I? Let's just very quickly recap. A guaranteed 250 carats of Ember Jasper multi-shaped cabochons. 40 carats of your red jasper in your plain rounds at approximately 4 mil. 90 carats of your fantastic sparkling reflective bronze coated pyrite in your faceted rounds at 6 mil. And your three variations of your copper colour copper wire at 0 0.4, 0 0.8 and 1 metre. Okay, so I'm going. I don't know why I'm singing that. Just fancied it. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi. How are you, Gorge? I'm good. I get all excited at this bit. <laughs> right then. Well, you've been busy, haven't you? Yeah, quite busy. Eh? This is my favourite colour combination. Is it? You'll learn that I'm a big, massive fan of copper. It's one of, if I had to choose a colour, it would be copper. Oh, right, OK. Oh, so you've got, this is a favourite of yours yes. already? Yeah. Have you seen the price? <laughs> yes. That's a bit of a shocker, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, just quickly as well, as we are talking about, um, and I'm sure Laura will back me up here just before we get started on your lovely creations, lovely girl. She, what have you just thrown under the table? A little tassel. She just went, what? <laughs> what was she doing? I was just clearing it. That's, I think I got the bin. She's been yeah, I got it in the uh, bin. It's all right, it's okay. It's okay, she's chucked it in the bin, I'm just checking. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, kids. But just to mention, um, and I'm sure you'll back me up here, for anybody that is beginning to work with wire, you've got three of the really good standardised yes. gauges there, haven't you? Yes, most definitely, um, especially with cabochon so I think if you're you know starting out with um, cabochons you're you know you're getting used to working with them try to do a variety of ways of actually using them um, and I'm actually going to be a lot of time people will often ask how um, you can set a cabochon but without a weave or doing yep. anything complicated so yep. that's why we've done the tassel one which is what we're going to be focusing on today fantastic wonderful so you've got all different variations of how to set the cabochon yeah. um, 
all different and you've just one of them you've never done before you love the colors your coppers mm -hmm. you've got all your gauges of wire so this is a fantastic starter kit yeah most definitely okay yeah because you get that range of shapes and sizes in the cabochons which yeah. I absolutely love um, and that's why I did the, the double sort of caged one I've never double caged I've double netted yeah but I've never double caged um, a pendant before and I was really quite proud of that one because Good. they sat together really sweetly yeah um, and I had a little look at my seconds so I was like yeah there's some there that could do the same again so you know everything every one that you're going to get is going to be different yep but then that's part of the fun exactly and that's and, and it's experienced as you are so you've never double caged before mm. and you're absolutely knocked out with the result yeah I'm brilliant yeah. okay do you want to are we talking through each of the pieces or are we going to get straight on to the uh, the demo should we get should we get onto the demo get what do you think demo, yeah okay if we point out which one we're going to work on yes yeah, so it's going to be the one with the tassel the one in the middle this one the necklace in the middle yeah Okay, so we'll just have a little look at which one we're going to recreate with the cabochon there. So with the, okay, with the lovely tassel at the bottom. Yeah, with the tassel and the jump rings. I mean, that's all been made. Obviously, I've added a fine ends kit into it because yeah. um, just, just purely for the chain section, that's the only part, um, you know, everything you can pretty much make anyway because you've yeah. got your point eight wire, which you can use that to make your own earring findings and okay. clasps and hooks. So that's the only thing that I've actually added in was the chain. Um, Okay, so what I want to do is I said, so I want to show you how you can. We want to keep this quite simple um, to make this sort of a more um, basic designer back, inspiration. Back yeah, to basics, back to basics. Almost. Yeah, so absolutely. You know, Great. You know, so we can remember how we start really. Um, so what I'm going to do is out of my selection. Now I've got a really lovely. So this is my second kit, and I mean, look at the beautiful shapes that I've got. And for me, this one, if I had to choose that one, I would net straight away. Yeah. yeah. Net. It's like a lovely marquee on, shape, yeah, isn't it? Pop yeah. it on a chain that would be it I wouldn't do anything else to that one um, so I'm going to choose one of the larger ones so I've got this larger over one here and what we were saying um, and I said this to you and Phil upstairs didn't yeah, I yeah. a lot of the time when you see cabochons you instantly go to set them like this yeah. you forget the whole point of having a cabochon is you can set them in whatever exactly. direction yeah. you want to set them so you could set two together like this you could yeah. create a cool kind of pebble, oh that's nice isn't it yeah kind of pebble oh necklace. yeah so lovely there's so much scope for it don't be afraid no don't you know look at him play about with the shapes and think oh which is what I did to get that double one there just playing about with it and that's the thing just to mention as well in case you're wondering well they don't look like what I was showing you in the kit before we're guaranteeing you just checking yep 250 carats of the ember mm -hmm. jasper but as we said they will come in different numbers different shapes it's just guaranteeing the carat weight so yeah. just to mention that yeah so. different shape I mean this is great if I had this kit I would be buying a couple of them because yeah. just the two that I've got the variety of shapes that I've got and then you could put the two together or you could, you know, share with somebody and pick out what's your shape and style yep. and yep. mix it up. So, right, so for this, I am going to go for the largest over one that I've got here, which mm -hmm. is this one. Um, just because for this type of design, when you're working with cabochons, the key really is it goes back to making it easy for yourself again. So if you're practicing, the larger the cabochon that you've got, the better. Because yep. obviously you're not straight away you've it's got a better fiddly. yeah, you've got mm. a better playing field because you've got more space to work mm -hmm. with. Um, so for this I am gonna go for that larger one because okay. you know I am doing it quite simply and I want to be able to make sure that I, I don't want to be fighting with a tiny little stone. Yeah. Okay. This is something that you would It's easy to see on camera as well, isn't it, for yeah. everybody? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm going to move these guys out of the way. I really love that one. I like that, these Just guys. <laughs> 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 they know, they know. Um, and so what I'm going to do is take... I mean, this is what I still had left this wire, mind. Oh, wow, After okay. doing all of those pieces there, oh, my including chains like I made a neck sort of choker as well I still got all of this well, left there is 30 meters isn't there yeah. in total because that's go a long way the, the one that you'll use the most of is always going to be your weaving wire so if, if you look at any of these you can guarantee that the one that I have the least on will be a point four. A point four. because that's the one that when you're weaving as you saw with the first yep. design inspiration it takes up the most wire your point eight and your one mil even though I made that that neck piece has still got a fair amount yeah absolutely all I've right okay so I'm actually going to use my point eight for this one mm -hmm. Um, you can use point 0.8 or point 0.6, but point 0.8's got a little bit more stability. So obviously we've got a point 0.8 in this kit, and you'll s even know that that's that. Can I grab that next? Yes, yeah, of course you can, my lovely. The oh, this one with the tassels. Yeah. I do apologise. If you just take it off, because it's just nice to show. Um, so with this one, even though when you look at it, it's only been wrapped here, it's not. Um, it's not been wrapped either side, it's still solidly set in there. Not going anywhere, no, is it? No, and that's because I've used a nice strong wire that yep. can really hold that in place. And that's your point 
0.8. And that's why. Um, now I've chosen the 0.8 as opposed to the 1 mil because it goes back to malleability. Your, ma your 1 mil isn't going to be as malleable. It's going to fight you a little bit more. It's going to make it more tricky. Okay. And it, what will happen is it will, when you start fighting with your wire, you start to get kinks in your wire, which is then going to reflect. Yeah. So if I'd have been having a fight with this, I could have a kink here, and that would reflect in the front of my piece, and that would bug. Plus the fact it's also going to cover a little bit more of the cabochon, isn't it, if yes. the thicker the wire gets yeah. as well. And you, you just want to be able to see the cabochon, don't yes. you? Yeah. And I'll just show you the back, because we can't make the back too clean and tidy I'm afraid just because of the nature of this because you you need to sacrifice it a little bit to be able to get that good clean wrap on the front mm -hmm. okay so you do have to go over I'll just show you the back so you can see you do have to go over it a couple of times it's it's still not horrific and there's no say, sharp edges yeah, it's nice and smooth so I've got yep. my finger on I know there's no sharp edges it's comfortable but that stone needed to be locked in and so it's better to sacrifice that mm -hmm. yep but you also if you were using a one mil it would be bulking and bulking and bulking up absolutely which would make it uncomfortable and it'd make it rock if it was un yeah, yeah so it would yeah. then wouldn't sit nicely yeah. so yeah it's all little things like that okay mm -hmm. all know. good tips all right so what I'm gonna do is just place that down mm -hmm. okay so you'll see I've actually made the loop that the tassel's hang hanging from out of the same wire yeah so it's all continuous to the piece that's holding this um, this together here all right okay. My I didn't close that jump ring properly. And you've used the little red jaspers in here as well. Yeah. You, with a, yeah. I mean, I had a handful of the pyrite left, but mm -hmm. I actually want for, you know, it's quite nice to keep those quite neutral colours yeah, as well. Yeah, So you do need to take quite a long length of wire, probably about a metre, mm -hmm. um, because, you, again, you want to make sure that you've got enough wire. You don't want to run out, no, do you? No, um, because this is going to be a tricky one to kind of add into, so it's better to have too much and not enough. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm going to go about... A quarter of the way, not even a quarter of the way. Okay. Yeah, about a quarter of the way down. Um, if people are unsure while they're learning, you can measure, can't you? you if can. you want to. If people are panicking or yeah, you know. yeah, but <laughs> I don't measure. If yeah. you want to measure, basically what you want to do is I need to be able to leave. I'm going to be able to use um, enough to create my double bail, mm -hmm. um, and then to have a little bit of excess that will then be able to use to just secure it should I want to. Okay. So it's just about giving yourself um, opportunities. Yeah. Okay. So D otherwise you're limiting yourself, I suppose, yeah, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so I've got bail making pliers. And I've got pretty much every pair that you can have. I would imagine there's not a tool that you don't possess, is there? No, I got super <laughs> excited when I found another pair out. I found these ones out in the shop oh, on boys. Saturday and I was so excited. I was going I'll on about them. my tool. There's a tool yeah. I've got. Yeah, I don't have those ones yet. <laughs> do now. Don't care what they do, but I'm having them. <laughs> <laughs> my toolbox literally cannot shut anymore. I'm like just squeezing yeah. them all down. Like, you will get in. But the, we say, don't you, if you've got the right tools, then yeah. you're armed, aren't you? You are, really. Um, and it's nice to have these ones because they're they're consistent all the way along one side yeah I do have the six step ones and I do love those um, but because these give you that consistency yeah and it yeah. doesn't you won't go over it yeah so I'm just going to choose a size it doesn't really matter I'll probably go a little bit further down and I'm just going to double wrap so by double wrap I'm going to I've got my um, wire going around now you can use a mandrel you can use your round nose pliers okay I just want a slightly larger loop okay so I'm just going to bring that so those wires cross and I'm just almost turning it around with my pliers, opening them and catching that wire again and then bringing them back around. So what I'm doing is giving myself a double loop. See that there? Yep. So when I take that off, you can see it's like a split loop. So if I pop that back on... Can I ask what size those pliers are, lovely? You can. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but I don't know. Neither of us know. <laughs> You were open, I wasn't going to ask that, weren't you? Yeah, they're, um, they're the right size. That's what they are. I would say possibly a six and eight Sorry. mil. Sorry six, for asking. Six and eight mil, I'm going to guess. Go. I reckon. To guess. How big are the pyrites? They are pyrites, aren't they? Uh, How big are the pyrites? Oh, are they six the, mil? The, six mil. Then there's six, six and eight. And eight. There you go. That was a pretty good guess, actually, I think. I was. Yeah. Pat on the back for you there, Laura. No, I don't know if that's meant to be proud of, that I can actually <laughs> work out the size of a plier. Yeah. You need no, to get out more, don't you, I Laura? do. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> um, so I'm just taking the longer wire and keeping that nice and straight, and okay. I'm just twisting it so that I can just wrap this top wire around it. Now, what you'll see is I'm keeping these pliers in my hand, and I'm holding them nice and tight, so they're yep. actually acting, out, acting as my vice, ah, got which you. means that I can then use this hand to really get a nice tight wrap and get that quite nice and neat. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it's just, again it's about making it as easy for yourself. 
even though it's not playing the game. There we go, okay. don't worry. Got you. Okay, so yep. I can take that off, and that's my, that will become my bail. Brilliant. How quick was that? So, I want to place this centrally. And that's proving the point of the right tools, instantly done. Genius. Oh, no, oh that's hi, cool. Phil. Oh, hi. Hi, Phil. Sorry, Thank you, Phil. And I actually used them. Thank you, Phil. Funnily enough, we have some bail making pliers. <laughs> Should we do those now or should we wait for Laura? No, you can do those. Shall we, shall we, are we? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just producing should we, should for the moment. Should we quickly do them? <laughs> yes, I will quickly show them to you. Now, we've only got a handful of both. So, we'll do the bigger ones first, shall we? These bobby dazzlers. We've got 11 pairs of these, these okay? Ones. These are the ones. Oh, those are the ones, yeah. Oh, yeah. these are genius, aren't they? Now, you've got 13 mil, 60 mil and 20 mil on these bale making pliers. So, three opportunities for your bales in your three different sizes. Obviously, your 13, your 16 and up to your 20 there. Uh, as I said, we've only got 11 um, pairs. So, there aren't very many at all. We know that they're fantastic, fantastic value for money. Um, our lovely Laura's just been raving about them. Don't forget as well, can I make a suggestion for you? Um, You've only got, think of the weight of these, they're, they're a substantial pair of pliers, mm. they're fantastic quality, um, and if you think about it, 2 95 postage on these is fantastic value for money, isn't it? These are super heavy, these They ones. are, they're, they're really, really substantial weighty. pair of bail making pliers, aren't yeah. they? And they're the ones I'm going to use to make, they're the ones I use to make the jump rings. Okay, so there you go. And uh, yes, brilliant for jump rings, of course, as well. And then we've got the smaller pair, um, what size are these, mate? Look, a little cheeky quick look, we're just going to keep up with our graphics there, just to make sure I've got the right size. These are the three and five mil, so they're the smaller ones than the one, there we go. You have got them all, <laughs> haven't you, Laura? <laughs> I only got these on Saturday, these are the ones I got super oh, excited these are about. Ones. So these yeah. are the ones that Laura bought on Saturday. Three and five millimetre you can make there for the bales. Okay, and we're going to, how many, we, we are, we're only got limited of these as well. 18 of these, so um, we had 19, but Laura had one pair. <laughs> and we're going to take these down to the phenomenal base rate price of £6.95, okay, for you. That's a good price, isn't it? That's a really it's good, a good price. It's a good price, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And don't forget, one post and packaging at 2 95 So just in case you were thinking, where can I get some bail making pliers from? Well, funnily enough, you can get them right here. So there you go. Oh, they're proper funky looking as well, aren't they? Yeah, they? they are. And the ones, okay. the right. slightly smaller ones, these, they've got the larger one. So yeah. they're slightly smaller, but you've still got that one, which is perfect for and making. And those are three by fives, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And so we're, with the, we're on the six by eights, aren't we? Yeah. Right I just then. got them all. It doesn't matter. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is pop my stone, my cabochon, cabochon on, yeah. and I'm going to place it just so that that wire's going in the middle. So this next bit is a bit tricky, and you have to play about with it for a little bit, but mm -hmm. basically you want to keep that nice and straight. So if I show you the back, I want it nice and straight down the back, okay? Oops, it will slide. Um, these cabochons are quite a slidey yep. cabochons, which is absolutely fine. Just it's Keep just, hold of them. You've just got to keep hold of them. Yeah, yeah um, and you can see that doesn't make a difference in the finished effect. I'm keeping it nice, and I'm really putting pressure on the back of this to really make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah. Bringing that straight up, yep. and I'm going to wrap it oh. around my bale. Okay? Yep. And what that's doing is that's securing my bale. So if I hadn't, if I don't do that, what will happen is your bale can pull away from the oh, back. Yep. It needs to be linked to the front. Yep. So that makes sense. I'll, yep. I'm with you. I'm keeping up. Yeah. Cool. Bring it back down. And again, I'm doing this. I'm keeping it quite controlled and quite tight. So I really need to make sure this locks in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's there now. All right. Yep. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed the oh. wire behind, and it will go. You can just pop your pliers in, or yep. if it. This is because I've done it. So because you've done it so tight, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You're not kidding. So just pop your pliers on me now. It's okay. So you're just popping your pliers in to just loosen it slightly to get yep. it to feed it through under. Yep. Tiny little gap. That's all I need. I can feed that straight through then. Mm -hmm. I'll show you from the back there again. So I'm trying to show you, but keep hold of it as well because yeah. it's trying to slide. Um, if you're having a problem with this, get a bit of masking tape. Masking tape. Oh, that's a good idea. We'll hold it in place, but it won't mark, mark it, and it yeah. won't take away the wire either. Okay. So then I'm just bringing that back down across the back there, mm -hmm. and then I can just bring it around again, keeping it nice. So yeah, double kind of wrap here. All right. So that's almost like when you're sewing and you do a loop to secure it and then you pull it through the loop sort of thing almost, just to secure it into place, isn't it, almost? I don't sew. Oh, you don't sew? Oh, OK. Is there something, <laughs> I, can, is there something I can do that Laura can't do? <laughs> I can't sew. So I don't sew. I, if I, anything needs um, altering, 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 I yeah. give it to a nanny. Ah, 
I like so, it. Um, okay. mother -in -law, my but mother-in-law, my mum. technically... I do technically sew when I'm wire. working. I yeah, know, I do, do it all yeah. the time. Like, you just stitch that in, but yeah, yeah. I don't actually sew. Okay. <laughs> so, you don't yes. need to, you're too busy jewellery making. So, as someone who does sew, and then yeah, if you do <laughs> sew, then that's the same kind of thing. Um, so, again, I'm just going to feed it through. Yep. Okay, because I just want to try and lock them. Yep, lock them into place. So, locking it. And again, if it goes up, just gently guide it so it can just start to... And get, if you want, every time you see an opportunity, if you can get that um, hooked around there, yep. it's, you know, if you can hook around that bale, then do so, okay. all right? And then just keeping it now, that's it. And then I'm just going to go over to the other side. Mm -hmm. And again, look at it. So if I'm looking at this, I'll show you it from the front. Yep. So this, everyone's going to turn out differently. Everyone's wires are going to go in a different place. Yep. So move this one out of the way. So, if I was to bring this over to the front here, mm -hmm. can you see how it's looking, how it, you can see it sliding over the top yeah, of the Absolutely. Top? So, I don't want that, nope. because it doesn't show on this side, it's not going to mirror. So, I'm actually going to take it back away, oh. and then just bring it that way. Okay. So that I know I can, so I can get the wire to the front again, yeah. so it's look at it and see, and actually, no, I'm not going to do it that way, because that's going to slide over the front and it's visible. Well, I've got you. So I w you have to look at it, even though it's quite yeah. simple. Still look at it and think, oh, actually, I don't want it to do that. that work. Yeah. So again, just placing it over. Now, what I have forgotten to do, but it's fine, we'll go back and do it, is at this point, is to add that little extra loop in, uh. but it's fine, it doesn't matter, because we can just go back. So at each time, because this is sliding, Keep, lay it down flat if you can, really make sure that you push it and get it yep. exactly how you want it to go, okay? So I'm going to get that double loop back across here, okay? So I've mm -hmm. got that looking like that on the front now. So it's all, yeah, I've got all it. All right. So they all match and they all look lovely. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So now I want to bring this back. Underneath again. Underneath again. Oh, don't worry, if it wants to go underneath both, let it go underneath both. It's not worth yeah, arguing sometimes. No. Um, sometimes the wire just, wins. Yeah, but it's not winning, it thinks it's winning. <laughs> yeah. It's just I'm going to say, all right, if you really insist, then we'll yeah, just do it I'll let you have way. that one. Yeah, it's um, fine. I'll win in the end. <laughs> yeah, it's just I'll just ch still change it. Um, so then I can bring that wire back down here. So you can see how your wire is going to look a little bit not so tidy on the back. Yeah. But you can see how we're locking each little section Absolutely. in. Absolutely. So it's giving that stability. Yep. Okay, and then I can now bring this wire back down to here. Okay. And then I can then create that little loop I wanted to create. Okay, I've got you. So just bring it down. So I've managed again. You'll see lots of little opportunities where the wire is a little bit loose. Yeah. And it means you can just pop that underneath it. Just giving extra stability every time you do that, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And it, it brought it's brought that wire exactly where I want it to go now. So if right. you look, it's just where I want it. I hold it up like that for you to see. Okay. And it's sitting exactly where I want it at the bottom so that I can create my wraps loop. All okay. right. Now I know that actually I'm quite happy with this. Visually from the front, it's looking mm -hmm. how I want it to. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of movement, but not a lot. Mm -hmm. So I know that just a little bit of tightening that up is going to be all I need to do. Yep. So I know I can actually just wrap this wire and cut it. And done. But if I had done that loop and I still had wanted to do any more decoration or I'd only done one on that side, you don't have to wrap it here. You can still continue using it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take my pliers. This is just my normal standard round nose pliers. Which, can I just mention, we have got, we've got flat nose. Oh, can cool. I just, have you got time for me to just yeah, quickly show those? Yeah, Okay. But look, I keep stopping you in mid-flow. all right. I'm used <laughs> to it. I'm used to it. Trust me. <laughs> So we've got these essential to if you're making if you if you're jewelry making lovely blue handle pair as well they're gorgeous really nice I love their colour um, and it does ha help to have them in different colours so you can grab them and, and sort of recognise them instantly isn't it now these are our um, uh, flat nose with comfort grip and flat nose um, light model these are. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm guessing you've got these as well in your li in your little <laughs> stash, have you, Laura? I do have. The yes, light, I had a feeling you might. I have the light ones. I don't know if I, oh, there's the light ones. Yeah, she's got. Them. I don't have those ones. Oh, there's a pair of pliers I know. that Laura does not have. Are we bringing <laughs> both of these together? We are, aren't we? Pair you've not got, Laura. <laughs> I've got those ones. I don't have these. Ones. Oh, you don't have these ones. Oh, these ones. Well, these are coming as a pack. I know. There you go. So you could buy one and give to one have. to your friend, couldn't you? Well, to be fair, I would, I would use both of them because if you look at them, the pliers are actually different sizes, ah. which is really actually quite helpful because okay. you've got the the light blue ones, the the sparkly handled ones, yep. are smaller, yep. which enables you to do that more intricate more finer, work. More finer and then you've got work. them, and okay. again. You do chain mail, perfect. Oh, the two yeah, sets. of course it is, yeah. So we've got the um, flat nose with the comfort grip and the flat nose light. Both, pa uh, both pairs of pliers there. $6.95. Wow, Hello. for both. Hello. 
Again, wow. that's a buy one, get one free. It is really. Yeah. Come on, Laura. Just need those ones. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Sorry, Laura. That's back to right. you. Yeah, carry on. Um, okay, so I've just popped my pliers in. All I've done is I've just brought this. Again, you'll notice I tend to use my pliers very often as a vice. Yes. So I can put all my pressure through the tool and not actually on the wire. Yeah. Again, that helps reduce any kind of and heat, heat transfer, transfer and all that. Any yeah, kinking okay. or anything yep. like that. So I've got that nice straight line. So if I take that out, it's like a little. Yeah. Go. I've, I've got, got my pliers back in so that my if I turn it to the side you can see it there and I'm just gonna bring that all the way around and wrap it it's just a simple wrap loop so I bring it around there now what I do is I take it I'm just showing you so it's going across what I do is I actually just rotate them around ah, and pop my plier back so on top again, again so I can wrap it wrap again it so I, I again I'm using it as a vice and then I'm able to just bring that and wrap that okay nice and secure okay. now as I said if you had still wanted to do decoration on this mm -hmm. you could still use this wire mm -hmm. again look at it if I was to do it that way it wouldn't look nice visually because it would be coming across the stone yep if you can just about see it there see if I move my plier so I wouldn't want to do it like that nope. but I would then just bring the wire straight up the back again yep. and if I wanted to do any more work I could mm -hmm. because I'm happy with mine yep I'm actually just going to cut this wire now okay. and this is quite good if you want to just get used to your wires, get used to trusting your instinct and looking at it and thinking how can I, where should that wire go next. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take my flash cutters and trim that wire nice and close Yep. Um, and then I'm going to take my um, chain nose pliers mm -hmm. and just gently, just gently almost crimp and yep. squash that edge so there's no sharp no edge sharp there. Edge, yep. okay. So when I place that around like this. I've got that little place ready for oh, my yeah. tassel. Great, okay. wonderful. So now what I can do is now still movement because I haven't locked any of the back in. Yep. So there's movement generally all around. Mm -hmm. um, and just to show you what I've done with the bail, the double wrap that I did, mm -hmm. just simply take your flat nose pliers or yep. your nails, pop it in the middle. Okay. And open it out. Got you. And that gives you that effect. That's Lovely. why we did the double loop. Split bail, isn't it? Split bail, yep. but okay. it's just as simple. It looks good. This wire here, if I have another element of detail, another yeah, yeah. Now this wire here, I haven't done anything with this yet. Okay. So I've got potential with this now. I could put a spiral mm -hmm. right across the front, and mm -hmm. that will hide any mechanics. Yeah. Um, or I could just wrap it around a couple of times just to get it really quite neat because it might be the odd messy wrap. So yep. if I do it like that, I can see that it's quite neat now. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing I could do is create a very small gizmo coil, mm -hmm. pop it on or hand coil it, Lovely. and wrap that around, and then yeah. you would have a, a coil detail. Yeah. So there's tons you can do. So I'm actually just going to keep mine nice and simple. In fact, actually, no, I will do a spiral. Just, again, if we're going back to basics, to yep. show how to do a okay, spiral. I'd love you to. Yeah, brilliant. OK, so to do this, what I'm going to do is just trim the wire probably about, what's that, about an inch? Ish. Yep. Doesn't really matter. Um, I don't really want too big a spiral. No. Nope. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to place them right at the end. Yep. So that my wire is quite flush here. Mm -hmm. Now you'll see a natural direction. My wire is going across here. You have a neck. It's up to you whether you naturally turn that way or that way. To yep. be honest, there's no wrong or right. comfortable for you, basically. Yeah. So yep. I'm just starting to curve my wire. Okay. This is a one mil. I know it's not. It's 0.8, so it's going to be a bit easier. Yeah. So I've curved it and put my pliers back in and just gently curve it again. Mm -hmm. So what this is really, really important to get this initial curve because this is how you'll end up with what we call eggy spirals. Ooh. So if you don't get it really perfect little spiral, little circle, it does just goes like a little egg shape and then Aww. when you spiral it, yeah. it just looks like a continuous yeah. growing egg. Yeah. So if you just really need to really take the time just to get that middle part really nice and curved. Yep. So you see how nice and curved that is. Beautiful. And then I use the pad of my finger and I actually support it that way and get it started. So now I can see that's starting to go a bit yep. um, 3D. So I can take my flat nose pliers, just gently crunch oh, that. Look how quickly that did that then. Yeah, just it flattens it. Okay. Yep. And then you can take your pliers. Now flat nose pliers are brilliant for this. Yeah. And you see I'm using the light ones. Yeah. Um, and I'm just gently going to curve this around. And what I do is I actually move my hand. Yeah. I'm just gently. That is genius doing that okay and then just creating that spiral and then I want to position that just Gosh, that's brilliant. over see just a little bit of 
And that's yes. just hiding any... Hiding the mechanics. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and another do, level of detail. Yeah, and you can just play about with it so that you're happy. Um, and, you know, sometimes you look at it and go, oh, that's a rubbish spiral. It's not. You just need to reposition it. Yeah. Um, and then that sits nicely across that's there. lovely. That looks nice. Now, what I want to do is just tidy up this. You see how it's a little bit baggy and yep. I've still got movement? Yep. So that's when you turn the piece over mm -hmm. and you're just going to go in and literally... You can use your flat nose or your chain nose. I like my chain nose because it, it just goes in at a point. They're a bit finer at yeah, the point. Whereas yeah, whereas these are going to yep. curve more. Yep. Um, and you just place them and oh. just literally, and what you're doing is really tightening up these well, wires. putting a kink in it almost. To, but it, to, it wraps yeah. it, brings it together at the yeah. front, which will then just help. So this little bit here, I can just pop my pliers in and just really, you know, so it's yeah. just really lock it in. And now look. Got you. There's no wow. movement at all in that. So you can see, and then you can just tidy it up a little bit at the front if you want to. And then just tidy it up. And then just keep tweaking until you're happy. But basically, that's your connection done. Okay, so that, and that, that piece is really solidly locked yep, in. Locked in. You've got your, you've yeah. got your jump ring at the bottom, you've yep. got your bail at the top, you've got all that lovely detail. That is wonderful. Yep, and then you would just attach, um, so for the tassel, I actually used the extender chain. Yep. So in the, in the findings pack, you actually get extender chains. Yep. I actually took the, um, the little covers off, which yep. I could then use if I'd bought that suede out or something. Yep. Um, and just because the chain's different on this, mm -hmm. whereas the chain I had in my kit was more of the Figaro type of chain. Um, so I just used that for that and then just doubled up my chain um, and made some giant jump rings, which I haven't secured very well. That's my own fault. Um, oh, it's just come off of there. Um, and did them into a Mobius. So I used, to do the jump rings, I actually used um, this large yep. tool here. Okay. Um, so do you want me to show how I did the jump rings or? Well, should we just show the serpentine variation yeah. as well first? Is that okay? Yeah, this yeah. is a brand new launch. I think yeah, you're going to like these. On. Okay, just quickly show you these. These are gorgeous. Are we doing these here, aren't we? Yeah, that's okay. Beautiful, beautiful serpentine. Gorgeous, gorgeous serpentine. We've got 200... Oh, I thought I dropped them then. <laughs> 240 carats. Now, these are absolutely natural. So if I could just hold one of these up at a time for you, just to give you an idea. Completely natural. So that gives you another coloration of your cabochons on the serpentine. Named after, um, the, supposedly, the actual uh, skin of a snake because of the patterns and the beautiful inclusions on the serpentine to give that snake-like effect on the beautiful serpentine. And just look at the array of shapes that we've got. Look at these, aren't they lovely? Beautiful, beautiful. You've got like a fat bottom pear drop here as well. They will differ depending on, 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 the, on the pack that you get, but 240 carats guaranteed. They are multi-shaped. That's the whole point of the serpentine, the fact that you get the multi-shaped the multi cabochons. But it's 240 carats. That's a heck of a lot of carat weight, isn't it? Gorgeous coloration. You can see those lovely patterns, patterns coming through there as well. And that's a really lovely... Yeah, and as I said, you tend to buy one or two of these at a time, don't you? Oh, yeah, with the copper wire. See, again, I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for copper. I do like your copper, don't <laughs> I do you? Do like my copper? But can you just see how that really pops against it? Yep. Um, and again, they would probably go beautifully with the, the cabochons that I've got here. Absolutely. Oh, wouldn't they just? Yeah, yeah with, so the, you, with the ember jaspers as well. So you could actually double set. Can I just pop yeah. these together just to give you an idea? Look. See yeah. what Laura's talking about. So if you've got a, if you've got one of the previous kits and the serpentine as well, you've got together. the reds and the greens, which go beautifully. Think of the holly and ivy; it's perfect. Six ninety-five. You kidding me, Phil? Wow. Okay, he's going to six ninety-five on these multi-shaped, beautiful cabochons of serpentine. Beautiful tones of green, lovely black patterns coming through as well. Just glor, glor That's a real crash price, yeah. and that's a brand new launch. You won't have been able to get those before. They're lovely, aren't they? Oh, you're racing in for these, aren't you? You glorious serpentine. It really, really is a stunning gemstone. No, that's just it is amazing. unique. It's completely unique. Do you like? I love my greens. I do love my greens. Can I just steal one? I want to try some. Oh, she's. I'm not, I'm not stealing, stealing. I'm going to give it back. I'm just trying this as a combination. Imagine that as a, as a pendant. If you set those two. 
together. See, see, now look at that. If you get if you get one of each, what a great, great, great way to, yeah, to make them both work together. Very, very They're clearly. fantastic. It's, I, oh, did we mention as well? This is completely natural, isn't it? The serpentine is the natural serpentine, isn't it? It's gorgeous. Just double checking. It is natural, isn't it? Yeah, it's completely natural, and it really, really is stunning. Um, and do, can I just say as well, this apparently is said to be a gemstone that is fantastic for meditation. Really? Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just thought I'd mention that to you as well. So if you're into your meditating, then this is a wonderful gemstone to use. But 240 carats of multi-shaped, I think that's the geniusness, multi-shaped. Now 40 of these have gone already. I'm not sure how many we've got on the availability. Okay, it's a brand new launch. Now, Margaret Ann, Anon, Geraldine, there's so many of Anons coming in from Greater London, Gloucestershire, Surrey, Diane, Carol, Jessie, Marie, Anon, Sarah. We're into double columns now. So when it goes into double columns, that means it's really busy on there. Um, and we are completely and utterly natural. So if you're looking at the beautiful ember jaspers we've got in the kit that our lovely Laura's working with, they're gorgeous. If you'd like to combine them with the green serpentine, that's completely natural. You get, I mean, six... That is just insane. Six ninety-five. That is just. I'd be getting amazing. Them. Amazing. Yeah. Just pop them there for now. But uh, good luck on those. You're loving those, so good luck. So sorry, Laura. No, Back no, that's you, fine. Um, what did you want me to? Did you want me to just quickly show how I made the jump rings? Is that the time? Or go for it. They yeah, said. Let's yeah, do. Go for it. We've so, got 15 minutes. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and what I'll do is I'll show how I did the jump rings, and then maybe how I incorporate it incorporated it okay. into the simple ring okay because there's two rings there there's the cabochon set one yep um which is a little bit more intricate but yep um but yeah that ring there so i can okay. show how brilliant I, that's just twisted wire on that one um okay so i used the one mil for the jump rings now i will say i as i've I explained this to you now and I've, yep. i know i've said this several times but because i'm having work done on my house all of my stuff is in boxes um, and i very cleverly put my still block in a box and I can't find it so <laughs> if I was at home I would have hammered these because the reason mine keep coming very slightly open is because I haven't hammered them okay. they need to be hammered really um, so if you do this and please hammer them okay just to give them that little bit more strength and to lock them into their shape okay, okay. Um, so what I did was I took my nice new really cool Pliers. They're brilliant. I've literally had them about a week. They're so cool. They, oh, you've been having a right plier tastic <laughs> week, haven't you? The problem is, if you buy something, if you just see something, we all do it. So we do it, and you're just like, oh, I'll buy them, and then I have a browse, and that's always fatal. And then I found these, and I was like, well, I'm having them. So uh, yeah. So I'm just <laughs> a nightmare. Oh no, I hope my husband isn't watching. I don't think he will be. No. Right. I will say with these that they're not springs at the bottom so they're just um, manual so for me to hold them I actually use my little finger just to help open them I've got you so for me I'm actually opening them like this so just be aware that you know they haven't got a spring but that's that's fine you just have to adapt it so I'm just actually manually opening them yep okay um, and so what I'm doing is I'm just coiling them around the smallest of the um, steps okay okay and I'm just keeping it I think that was about 13 mil, wasn't it? I think. I think it yeah, was, it was, yeah, yeah. I think it was 13 mil. Yeah. Um, I wanted to make a bit of balance because I basically started off doing a necklace, the netted necklace, the the, the focal one. I love that. And I, I had this lovely piece, and I thought I could just put chain on it, or I could just put links on it. Yeah. But I wanted larger jump rings to give that balance because you had the focal piece. Yep. But it still keeps it a bit lighter as yep, well. Yeah. Absolutely. So by doing this, the like first couple will go a bit wobbly just oh, because yeah. it's just attaching really yep. okay but once you sort of what I'm doing is just using my tension from my hand I'm hold, pulling the wire here a bit like when you gizmo yeah um, I'm just and then I can put that pressure on you can see how they're getting quite consistent now absolutely okay so this first couple I'm not going to worry about and then I'm just going to rotate them like this so you do as many as you want. So that, that's back section is almost like flattening, rolling the roller yeah. them down, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've got you. Okay. So now I'm going to take my flush cutters. Now it, I'm not going to lie; it's easier if you've got flush cutters because they give a nice. Um, you, they, they, they're they're easy. Yeah. yeah. But as long as you're using the sort of the back of your pliers to keep that flat, straight edge, you'll be okay. Yeah. So I'm just going to rotate in. in so I'm going to cut them, and then I'm just going to turn my pliers around. And cut them next one and then cut this one why do you turn the pliers because around? then it just gives you nice straight edges ah. so if you look 
It's in those straight edges. Yeah, I've got you. And that's okay. just for me doing that. So um, you'll see what I mean. So I need to give, uh, what I'm doing is just sort of working these back and forth, wiggling them back and forth to just okay. try and strengthen it and get it to retain its shape. Yeah. But I really would, because you can see it has got a little bit of movement, yep. I would say hammer these just to really lock that in, Absolutely. okay? Absolutely. I've got you. Okay, so that's how you do them. That's how simple and easy Gosh, it is. Gosh, that was that's, incredible. That's it. You just, you know, and all of these and are all nice. consistent look. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that moment of egg meringue, isn't it? Are oh, they all the same? The first one isn't, because the first one wasn't cut but with that, a straight edge. Yeah. So then they will start to be consistent, and okay. then, yeah, you just go back and change your pliers around. Okay, we've got a question coming for you, lovely girl. Okay. It's about the cabochon. Okay. Um, hello, Lizeth. Oh, I know Lizeth in Germany. Hello, lovely. Can I hammer the back of the pendant, or will it weaken the overlapping wire? Not quite sure what we mean by that. Um, Are you wondering why she'd want to hammer the back of the wire? Yeah, and that's your quick. That's yeah, why, you would yeah. never. Ha I'm not quite sure if I'm misreading this, but you would never hammer anything with the gemstone anyway. Okay. Um, so the answer is, can I hammer the back? No, is the answer really, <laughs> isn't it? Um, yeah, if, you, if not, obviously not with the stone in yep. because that's going to possibly break. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Just as a, as a thing, if you had this was was um, without a stone in the middle, yeah, you would never hammer crossed wires. So if you've got a wrap, so say this section at the top, that would weaken it again. I suppose, yeah, wouldn't it? yeah, and it will it can snap then. So yeah, you never hammer crossed wires or wrapped wires. So if you're ever doing any kind of wire work where you do want to hammer, like these will be fine because it's continuous. Mm -hmm. But if it was a wrapped loop, I would avoid the wrapped loop the wrap part of it. Okay. So I hope that helps. So the answer is ideally no, Lizette. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for the message, lovely. And just quickly, uh, what tools do you need to have for wire work, Maxine says? Um, okay, so I know I have an abundance of tools, but that's just because... Yeah, what I'm are the just, essentials? Yeah, what are the basics? That's what I was going to say. I take all of this out. If you said to me you can only have basics, my basics would be my flush cutters, my round nose pliers, which we had earlier, and my chain nose pliers. Mm -hmm. They would be, if you said to me, you're only allowed three tools, it would be those. They would be my essentials. Okay, thank you. Okay. And one more message from our lovely Pam. Hi, can we see the rest of Laura's make, makes, please? Yes, of course we can. Yes, of course we can. Uh, we've got time to just quickly talk through these, haven't we, lovely yeah, girl? Yeah. Oh, that's the one that you've never done before, isn't it? Yeah, so that's the double caged one. Um, I just was experimenting, really, so because they're quite pointed, those stones, so I was able to kind of capture that and secure it in mm -hmm. um, using that. So, yeah, and just a decorative, decorative bail. They're lovely. Um, and, and a pl simple plaited necklace, really. It's just three pieces of one mil wire plaited. Gorgeous. So, yeah, there's that one. There's a Viking knit um, bracelet at the top. I don't know if you want to show that oh, one because the connector is actually part of the cabochon. So you can... Do you want me to pass that to you so yeah, you can pass yeah. it round? Hang on. This, I love, I said I love this upstairs earlier, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. made this a very tiny little bit big, which I was a bit annoyed at myself about. But basically, it wasn't, it was originally going to be um, a chain. This bit here, because it's filled with the jasper, was originally going to be the chain for the double pendant. Oh, okay. But it was a tiny bit too chunky. I got it to go through, but I felt it took away from the stone. What? I felt it took too much away from the pendant, so okay. I changed it into a cabochon Lovely. set. And that's Viking knit, isn't it? This is Viking knit, yep. and this has been done with the 0.8 wire, mm -hmm. um, and so I've netted um, the, the, the stone, yep. the cabochon, and I've kind of attached it into the Viking knit. Wonderful. And attached the, uh, just a little loop there, and then I just attached a tiny little clasp on this side, so it literally just this goes in like that and I don't want it to be too obvious that it's there either yeah so lovely that's that one. beautiful absolutely gorgeous design okay, okay. Um, which one should we yep so we, um, oh and this necklace as well yeah, yeah. Um, so again that's a simple netted pendant um, I've kept it really simple with the stone again I had a really beautiful larger um, um, on again, yeah. on, mm -hmm. which I was I just kept simple because it was quite it, it didn't have that many markings but it's got lots of lovely shadings on yes. it so I thought I'm actually going to play to that and then I've just taken this, those side wires mm -hmm. and just made a weave into it mm -hmm. um, and then I've just connected it with sections of linked um, pyrite and yep. little again these jump rings yep. and then what I've done is taken my point for wire and wrapped in between the jump rings mm -hmm. with the little mix of the 
Mook, um, pyrite and jasper and are gorgeous. Kept some plain and some not and have, have continued it all the way around. The earrings are a variation, the rings are a variation as is the bracelet. Mm -hmm. um, but I kept the bracelet light, I didn't put anything in it because I thought it looked quite nice and simple. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and again that, that lovely cabochon, that, that was too beautiful to cover. Gorgeous. So I just gorgeous. kept it very simple. And Joe, hi both. Hello, Joe. In Leicester, sh 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 Shire. I've managed to work. Um, I've managed to work harden the wire in pendants by gently tapping the wire with my with the soft handle of my pliers. Yeah, yeah, you can. The other thing that you can do is um, take your pliers, and this is where the slightly larger ones, like the. Er yep. I can't say the word ergonomical. Ergonomic. That's the ones where these have got a larger area. Um, on the hand, yeah, yeah. I've got you. So yeah. what you can do, and the good thing about some of these, again, they're all going to be different, but these particular stones are quite shallow. Yeah. Because sometimes they you get cabbage that are quite fair point, yeah. um, deep, but these are quite shallow. So you could take your pliers and gently go over the whole piece just like this. So you okay. could, you know, you could work, and even just by doing this, hardening it, you know, you'll be able to just gently go over and harden it like that as well. So yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh, thank you. That's a great message. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. Um, did you want me to very quickly just to show how I did the ring shot? I won't, it's two seconds, it's just two okay. bits of wire twist. Okay, yep, great. Um, so again, I have my one, ooh, one mil wire I chose mm -hmm. for this. I cut two sections off quite short because it is just for the ring shank itself. Okay. But I am going to twist them so obviously it's going to reduce in its length. Okay. Well, it's quite a short piece actually, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because it's only going to be the ring shank, so it's yeah. probably going to be too long. Look at all this mess. It's all right, lovely. We'll tidy up for you after. <laughs> um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to hold them together mm -hmm. and just twist them. It's going to be a little bit tricky, but you can just, once you've got them started, you just want them twisted. The reason okay. being is I wanted it to be a plain ring shank. Yep. So I can then take my pliers and now I can get a good grip on that mm -hmm. and then I can just twist these now. Okay, make that tighter twist. Yeah, and yep. what you see is I'm putting my finger in the middle mm -hmm. and holding with my hand, so my fingers, my index fingers going in between the wires, mm -hmm. okay, and with my hand I'm gripping it and then I can, I'm pulling away from me, yep. which gives that nice consistent twist. Okay. Oops. Okay, and this yep. only has to be enough to go around your ring mandrel. Okay. So it doesn't need to be a lot. Yep. And it doesn't even have to go all the way around. Mm-hmm. Trim. I'm going to just cut a little bit of this. Gosh, that didn't take long, did it? It takes seconds. And then I'm going to get my ring mandrel. Go to the size that you want. Okay, and I can see straight away this is too long because I actually just want this. So I can then trim these because I don't want them to meet. So if I get them to meet, you and then. too much. Yeah, but if I get them to meet, then I can just, they're just slightly crossing now. Yep. So I know that that's going to give me a gap. It's probably mm -hmm. going to be too much again, actually. So, so I've actually got them. So it's almost like a jump ring. Yep. Okay. Okay. And then I can just gently uncross these wires. Take a bit more time than I am, because obviously I'm doing this a bit quick. Mm -hmm. So that they're open out like this, and place them up. Place them up. Okay. Okay. So you've got it like that. Take mm -hmm. your round those pliers, and just gently. Rock them back into a loop. Yep. On both sides with both wires and try and get them so that you can actually put your plier through them both. Yep, okay. Okay, so they're level. Yep. Do that on the other side. I can't believe how quickly you've just created this. Yeah, it takes seconds. Incredible. Again, make sure they're level. They're a little bit dodgy, but you get the idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so pop it back on. Yep, onto your mandrel again. Okay, so this is going to be a small ring because I've probably cut it a bit too short. Okay. But then you want to feed that through. Did you jump thing through? That you've just made? That you've just made. Put it back in. And then you would just sew in your Gosh. beads afterwards. How quick when... And that's your simple ring, and it is really simple. Um, and then you would actually get something like a finger ring, but yeah. you, you get the idea. But it's, it gives you a nice, solid, firm ring shank because I've used two pieces of point of one mil wire. Yeah, it's made the ring shank really solid by yep. twisting them, um, and it's just a decorative. It's, it gives that kind of light, delicate ring. Yeah, and when you've got such an ornate necklace, you yep. want something like that, don't Balances you? Just that absolutely, yeah. That's wonderful. So hopefully that helped. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now. As you are the wire queen, <laughs> um, we've got a 0.8 collection here. 
And so if we can just quickly show these, if that's all right, lovely Laura. Yeah. We've got three lovely colours. I'm going to hold them down like that so you can actually see the colours, hopefully. I'm hoping. That's the idea. Okay. All 0 0.8 mil. They are, um, you've got, you've, in the middle there, you've got your lovely bright pink coloured copper wire, 0 0.8 mil, as we said. Then you've got Laura's favourite, mm. the lovely copper colour. Um, copper coloured copper wire and then you've got this gorgeous antique bronze that's lush that's my isn't it favorite combination. is that your favorite combination yeah antique bronze and the copper i think i just love the earthy oh um, i'm going to put those colors. i'm going to put those together actually because they are fantastic yeah. so the price is going to be astonishing it's a real treat price now 14.85 as you should be price i believe but we are going all out for you we're bringing you all three that's 10 meters per reel for an incredible, and you've got Laura's favourite combination there, of 6 95 You wouldn't mind this. No, I would quite like that. Yeah. Quite like <laughs> so your pinks, your gorgeous antique bronze, and your lovely copper here, which is Laura's particular favourite, and she's obviously the wire queen. <laughs> 6 95 for all three. Wonderful. So can I just say thank you ever so much? Oh, you're welcome. Brilliant designer inspiration. We'd expect nothing less from you, lovely lady. <laughs> no so pressure. Brilliant. Thank you. That ring was genius. Uh, we're going to go to a short break and then we're going to have our challenge, our four o'clock challenge, which we know you love. And we're going to also challenge our lovely Laura. Can't have you missing out, lovely Laura. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you after the break. Take care. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. gem of the sea. Its beautiful blue hues represent the stunning colours of the ocean. It's a member of the beryl family and is closely related to emeralds and morganites. Brazil has been a major supplier for aquamarine. Nowadays we find some beautiful pieces from Zambia, Nigeria, Madagascar and Mozambique. Spend the day with guest designer Mark Smith making beautiful jewellery. Using simple macrame techniques but with an added touch of elegance with the incorporation of wire in your designs. Mark will be guiding you through five projects and you'll also learn how to wire wrap a cabochon. This course includes a selection of wire, a selection of gemstones, a pack of silver findings, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a visit to the Gemporium Museum and you can make a purchase at the Jewellery Makers shop. All of this for just $84.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Once you are ready to crimp your bead, take your crimping pliers and place the bead on the back ridge and press down. Then flip the crimp bead sideways and place into the front ridge and press down. This will give your crimp bead extra security and give you a neater finish. The latest edition of the Lure Book is now available. This highly regarded gemstone encyclopedia features over 1,300 pages full of facts and knowledge. Discover the places, the people and the stories behind every gemstone. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655.
Hello, good afternoon and welcome back to Designer Inspiration with myself, Zena Broadbent and our fantastic Laura Binding over there, wonderful girl. She's busy working on her challenge Laura, <laughs> so we'll be coming back to her later. She's literally going to have to absolutely race through them now, which is yeah. going to be like a, a, a very busy beaver over there. Uh, so we're going to bring you, while uh, our lovely Laura's uh, uh, sort of rising to the challenge that we've given her, we've got an absolute array of beauties for you for the next, uh, well, 60 minutes roughly. Okay, so um, it's our four o'clock challenge where basically we bring you as many opportunities as we possibly can for you. It is first come, first served though, okay? Obviously you've got your 30 day money back guarantee, you've got your one post and package in 2 95 um, So uh, please be quick. Right, shall we bring you, oh goodness me, you're going to love these, uh, an amazing strand of quality, glorious pearls. Now we brought these to, to you, uh, last, when were they on last? Christmas Eve and they sold out this is the first time that we've had them back as a as a pre as a reorder and obviously uh, what are we on today 25th of May okay and so that is yes goodness me that's um five months isn't it five yep because you don't count yep five months since we bought you these so it's a Christmas Eve reorder treat and every single strand sold out instantly Firstly, before I even talk about pearls or the whiteness and the quality of these, have you seen the size of them? That is one incredible statement set of pearls. They are a wow factor. In fact, talk about having the X factor. My goodness me, these are sensational. They are 11 by 9 mil. Would you mind if I just momentarily pop these on my neckline to give you an idea of scale? Don't even need a close-up, do you? <laughs> that is what we do. Now, our lovely Hannah Osborne had a pair of pearls on like this yesterday with me on The Late Show. And they looked amazing. You would literally just, you could just restrand this strand and pop a nice, gorgeous in fact we have some beautiful black spinel square box clasps if you were watching the other night make a real statement piece they are fantastic now gosh the second i'm just feeling that then the second you pop a pair of pearls onto your neckline you instantly feel almost feels like you've got to stand taller it, you've got to get your posture right you they are the ultimate gemstone of sophistication they go with everything. You can wear them casually. You can dress them down. Now, a pearl is um, is a is a hard object actually. It's quite hard, but it's actually produced within the soft tissue of a of a living shelled mollusk, and that's what I love about this. So a beautiful organic gemstone. When when one of the very very few. How many have gone already? Ten have gone already, and I've only just uh, started talking about these. Now, the ideal pearl is perfectly round. It's got a lovely smoothness to it. It's got a lovely iridescence to it. And then the thing that's going to increase the value on your pearls is the size. So 11 by 9 millimeter is a whopping great big pearl. So it is about the size. Now, for centuries, um, they've been a gemstone um, that have been associated, they are classed as a gemstone pearls, they're associated with quality, with sophistication, with grace, with innocence and having a high quality value as well. Pearls, again, if you ever see a programme where somebody's at an interview stage, young, teens, 20s, 30s, whatever you're at, I can guarantee you, if you line up 10 women, whatever age they are, you will guarantee one or two women wear a pair of strand of pearls because it is the idea that they will automatically appear more sophisticated. It's absolutely the case. Now also, they are huge on the, when you're making bridal jewellery. Okay, you just speak to our lovely Sheila Davis and uh, Linda and everybody. And also, just to mention as well, uh, these uh, and the reason being, uh, if you believe in myth and legend, uh, they are associated with love and marriage. But they are apparently—I don't know how they manage to do it. These cheeky pearls—they're apparently supposed to be able to stop the bride from crying. I'm not quite sure how that. How, how that? You know, not, perhaps it's because she's so chuffed that somebody bought her a set of pearls. It, she's she's just she's that happy. Um, uh, but it is all about the smoothness the roundness that's what you're looking for these are the you know when we're talking about the four c's with a diamond you know your cut your clarity carrot weight all that kind of thing but this is all about basically your three to four 
amazing uh, value aspects of a pearl. So it's your smoothness, your roundness, that glorious, what is known as, you may know it as iridescence, you may know it as pearl essence, and this has got all three of these in abundance and size. 11 by 9 mil. We've had a message come in from our lovely Mirabelle. She said, wow, Zena, their pearls are stunning and they are, they are never 19.95, she says. The price has shocked me, even after 12 years of being with you, Mirabelle. Uh, and that's with gems, obviously. Our lovely uh, Mirabelle's been with us right from the start. So they are amazing. We've gone to 19.95. Now, can you imagine walking, work, can I measure this strand? We haven't got a measurement on this strand. I'm going to count how many pearls there are as well, if we've got time. I know it's our 4 p.m. challenge, so we don't have long. But let's just quickly do this for you. Okay. So that is 40 centimetre strand, 40 centimetre. Um, so that is, let me just quickly check as well. So that's um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 42. Now, if I pop that on the neckline again, perfect necklace, ready made. Obviously, you can split the strand, you can make... Yep, you could have a take three out, you could have a matching pair of earrings, you could have a matching ring, create the entire set. You could make a lovely anklet for your holidays, big anklet that would be. You could make a handbag stra strap, shoulder strap with pearls, they're nice and durable. Could do anything with them. Now a lot of you at that price, I'm not surprised. Can, you, can I just mention really quickly, can you imagine going into a store having genuine white cultured pearls, and these are fantastically white, did I mention, and you buy the whole necklace for £20. Not going to happen, is it? Not going to happen. That's the beauty of Jewelry Maker. So, good luck. A lot of you are multi-buying. A lot of you, if you get them in your baskets, they need to be checked out to make sure that they're yours. Okay, well done, well done, well done. Right then. So, we are, we're starting the challenge now. This is in. So, brace yourselves. Okay, we're going, we're going very, very fast. We're starting with box 11, are we? Emerald. Oh, pearls and emerald. Tanzanite we've had this show. <laughs> It's me. You know, it's a bank holiday treat, don't you? Now, there's only 10 left. So these are lasting stock. Okay. Lasting stock, and they are fantastic. I mean, emeralds. What an absolute. This is the first strand of emeralds only I've seen since I've been presenting on um, Jewelry Maker. And these are glorious. Okay. These are beautiful. 90 carats. I know our lovely Laura's busy beavering away over there, but she can't take her eyes off these. <laughs> 90 carats. A gradual, graduated faceted, and they are lovely. Now, as you can see here, you can see inclusions. This is one of the very few gemstones on the planet where inclusions are what make the, the emerald. They really are. It's almost like Mother Nature's fingerprint, and it depicts the location it can help. So if you get somebody that's really, really talented, and my goodness me, thank goodness our head of buying office on Emerald is based in the Emerald City itself, Jaipur. Um, so our guys really know an, uh, about Emeralds. And Emeralds you do need to know about, because an Emerald can be from the same mine, a dollar a carat, can be the same size, can be the same shape, it can be the same carat weight, same colour. A few feet away in the same mine, it can be worth $150,000 a carat. So you, got to, you need to know what you know about. You need to know about emeralds. Thankfully, you don't need to because our team do. Okay, we've gone under 20. My goodness, we, we've gone under 30 on 40 carats of tanzanite. We've just gone under 20 on stunning 11 by 9 mil pearls, and now we're bringing you. N Sorry, I thought you just half the price of the where it should be. I've only got 10. These are not going to be here very long, are they? It's a Bank Holiday Monday treat. 90 carats. This is part of our 4 p.m. challenge. I still didn't anticipate. I thought 19.95. I thought you were going a bit bonkers, but there you go. 7 to 9 mil, 24 centimetre strap. Can I quickly... Have I got time to count them? I bet I'm going to... Well, I'm counting them anyway. Really quick, really quick. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. 25 emeralds already. Heather, Amanda, they've gone. Angela's had two. Lisa's, had, they're gone. Gone. However, I have one more strand. Have I got these? Okay. So if you've just missed that and you're going, oh, I just missed the emerald. Here's your second chance. These are a gorgeous glowing green. Oh my word. Now these are fabulous. What a gorgeous tone. 
God, gosh, they make you think of Siberian emeralds, don't they? They are actually African now. Let me, please don't let me confuse you. African emeralds. Now, let me just mention as well, these are completely natural. Now, when I say natural, all they have had done to them is the knockout cut and facet on these rondelles. They've been oiled. So you know when you get, in, you know when you get out of the shower and you get out of the bath and you want your skin to have that lovely sheen and you rub, rub some of that baby oil in. Do you know what I'm talking about? Or lotion or lovely lotion and you get that lovely sheen to your skin it's beautiful that is all we've done to these emeralds okay that's all we've done so you've got a lovely oiling and that's what gives you the color in this strand look at these they are lush aren't they makes you think about Queen Cleopatra I mean she had her very own mines in Egypt she couldn't get enough of this gemstone it's such a wonderful gemstone. It is this month's gemstone, let me just mention. So it's the May gemstone. It's seven, up to seven on the most hardness scale. It is wonderful to work with. Again, as we talked about earlier, as soon as you go into the high-end gemstones, as soon as you go into tanzanite or diamonds or ruby or sapphire or emeralds, you do want to get your, your, your minimum silver-plated findings. This is a glorious strand. We start, um, it is um, graduated. Uh, oh no, they're four by one mils on average, sorry. Yep, four by one mils. And they are beautiful, aren't they? 20 centimetre strand. Can I just, have we got any of the tanzanite left, by the way? We've got five left. Look at that for a lovely combination. 40 carats of tanzanite going for 27.95 from memory. And these are 17.95. Oh my goodness, two of the big five. Under 30 on your tanzanite for 40 carats, under 20 on your sapphire, uh, emerald, sorry, I do apologise. 17.95. Can I pop these with this as well, look? How nice with those, look, green and white. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now, we are limited on these, aren't we? Uh, we've only got 40 of these. You saw how quickly the tanzanite left. And if you're looking at that tanzanite strand that we just had, 40 carats of 1,000 times rarer than diamond tanzanite. Um, already, I think that must mean 170 have gone since we launched them last night. We started with 175 and 170 have gone. That leaves you five opportunities on the tanzanite, so good luck. And on your emeralds already, Dave uh, Pinson in Dorset, you've got them. Rabina, Elizabeth, Raymond and Joanne, you've gotten them. Now, just quickly, I'm racing through because it is our 4 p.m. challenge. Olga, Asua, Vanya, Heather, Julie. Oh, Olga, you've just got them out of your basket and got them uh, checked out well done but all of you that want these you've got a 20 centimeter strand just to reiterate there that is a phenomenal 35 carats of emerald glorious glorious emerald for under 20 pounds okay right then now we are going to bring you this beautiful beautiful um it's classed as a rosary strand isn't it Rosary link chain. It. What's the length on this? I was going to say this has to be a metre. And not only have you got this beautiful rosary link chain of one metre, we've also popped in there for you. How, um, just checking how many carats of... 10 carats of peridot. 10 carats of peridot. Now, obviously, as we were watching our lovely Laura Binding earlier on the, on the designer inspiration, if you've mastered how to make simple loops, then you can easily create a rosary link chain. There's no question about that. However, you want consistency, and this is going to take you... Um, look at the size of the chain as well. This is going to take you quite a long time to recreate. But then as well, you've got to try and find this size of faceted rondelle, uh, the 2 by one mil on the peridot. You've then got to link them within on all these loop on all these hoops and loops. And I'm not aware of us being able to bring you individually a uh, gold plated 925 sterling silver chain. Now, I've just been out to India, thankfully, with our lovely Steve and Sarah Bennett, co founders of our business, my lovely cousin. And um, I must say, out of everywhere that we visited, for me personally, the chain factory was unbelievable. I've n it was like watching a machine hand crochet, hand knit the most unbelievable Aladdin's cave of variety of chains I have ever seen. The detail 
in the in the size of these links and if you think about it now just imagine you're used to creating your loops aren't you making your simple loops popping your eye pin through um, cutting the other end uh, putting them through doing a loop linking them together that's great how long would it take you to create one meter Laura any idea and you're fast I wouldn't do it oh she wouldn't do it there you go <laughs> just wouldn't do I it I love that I love that not happening well it's not happening is it Laura no it's not. It's not happening. I'm not a patient. I'm not a patient person. People know this. For me, I wouldn't have the patience to sit down and do that. No. So to have it ready made for me is with just, the peridot. It's just ideal. With ten carrots <laughs> of natural peridot as well. We are okay. Let me tell you now. I can tell you now. Um, this is gold-plated sterling silver. I would happily, when I was presenting on our sister channel, the lounge, bring you one chain in sterling silver without the gold-plated for 19.95. I've just brought you an entire meter which would make you two 16 inch necklaces and an anklet or bracelet in gold plated plus the 10 carats of natural peridot thrown in my lovelies for an incredible price point of 14.95. Oh my goodness. Knockout. I don't want to take this off. And look at how the sparkly those lovely 10 carats of peridot are as well. And they're completely natural. Beautiful. Oh, don't forget. You know what I'm going to tell you, don't you? Check out those baskets. What we're we doing next, sorry? Oh, box 18. Excuse me, I'm going into my little box of goodies. Oh, we've got... Oh, I haven't had any rose gold for a bit. Brilliant. Shepherd hooks. I'm going to show you... One at a time, if that if that be all right. I said I'd do your accent. Do that be all right. <laughs> I warned Laura earlier. I said, look. I said I said that. I said I mimic. No, you haven't really. I said I said I mimic. I mimic um, accents not very well, to be fair. And I said if you think I'm taking the mickey, I'm honestly I'm not. <laughs> okay. So shepherd hooks, um, ten pairs. Let me just show you these. I'm showing you side on first of all, so you can see the shepherd hook. There you go. That l I love the elongated book back on the shepherd hooks. They're so cool, so fashionable. Now they are 925 sterling silver, but for those of you that are keen eyed, you can see, oh, we've got a bit of rose gold plated on there as well. 925 sterling silver. I'm just showing you the shepherd hook as well. Oh, sorry, I went out of camera. I do apologise then. Sorry, that was my fault. Sorry, Pete. I ruined your shot then, Pete. He's just passed his driving test as well. Woohoo! Did you mind me saying, Pete? Sorry, it's, it's right, a bit yeah. tough if you did. <laughs> I've just told the whole nation. <laughs> I've told the whole world. Sorry, Pete, but well done. Great, when you pass your driving test, isn't it? And uh, we've got the ready made jump link. Okay, there are 20 pieces, so that gives you 10 pairs. Okay, 10 pairs at 8.95. 10 pairs at 8.95 that's less than a pound a pair goodness me and that's 925 sterling silver rose gold plated i'm so sorry to race on but you know what the more the quicker i go the more things i can bring you okay Ooh, i've never bought you wood before i haven't <laughs> these are brilliant i tell you what uh, yeah that would be a treat, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've got to stop doing that. They're going to say, well, you get her off. Okay. Oh, I was just going to say this is quite tiger effect, but it is as well. That's good. That's because it's tiger ebony, fancy, beautiful. Can I just say, you've got, two dif you've got different shapes in here as well, haven't you? You've got, you've got the fancy trapezoids and petals. I love trapezoids. Trapezoid. I've only learnt about trapezoids the other day and I think they're brilliant. Now look at this, what an unusual, and it's lovely and lightweight. Okay, so it's lovely and lightweight, this wood. Hey, did you get it? Yeah, you would. Love it. Tiger ebony trapezoids and fancy petals. Lovely big long strand, actually. Um, the fancy petals are 17 by 6 mil. The rectangular, with, with a rectangular hole on the trapezoids, at, um, they're 20 by 10. And the hole for you to pop through there, um, 40 pieces of the trapezoids, trapezoids, you've got like a rectangular hole, and that's about 10 by 4 mil. Okay. Sorry? I was just showing one at a time. Just making sure. 
Ah. Oh. I've just shown you one at a time. I'll show you the other one first. <laughs> I was thinking, hang on, I've only got one shape here. Right, so there's your fancy petals. They're lovely. I like those. Oh, I like those. I like those. And your trapezoids. There we go. Both strands. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. Both strands for eleven ninety-five. Sorry about that. That was completely my fault. I was having a mo I was still there looking, thinking, well, hang on, I can see what I'm saying, but I can't see the second strand. But there it is. It was hiding in the back of the drawer. Okay, so they're lovely. They're going to look great together, aren't they, with the two different shapes. Really dramatic. Lovely, lovely tiger effect as well on the ebony wood there. Just beautiful. Eleven ninety-five. Wonderful. Okay, racing through. Uh, so both strands, let's just mention, I, uh, so that you all don't think, what is she doing? You get both strands. Okay. Oh, here we go. Right. Lapis lazuli. Just been talking, haven't we, about the Egyptians and Cleopatra. Here's your Egyptian gemstone. Okay, I think it was, um, was it 4000 BC, I think, this gemstone? Traded in the Middle East? Yes, I was exactly right there. I wasn't there. Were you, Laura? No, just checking. No. Um, 30 carats. Oh, I'm getting cheeky now. 30 <laughs> carats of lapis lazuli. This is one of the most deepest, richest, gorgeous, fantastic, striking blues in a gemstone you are ever likely to see. It's incredibly remote location in the Himalayas. It's extremely limited now on the mining. So again, like Tanzanite, how long we're we going to see lapis lazuli, I do not know. It's completely natural. This colour here, completely natural. It is not dyed. It is natural. So this makes this strand so incredibly collectible. I bet you thought I'd bring you a sapphire, weren't you? Nope. You might think I was bringing you Iolite. Nope. I'm bringing you all Kyanite. Lapis Lazuli. They've gone to seven. Everything I've just said. Rare, remote. Don't know how long we're going to get it. Weeks to get to on horseback. It's completely natural strand. And you've just took it to 7 95 Enjoy. That's what I would say. Absolutely enjoy. It's magical. They are gorgeous. Look at the sparkle look as I twist that. Utterly, utterly beautiful. 7 95 Okay, good luck. Right then, completely natural as well. Right then, what should we do next? Oh, 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 oh. Black star diopside. Only seven. These aren't going to last very long, are they? Okay, now black star diopside. If you love your astirated gemstones... 110 carats. I'm just wondering if I've got like, um, if the torch will work on this. I'm not seeing how this works yet, so. Let's... Oh, this could be, oh, there we go. Now, just assuming I can get these through, because we are fighting with big overhead fluorescent lights here. I normally use my mobile phone torch to, let's just see if these work. Okay, I'm just going to see, see if it works. I'm just trying to see, I can't see from the camera at the moment. There you go. Let me just let... No, oh, my handle's in the... Hang on a second. Let me move that strap out of the way. You're fighting with overhead lights, basically. That's the problem. But you can just see as you come through the asteroid. Now, these are rare because you normally get a six-rayed black star dark. So these are actually a four-rayed star. But it's a little bit different because I'm fighting with overhead lights. But that gives you an idea. Can you see? Look. The four-rayed star as it just comes through on the centre of the cabochon there. Okay. Now, every one of these will show your asterism. But just need to get it away from the lights, studio lights. Now, it's the rare four rayed star. They're graduated in size from 10 by 7 to 12 by 7, and it's a 21 centimetre strand. And astirated gemstones are glorious. Now, we only had seven of these, I'm ever so sorry. So only seven of you are going to be, um, are going to be successful. We've gone under £10. Now, can I just mention as well, astirated gemstones, they're, they're capuchon cut because you have to. That's the only way that you release the asterism. And I tell you now, if that talented gem cutter, that lapidaris, does not cut it at precisely the right angle, the asterism has gone forever. You can never get it back. It's gone. Lost it. Okay, very talented lapidary work. 9 95 I think they may be practically gone already. 
For seven of you, congratulations. Okay. Oh, brilliant. We've got a ring mount with... Are we doing the ring mount and the stones at the same time? It's together. Okay, well, that's handy. Right, then, shall I show you the ring mount first? Okay, I'll give you the profile first of all, shall I? Because I know you like to see your profiles. Here we go. So you've got a solitaire ring. It's got an 8 mil round, okay, and the good news is, guess what we're bringing up uh, in this kit for you? Some 8 mil round gemstones, that's a little bit convenient, isn't it? How, how convenient that they were together in the vault, wonderful. So the ring is, I'm just double checking yet, 95 solid sterling silver. You've got the prongs there that you just need to fold over, to the, uh, fold over the gemstone. And it will fit the eight millimetre ring now, um, uh, rounds. Now this is a size nine R to S. Okay, we tend to go with the uh, with the num uh, R to S in the UK and the numbers in America. So it's a size nine if you're in the US, and it's a size R to S if you're in the UK. And then, as I said, if you're new to jewellery maker or you'd, you'd like a really really good quality sterling silver ring mount that you haven't got to make yourself. I know our lovely Laura's just taught, uh, taught us how to make a ring shank but lovely, consistent, beautiful, solid sterling silver, solitaire. And I'm going to bring you the opportunity to make six different looking rings, okay? With six different gemstones. You do get the storage presentation box as well. That's the good news for the price. Um, and as you, again, the, the colours have been sort of dulled down a little bit by the plastic covers. But just to give you an idea, we are... Oh, just get it out the light there for you. There you go. We've got black spinel. We've got citrine in the yellow. We've got peridot in the lime green. We've got your delicious, deep red, gorgeous January birthstone of garnet. We've got your lovely topaz in the centre at the top there. And we've got your fabulous amethyst. I did tell you the boxes were dumbing down the colours. There's your garnet. There's your citrine. So we go from left to right. Citrine, garnet, black spinel, topaz, peridot and amethyst. We should be, bearing in mind you can create six different looking um, sterling silver ring mounts here if you wanted to. If you wanted to reuse the ring mount, obviously with the prongs. Um, we are going to bring you uh, a fantastic prize. It's 45.90 that we should be. He's popping in that naughty arrow that's dropping down, isn't it he? Phil has, my lovely producer Phil, thank you very much. That's a fantastic Bank Holiday Monday treat. Under 30 under 30 each one of the can i tell you as well an eight mil round is a jolly big solitaire piece uh now could we dare we dare we this could be hilarious you've seen me haven't you if you've been watching me for a week with me tweezers it's it's quite amusing i'm not i'm not convinced i can do this okay i'm not convinced but i'm going to try Does this work? Just to show you the sheer size of solitaire and really cool fashionable design. Oh, it's just twirl. There we go. So I just wanted to show you how... Oh, don't keep twisting around, you little peridot. There we go. 29.95. That's a jolly big solitaire, isn't it? 29.9. Oops, sorry, there you go. Do a, we, we did quite well there, didn't we? We did quite well. So the ring mounts, good look, good look, good look. Um, you've got six different gemstones. You've got the size 9, 9 to, uh, 925 solid sterling silver ring mount as well, my lovelies. And uh, we've only got 30 minutes left now. We're going to get through how many pieces? 20 pieces in 25 minutes. And we've got to say goodbye. And we've got to challenge Laura. So let's go. Right. big weight. Beautiful orange quartzite. Four totally different strands, different sizes, different carat weights. Okay, we've got orange quartzite. We've got the, um, so we've got the six mil rounds. Sorry, we've got the six mil rounds. We've got the eight mil rounds. We've got the 10 mil rounds and the whopping great big 12 mil rounds. Now, and just to let you know, in the six mil there's 90 carats. In the eight mil there's 160 carats. In the 10 mil, you've got 270 carats, and I'm hoping we've got a full carat weight amount here as well. And on the 12 millimeter, we've got 360 carats of stunning orange quartzite for a phenomenal 9.95. That is all four strands. 
with eight 880 carats of orange burst of colour in your quartzite there. All four strands for that incredible price, 9.95. Amazing, amazing. You can see why 99% of our customers give us positive feedback, can't you? <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, as I said, we are racing through these. Just because we're moving on so fastly, you can keep checking them out. Don't you worry. Don't think, oh, it's gone. It's gone. It's still there. It's available. It's at the price. Okay, we just had the orange. Would you like lemon? Orange and lemons. Here we go. Now, four strands. We've got four mil, six mil, eight mil, and 12 mil. Just to be nice and quick there for you. In your lovely, lovely lemons. Lemon shell pearls. Oh, these, again, gorgeous bridal work. Re oh, they're, they're all, they're all, I think that's just stuck into the cord. Oh, it's just twisted over. Sorry about that. Oh, they're best of friends, look, them too. They want to be together already. Do you remember that? We want to be together. I love that. Anyway, so lovely lemon shell pearls. Uh, four mil, six mil, eight mil, 12 mil. We're going to bring you every single one of those strands. That's four in total for an incredible 12.95. 12.95 now we said we did we were going to bring you 20 that's just two that's just two amounts so, so what should we do next amethyst and oh yes sorry ah okay got you thank you just struggling to find that then you could tell couldn't you sorry about that i was thinking where is it <laughs> well i'll find it now okay we've got amethyst strand Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lavender, uh, lavender fields. Oh, what a lovely idea. Um, so we've got the amethyst with the facety cabochons here. Okay, they're so cute, aren't they? Four mil rounds, 40 carats. 40 carats. And to give you practically a ready-made um, necklace, we're going to throw in a gorgeous, gorgeous faceted drop lavender amethyst to match. Every one of these, both the strand and the cabochon there, is in the, well, facet, not cabochon, faceted drop, sorry, I do apologise, faceted drop, both completely natural, got the opportunity to make a beautiful bracelet or necklace there, or headband, whatever you prefer, 8 95 Lavender amethyst is so, so dreamy, and that's a really easy way to create a very quick, gorgeous, well, you could do that so quickly, couldn't you? That beautiful, beautiful faceted drop and the lavender amethyst, February birthstone, dreamy tone of lavender hue, 8.95. Okay, I'd love to be able to stay on it longer. You know we can't. We've got 20 to get through and we've only done three. Here we go. So, oh, now I do like these. These are, I think you'd like these. Look, poor Laura's so busy away over there trying to get, get through her challenge, Laura. But look at these. These are lush, aren't they? Oh, they're pretty. I won't sing somewhere over the rain, rainbow. <laughs> I won't do it to you. But there's 150 carats of the um, rainbow coated quartz. At, at, these are both 8 mil. It's got a nice consistency of size. And you've got um, 150 carats of the rainbow coated rose quartz as well. They're lovely. Can you see all those beautiful colours coming through as well in those? They're so, so pretty. So technically, what well, it says great, it's a lovely silvery tone um, on the rainbow coated. They're both rainbow coated. One's in the rose quartz, of course, this one. And one's in your sort of silver grey uh, quartz as well. Both 8 mil rounds. That gives you three. It's 150 carats each, isn't it? So that's 300 carats, yeah. 300 carats in total for 8.95. We know that with the best price is 6.95 per strand. That's two pounds for the other strands. So that's a fantastic deal for you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, now these are. You're going to get 10 of these. I've learned um, so much about toggle clasps in the last week. The variety, the the amount that you can do with the toggle clasps. I've, I've only ever seen them in a, in a sort of um, tennis bracelet before. But here you go, wonderful these, and they've got lovely detail, lovely twisted sort of um, detail to them as well, look, oh my goodness me. You can use them as, um, obviously as a toggle clasp, you could attach it at the back of a necklace, you could have it as an absolute feature at the side or the front of the necklace, you could have them on tennis bracelets, you could have them as cufflinks, have I missed anything Laura Binding? 
Oh gosh, I know there'll be something. Earrings, <laughs> you're quite right, Laura. <laughs> you can have it as a ring. So where, look, where, ring. I, where I did that jump ring, you could just ah, cut the yeah. little clasp off and just use the toggle you could, part. You could, yeah. yeah, as your jump ring effectively. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, right, we're going to bring you, they are silver plated copper. They are spring, uh, you get um, just, you get 10, don't you? Yes, spring to toggle clasps with that lovely sort of twisted feature. They're a big one. That's 23 millimetre on the T-bar and 16 millimetre on the round, just to give you an idea. You get all 10 of them for 6 95 Can I just show, yeah, look at this. This is a hot, look at this in the dish. There's loads of them. 10 of, that works out to how much? 70 pence each for silver plated copper and all that lovely detail. 6 95 that's a no-brainer for your stash, isn't it? No-brainer at all. Okay, right then. How many have we got in baskets? A third of the stock's gone already on those. I've only talked about them for a few seconds and bam, boom, third's gone already. <laughs> right then, my lovelies, let's get, oh, hematite, now we're talking. The singularly most reflective gemstone of them all. Hematite, yeah. Mm, oh yeah. Just having been in the, in the gallery going, is it? <laughs> mm-hmm. It is. Boom. Look at this. Now, if you're making if, you, if you're making jewelry for yourself and you're one of those people that likes a little bit of subtlety, you don't want to get noticed. Mm -mm, don't need it. You don't want hematite. If you want big statement, gorgeous, chunky pieces, you can make them subtle with the one. You can make them more subtle by having few of these. Big striking statements. Now, the only person I've ever seen, um, uh, well, uh, well, the only jewelry, well, Sarah Bennett, our design director for the entire business, um, she makes in her Sarah Bennett collections, you'll see some beautiful hematites. And I tell you what, as well, when you set hematite, as Sarah Bennett does, with really pastel tones such as aquamarine, morganite, I've seen her do bracelets and necklace, I tell you what, the, the reflectiveness of the hematite and look at that sparkle look at the luster they are you cannot this is the most reflective gemstone of them all without question and they're whoppers they're 10 mil rounds big long 38 centimeter strand and as i said don't be frightened to pop them with a with a with a gentle pastel gemstone such as aquamarine or morganite price is Oh, we were, did you see that? The price was like, sh shall I? Shall I? Shall I? <laughs> well, we've done it. Under £10. Can I very quickly... Pete, do you mind it? Can I just pop this on my neckline, lovely? It was about to race off then. Look at this. Look at this. Now, Sarah's just said, Cena! She's the last of my little ball of sunshine. Oh, hello, Claire. Rambo and I have been missing you loads. But yes, we, we've tracked you down. Lots of love. Now, can I just mention, Rambo is a cat. A great name for a cat. Hello, Claire, my little ray of sunshine. Hello to you, lovely Rambo. I'll drop you a message afterwards. 9.95. This is a... This, for me, were we doing star buys? I tell you what, this would be my star buy. It's amazing. Amazing. Oh, fluorite. Here we go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let me just pop this in front. Now, we've only got 23 of these. Is it 23? That's not many, is it? What I'm going to ask you to look at on this strand of fluorite is the array of colours. It's We've just been talking about rainbows, haven't we? This is your rainbow strand without question. You gorgeous, gorgeous rainbow strand of um, fluorite. It's an incredibly, incredibly popular gemstone. It's um, It naturally occurs, occurs in all colours of the spectrum of the rainbow. It's one of the most varied coloured minerals on the planet. And as you can see, the colour ranges from beautiful pastels. Let me just, let me just take you through some of these colours, look. These clears, these yellows, these deep, rich purples, these almost amethyst tones, your gorgeous greens, like an appetite green, and, and deep greens and reds. Look at these, my good. Do you see what I mean about it being every colour of the spectrum of the rainbow? They are amazing. They're, they're just, they're, and do you know what as well? The reason this is such a phenomenal strand, fluorite is a really, really, really complex gemstone to cut. Really, really difficult. Can be very brittle, but not, as soon as it's cut and faceted in a gemstone, there's no, there's no danger of it breaking. It's fantastic. 
um, completely natural. Now, we should be 14 95 You've got an incredible number of fluorites on this strand and an array of gorgeous colours. Unfortunately, I've not got time to count them all, but that's a... Okay, have I got time? Oh, okay, I'm doing it then. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. They're amazing. 14, 16, 18. You've got, you've got bicolours as well. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. My goodness me, 30. The greens, the reds, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 52. And look at those colours. One of the most verse... The colours are unbelievable. One of the most varied colours of gemstones in any mineral that you're likely to see. Fluorite is gorgeous. You've got pastels, you've got deeps, you've got greens, you've got yellows, you've got bicolours, you've got purples, you've got clears, you've got reds, you've got deep greens, pastel greens, and the list goes on. Did I mention as well 500 carats? And look at look how, how beautifully they are faceted. We've got 11.95 after everything I've just said, Phil. It's shocking. Uh, you're multi buying, aren't you? 500 carats. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, box number one. Oh, we've got some. We couldn't, we couldn't bring you the four o'clock challenge without bringing you some aquamarines, could we? Oh, these are lush as well. I love aquamarines. One of my favourite top ten. And the price is an amazing. It's Bank Holiday Monday. We've got to have a treat, haven't we, Bank Holiday Monday? Oh, I'm being told I might not like this price. I've got a feeling we're going really naughty then. Don't worry, I'll trust you, Phil. It's a faceted rice bead. That's a treat, isn't it? Uh, we don't see that very often. We certainly don't see it very often in aquamarine. And they're natural. I love aquamarine. Aquamarine, you get such a variety of tones, such a variety of saturations. They are, and they're like amethyst in my opinion. They are an enthralling, and tanzanites, because of the variation of tone of colour, they're just glorious. We've actually um, graduated this strand for you to give you a different array of sizes 11 by 6 to 20 by 9. These, are, these could just be standalone. Are we going to 14.95? He's not staying there. I knew he wasn't going to stay there when he said I wasn't going to be impressed with the price. Well, uh, well, you'll be impressed with the price. 15 centimetres, including a whopping great big 80 carats of Naprel Aquamarine, 8.95. Do you know what? I'm happy with that for people because this is Bank Holiday Monday. It's the four o'clock challenge. This is what we're supposed to be doing for you. We're bringing you amazing, amazing end of line, unfortunately limited availability on this aquamarine and I know you're loving it. So congratulations if you do manage to get it. Uh, the colour there is just is, is, is due to the presence of iron, just like the peridot in case you like to know the um, sort of mineral and uh, knowing the chemical composition of your gemstones. And lovely to see faceted rice beads, isn't it? Really unusual. Really, really unusual. Going to be able to produce some really quirky jewellery with those. Fantastic. Eight ninety five. Wonderful price tag. Okay. Right. Now, I have got... We had some ring mounts the other day where we had the half-drilled um, half pearls. I've got some... These are shell pearls, as you can see. They're, so they're heated. Oh, we're going to chance ourselves with the, with the tweezers. We're going to try it. There we go. So they... Um, Beautiful shell pearls. As you can see, clearly this is the pink, and they are half-drilled rounds. We're giving you a trio of colours. So there's your pinks. Okay, there you go. We're going to show you your lovely whites. I might endeavour to try and pick up all three. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Uh, again, aren't they lovely? So they're half-drilled for you. So half the, half the work's done for you. They, each one of these is a 10 mil round. 36 carats. Okay, so 36 carats of the pink. Yeah, I've got it down as... Yeah. They shouldn't be in carrots. I'm going to scrap that. I was going to say, I don't know why we put it down as 36 carats. They're pink shell. And that's not possible. Okay, please scrap that, be saying that they're carrots. I was thinking, hang on. Okay, it's on my screen, not your screen, so don't worry. They're just trying to catch me out. It's pearls. So it's it's uh, shells, rather. So with shells, we're not going to... Um, yeah, they're 10 mil. So let's restart, let's restart this for you. They are 10 mil. 10 mil in size each one of these. You've got the pinks, you've got the whites, and you've got the beautiful, beautiful silvers. 15 pieces. I just said I was going to try and pick them all three up in, in one set of tweezers, but it's not possible. 
Not for me anyway. So, 10 mil rounds, whites, pinks, and silvers. Okay, and it's a five, uh, you get five of each. So that's 15 in total for 6.95, okay? Right then. So what we do next? What, what did you say they were again? Sorry, I do apologize, I didn't hear what you said. Sorry. Okay, three strands, three, these are lush. I've never seen this gemstone before, ever, never. And I understand we really have it on Jewelry Maker as well. I've never seen this. I've been presenting for two years nearly. I've never seen these. Never, never, never. They are Lavakite. And they're from Lavik in Norway. So that'll be why they're called Lavikite. Okay, Lavik in Norway. That sounds a fascinating place, doesn't it? That sounds... I've, ski I've skied in Norway. I have. It's wonderful. Wonderful. And in fact, it was where, um, where Eddie the Eagle went off the big ski jump. That's where it was. I just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, so, four mil rounds, four mil rounds, to ten mil rounds, to twelve mil rounds. You've got three lovelies. They're beautiful. And again, great facet work. Oh, gosh, they're very lovely luster. 610 carats in total. What a, what, it is a delight, I must say. Well, we've put their Larvikite light um, delight. It really is, because I've never seen that, gems. Isn't it wonderful that after, even after all this time, you can still keep being wowed and keep being introduced to brand new gemstones? It's a joy, isn't it? Larvikite, they're gorgeous, and the facet work's fantastic. Oh, I'm going under £10 for three strands. That's a lot of carat weight as well. That's 610 carats. 610 carats. Okay, how are we doing for time? Oh, we're coming up to 10 minutes. We've still got to challenge Laura. How many have we got to do? Come on then, let's go. Got this, right, okay. Here we go. Let's get these lovely clear quartz. Okay, let me get, we're going to get as many as we can to brace yourself. Okay, so we've got these beautiful clear quartz with your um, white shell pearl and your faceted rounds. So yes, white shell. They're lovely, aren't they? Six mil on the white shell. 90 carats on the clear quartz. Now these are completely natural on the clear quartz. Obviously the shells are coated, but these are natural. Um, now, what can we do on the price of these for you on this Bank Holiday Monday treat? Six ninety-five. Well, Mark's just come in the studio, haven't you, Mark? He tried. He tried to tiptoe in. Did our lovely Mark then? And he had like a domino effect of knocking things onto the floor. Um, Mark, can I just show you something while you're in here? What's that? We've got a bank holiday Monday treat. We've taken forty carats of tanzanite to twenty-seven ninety-five. He's not got a happy face on. And then look at these 11 by 9 mil pearls. What do we take those to? 19.95, Mark. That's a well over 100 pounds for those. Easily. 40 carats of tanzanite. Uh, we were only down to five of those. So you might not be able to. You might not be able to get those. But that's pretty impressive, isn't it? They're perfect, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Smooth, round. A bit like yourself, Mark. Not the round bit there. <laughs> Smooth, immense. You're beautiful, Mark. He's gorgeous. I can't wait. He won't want to work with me now, will he? He's beautiful. Well, apart from the round. The iridescence, I should have said, shouldn't I? He won't talk to me now. But he's lovely. He's lovely. He's a beautiful man. The lovely Vicky Field has got him later. He's lovely. Uh, box what, sorry? 16. Oh, seed be. Oh, three strands. Ah. Oh. Three strands of garnet. Okay, here we go. Seed beads. Lovely, lovely seed beads of garnet. Again, one of my top ten. Look at those beautiful reds. They're two mils. You've got three lots of 20 carats. Gorgeous garnets. Beautiful two millimeter seed beads. Really really pretty indeed and lovely lovely reds if you're a january uh birthstone like myself or january birthday 
then you've got gorgeous red garnets and garnets again when you take garnets like sapphires like kunzites like sunstones and you see them in natural daylight they look lovely and, and beautiful deep reds now but they are sensational they really are but you need sunlight don't you despite that fact I'm going to bring you three lots of 20 karat garnets beautifully individually individually faceted for 14.95 so that's effectively five pounds per strand isn't it five pounds per strand i can't stay on these i've got to race on we're, we're coming we're not got long left of the show so um they're lovely good luck good luck who doesn't love tiger's eye oh goodness me they are named because they do take on the look of a tiger's eye that's the, that's the reason they were named a tiger's eye 230 carats and you know what they are natural they're 10 mil rounds that's how we're getting to an incredible I've got to count these I know we probably haven't got time can I quickly do it it's okay okay 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 30, 39. Okay, 39. Gorgeous yellow effect on the tiger's eye. You can get red tiger's eye as well, can't you? These are the yellow tiger's eye. Completely natural. 695. And I've just counted 39 on the strand at 10 mil rounds. Fantastic price tag. Amazing. Right. Okay, are we going to go and have a look at a little look at our Laura's challenge? Are you ready for us? I am, yeah. We are ready, apparently. We are ready to go. You ready? Oh, careful. I've just said hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Just a few little jaspers on the floor for the best. Spray it's not a problem. Yeah. Should we just decorate in the studio? Oh, well, yeah, Laura? It's just welcoming you. So what did, we, what, did, what did you take, Laura, on the challenge? Um, I went for the chips, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, because I said I'd do you a 3D tree of life. You did, didn't you? And haven't you just? Um, and I actually finished off the um, the piece from the first um, design inspiration as well because I thought I wanted to show how oh. the clear quartz can just go with any colour. We anything. said that, didn't we? And to, it just seemed such a shame to waste it. So I finished off the weaving of that and then popped it with that because it just, again, it can jazz it up. Beautiful. Yeah, that's the 3D tree of life. That is beautiful. Okay. Isn't that lovely? It's nice, and I did it with the copper on purpose because if I'd done it with silver, it would have got lost. Yeah. So I did it with the copper on purpose, and actually, that's the choker chain from the second kit. So that's why I like to make my bales quite large because it means that you can make one chain and then have it interchangeable with the okay. um, pendants. Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. Literally, you could just take that off and pop something yeah. else on, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. Literally, I took that one off of it. Oh, okay. So literally, before when you had that with the woven bale as well. Yeah. So Laura's literally made that an, in, an interchangeable choker, taken the um, the ember jaspers away, and then po popped it with the with the quartz. Yeah, that so is clever. Yeah, it's, and it means then that you're not loaded with a load of chokers or a load of chains. You can just have that one and then make them interchangeable. But aren't they always popular when you have interchangeable earrings, interchangeable? I've got a watch with the sort of the bezel yeah. thing that changes with the colour, and it just means you can wear the same sort of re keep repeating the same jewellery, but with a different, totally different colour look yeah, every time. Yeah, and it just means, that, like you say, you can just swap your pendants about, um, and you can you don't have to keep worrying. And if you're going away on holiday or anything, it's yeah. perfect because you've just got that one. Exactly, one, one necklace and just keep yeah. popping the things. In. Okay, and then this one with our lovely um, friendly plastics again I can say yeah that was just the, the finish off from the, the design inspiration project that's what you were making on our, yeah. on our first design inspiration yeah. weren't you so I just quickly finished it off um, finished all the weaving <laughs> you can't see it can you, you can't we're chatting it. about Bay about this necklace <laughs> you can't see it can you uh, but yeah so you did you've, oh gosh you smell lovely Mark as well gosh I can, Mark just walked in smells gorgeous <laughs> um, sorry Mark I'm in love um, so beautiful <laughs> these are our two necklaces how long did they take you um, well, the Tree of Life I probably did in about 40 minutes. Um, <laughs> was a bit I've of a been there a week. <laughs> um, and then the pendant, I obviously we started it off at the beginning of yeah. the, uh, the design and inspiration. And yeah. I just quickly finished it in the in-between. So, um, yeah, and I just, I did cheat a bit with the chips. I did just put cord ribbon ends on the end of it rather than restrand them but all. But it just but looks beautiful. Yeah, and it just, it just goes to show how you can, like I said, I wanted to show that you could use that neutral colour yeah. and 
pick up with all the other colours as well. Exactly, and you can really make the most of that lovely multicoloured uh, friendly plastic then as well. Yeah. Can I just say, I've never worked with you before, Laura, and it's been an absolute pleasure. I've learned oh. so much. It's just wonderful. You've been an absolute joy, so thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. You've got the lovely Vicky Field coming up with our gorgeous Mark as well, coming up for the Late Show. Uh, Bank Holiday Bargains coming up after the break. Take care, and I'll see you on Wednesday. The fastest way to shop with Jewellery Maker is by going to our website. Just click on the sign up button. Once you've filled in the required details, you can start shopping.